Advertisement. Shuegong, get ready to warm up, it's your turn to play next. The dazzling incandescent light and the low voice brought Duan Tang's distracted attention back to reality. Open your eyes. An old face with a gloomy face and a hint of anger came into his eyes, and behind the white-haired old man was the indoor basketball gym that Duan Tang was very familiar with. Moment. Duan Tang, who was sitting on the bench, looked confused as he looked at the obviously childish players on the field. What's the situation? Dream, where is this? Senior Yukimiya, hurry up and get ready to warm up. Looking at the coach's face, he's about to explode. The young man sitting next to Duan Tang, who was obviously a head shorter than him, saw that he seemed to be distracted and quickly reminded him. What the young man spoke was obviously not Chinese, but Duan Tang immediately understood the foreign language. Then, his brain suddenly felt a stabbing pain, and countless memories poured out from the depths of his mind. Kuroko's basketball? I actually traveled to this comic book world that I had read many times and became a junior high school student in the same year as Generation of Miracles. Yukimiya Kazuma. 15 years old. Height 184 centimeters. He is currently a third-year student at Shiraswikin Middle School in Tokyo and the main power forward of the basketball team. He was injured in an accident during training some time ago, so he has been sitting on the bench in this friendly match with other schools. From the massive memories that did not belong to him, Duan Tang quickly captured the information that was currently useful to him. Then, I got even more confused. Advertisement. Tokyo area. Beishwikin Middle School, 3rd grade. A junior high school student of the same generation as the Miracle Generation. Good guy, the bus stack is full. Is there any way to play this? Compared with high school, the Miracle Generation in the junior high school era was an absolute blow to the junior high school basketball world. What's more, it's still the third grade of junior high school where all members of Generation of Miracles have blossomed. If he and Tiako belong to the same Tokyo district, he might not even be able to get out of the regional qualifiers of the All Central Conference. It would be okay if he travels across the country first. Duan Tang shook his head speechlessly. The time travel was so hasty that his brain froze for a while. But soon, damn it. What kind of action is this? Duan Tang's brain and body quickly started functioning again with the angry curse from the old coach on the sidelines. The coach's scolding was not directed at Duan Tang, who was several beats too slow to react, but at the situation on the court at this moment. During a fast break, player number 7 from Beishui Hall dribbled the ball for a layup. The defender from the opponent's Yamina Middle School wrapped his arms around number 7 and threw number 7 to the ground with a powerful hug. This ignited the old man's temper, and also ignited the anger of the Beishuiguan players on the court. The scene was a little chaotic for a while. The referee and the basketball team members on the sidelines intervened on the court and finally stabilized the players on both sides, as well as the irritable old coach of Beishuiguan Middle School. After cursing at the opponent's coaching bench for a while, the old man turned his head again and shouted in the direction of Duan Tang, You brat, your hand injury is healed. Come on and teach them a lesson. Advertisement. Duan Tang touched his left arm that was recovering well from the injury, nodded to the coach, then got up and walked towards the court. Although he has not yet fully adapted to the identity of Yuki Miyakazuma, he still has to wait for the rest. Just finish the things in front of you and then think about it. Looking at Yumi Yakazuma's back, the coach frowned strangely. I always feel that this kid who is quite out of touch on weekdays seems to be a little different today. Black basket. After walking onto the court, Duan Tang couldn't help but sigh in his heart. And this feeling was intensified as his eyes moved downward and he caught a clear glimpse of the slightly reflective court floor under the incandescent light, with the white-haired boy clearly reflected on it. The hair is still colored. The color of snow. It goes well with the name Yukimiya Kazuma. Good news plus one. At this time, it should be called Yukimiya Kazuma Duan Tang, and I am vaguely looking forward to it. As for now, he played basketball a lot when he was a student, and after entering the society, he also has rich theoretical knowledge. However, after traveling back in time, with the body inherited from Kazuma Yukinomiya, I don't know what level of strength I can have. At least there shouldn't be much of a problem with this kind of informal friendly match. Um, not a big problem. Perhaps. Senior Yukimiya. Senior Yukimiya, you can finally play. Advertisement. Yukimiya Kazuma met up with his teammates on the court, and soon two second-year teammates came over and greeted them respectfully. This is normal in Sakura country. After all, he is a third-year senior, and he wears the number 5 jersey, second only to the number 4 captain. Faced with the greetings from the juniors, Yumiya Kazuma did not respond immediately, because a strange noise suddenly appeared in his mind. Buzz. Swagong couldn't help but feel a joyful expression on his face. He knew that it would be impossible not to follow Goldfinger when traveling through time. It is detected that the host has logged into the stadium, and the meditation training system is officially launched. Automatic loading of opening badge rewards. Badge loading completed. Get the badge, Master of Transmission Control. Pass, 63 rightward arrow 93. Ball control, 58 rightward arrow 96. Woohoo. Yukimiya Kazuma's nervous mood suddenly stabilized. Although I haven't seen my other attributes yet, my passing and control ability above 90%, providing assists to teammates, and stable ball control without making mistakes can at least ensure my positive role on the court. Um, etc. It's not right. You seem to be a power forward? Advertisement. Chapter 002, How on Earth Was This Ball Passed? Advertisement. The coach of Shiraswikin Middle School clearly felt that something was not right about Yuki Miyakazuma's condition today, but he didn't think much about it and just thought it was a lack of confidence after returning from injury. Then he gave a reminder on the sidelines, Shui Gong, pay attention to the rebounds after coming on the court and control mistakes. In his opinion, Yuki Miyakazuma, as a junior high-level power forward, although his height and athletic ability are good, he has a lot of technical problems. As the main power forward of Beishui Hall, he is good at excellent defense and rebounding. On the other side, Yumi Yakazuma nodded after hearing the coach's words. The game is just beginning in the fourth quarter. Middle school basketball is not a professional 12-minute quarter, but a 10-minute quarter. At this time, there are still about 8 minutes before the end of the game. The score on the court was 68-62. Shiraswikin Middle School, where Yukimiya is located, leads by 6 points. Shiraswikin missed a free throw. The team's number 4 center, Masaka Takato, grabbed the rebound and passed it to the outside for a second attack. Shiraswikin Middle School's round. The opponent's back line rushed out and pressed hard. On number 7 of Shiraswikin, the second-year player Daisuke Teriyama, who had just been fouled by a big move, tightly protected the basketball. Pass the ball. Advertisement. 
Suddenly a voice in his ear saved Daisuke Teriyama who was in a dilemma. However, after he passed the ball and saw the target of the pass, his face suddenly became suffocated. Yukumiya Senpai, how did he get to this position to catch the ball? Daisuke Teriyama knew very well that what Yukumiya Senpai was good at on the court definitely did not include dribbling. Even under circumstances that were not urgent enough, his offense with the ball was quite worrying. It was quite common for him to be interrupted after two dribbles. Of course, on the court, every player is good at different things. What Yukumiya Senpai is good at is defending inside or providing pick and roll coverage for teammates. Senior himself also knows what he is good at, so he runs like this it has been a long time since the outside line took the initiative to ask for the ball. After Kazuma Yukimiya received the ball, he moved his hips in place and dribbling felt better than ever. He briefly observed the distribution of players on the field from the corner of his eye, and subconsciously, several passing routes suddenly appeared in his mind. This is, the control master badge, the integration with him was so good, Yukimiya Kazuma's eyes lit up, thoughts of soaring confidence flashed through his mind. Faced with the pressing pressure of the opponent's players, he dribbled the ball behind his back very smartly. In an instant, he and the ball became one, and he easily stepped out of the breakthrough route. Then he pushed the ball with his left hand, followed closely with his footsteps, and rushed inside quickly. Under the basket, Hakizuikan center and number four captain Masaka Takato looked at Kazuma Yukimiya, whose playing style was completely different from that of Kazuma Yukimiya. Before he could be surprised, he was surprised to find that the basketball had passed through the opponent's ball. The defensive line accurately passed to his chest. This catch point. He raised his hand and hit the rebound into the basket. Advertisement. 70 colon 62. Off the court, in front of the Hakuzuikan bench, coach Shin Matsuji suddenly widened his eyes. On the bench, the third-year players who were familiar with Swaygong and the truth were even more shocked. Ah, uh, what's the situation? Yukimiya, what were you doing while you were injured? He's such a strong dribbler. Also, how did the ball get passed? Coach Shin Matsuji scratched his gray hair, and he couldn't help but be surprised in his heart. Let's not talk about the previous dribbling, but this pass is so beautiful, it accurately penetrated the opponent's entire defense. At that moment, there were three opponent's players in the crowded inside. If the ball was even a little bit deflected, it would not reach the hands of Masaka Takato under the basket. Even, Yukimiya's pass also takes the receiving point into consideration. With that perfect position, Masaka Takato didn't need to make any other adjustments to raise his hand to attack. The opponent's defense was distracted by Yukimiya, and no one had time to make up for it. Passed. Fast and wonderful. What's going on, little brat? Advertisement. I trained him so hard before and couldn't train him to be a complete blue-collar player. After being injured, you suddenly became enlightened. As Shira Swicken's coach, Shin Matsuji is very aware of Yujimi Yakazuma's abilities. This level of passing and dribbling is completely beyond what Yujimi Yakazuma can accomplish. So was it just a coincidence? Both sides changed sides offensively and defensively. The opponent Yamana Middle School serves from the baseline. However, Beishui Hall retreated very quickly, containing the fast attack and forcing the opponent into a positional battle. Yamani NOS 6 and 7 set a screen at the top of the three-point arc, but Yukimi Akazuma could see at a glance that this pick and roll was just a cover. Because the quality is not high, the space intentionally left is obviously to compress the defense line of Beishui Pavilion and create opportunities for long-range shots. The next second. Sure enough, number 6 made a fake move for a breakthrough, and then passed it back to number 7, who was heading behind him. At this moment, a figure wearing a light blue uniform suddenly appeared in the middle of the line between the two. Her hair is as white as snow. Number 5, Beishui Hall. Yukimi Akazuma? Advertisement. Chapter 003, Senior, there is still such a trump card hidden in Beishui Pavilion? Advertisement. To be honest, Yukimiya and Jen were both a little surprised that the ball was successfully broken. The badge of the master of passing control, the vision, and awareness brought by passing ability are not only reflected in the offensive end. He also showed excellent results on defense. Almost as soon as Yamana Junior High School made a cover action, Yukimiya Kazuma made a judgment immediately. That is to say, the opponent's pick and roll is just a feint, and no SIXS breakthrough is a fake move, leaving room for the pick and roll. There is a high probability that number 7 will not follow the pass, and Yamane will learn to play a long-range attack. This is the ability to read the game indirectly brought by the pass control master. Snap. Yukimiya Kazuma completed this sudden steal under everyone's surprised gaze. Then Kazuma took the lead and rushed away. Yamane Middle School's response was also not slow, and number 7, who was closest to the outside, immediately followed up and gave chase. Although number 7 was only about 175 centimeters tall, he was quite fast. Yukimiya Kazuma didn't turn his head significantly to observe. He only relied on his peripheral vision and his position judgment when he stole the ball before, and he easily locked onto his teammates who were also following up and supporting him. With a very brief tremble of the wrist, the basketball flashed an orange light in the air, and with a no-look pass, it accurately passed through Yamana Middle School number 7 and was delivered to the hands of point guard Kajiga Yuji in Shiras Y Hall number 8. This pass was still very freehand. Although it was Kajiga Yuji who scored the layup in the end, everyone's eyes were focused on Yukimiya Kazuma at this moment. Kazuma Yukimiya from Hakuzuikan. Senior, there is still such a trump card hidden in Beishui Pavilion. Advertisement. No, Yukimiya Kazuma was just a player with average skills and good athletic ability before. At least he was still like that last year. Ah, uh, I didn't play in the first three quarters. I heard that I was injured during training. As the opponent, Yamana Middle School, the bench was buzzing for a while. 72 colon 62. After Yukigong came on the field, Beishuiguin scored two goals in succession, and the point difference reached double digits. Pretty. Coach Shin Satsuji on the sidelines pumped his fist excitedly. He can be sure that Yukimiya Kazuma definitely has excellent vision and passing ability now, although I don't understand how Yukimiya suddenly completed such a degree of transformation. After monsters like Generation of Miracles appeared in the junior high school basketball world, Shin Matsuji feels that such incomprehensible things are very common. On the field, Kashiga Yuji looked at his senior with a strange expression. Just. Senior, he definitely didn't look at me, right? How on earth did you find me? Advertisement. 
Round at Yamana Middle School. The lessons learned in just two rounds made Yamana clearly feel that the opponent number 5, Yukimi Kazuma, was unusual. Yamana number 6 hands the ball to number 8. As a point guard, Yamana's number 8 dribbling ability is very good, especially good at breaking through with the ball. In the first three quarters when Yukimiya did not play, relying on his excellent breakthrough ability, he gave Shiras Y Hall a created a considerable threat. A front cross step in disguise. Yamana number 8 broke through Kajiga Yuji's defense and dived inside. However, Takato Masaka's inside defense is very fast. On the other side, Yukimiya Kazuma, who is also inside, has already assisted the defense with his excellent overall view and blocked the opponent's passing route in advance. In this way, Yamana number 8 can only complete the attack on its own. Facing Masaka Takato, who is nearly 190 centimeters tall, Yamana number 8 launched a very high arc throw. Boring, there was a crisp sound. The basketball hit the back edge of the basket and bounced high. Masaka Takato reached out with his long arms and won the rebound. The first time he landed, he subconsciously looked for Yukimiya Kazuma's location. At this time, Yukimiya had already rushed forward and Masaka Takato threw the ball over without hesitation. When Kajiga Yuji saw this, his face was startled for a moment, and then a bitter look appeared on his face. Advertisement. He is obviously the point guard. Yukimiya got the ball, and Yamana Junior High School retreated very quickly. Number 6 and 8 followed up on both sides of Yukimiya Kazuma and took a brief look at the situation on the field. Now it is 3v3 in the front court, which is extremely strong. His vision allowed him to find his attack route instantly. The sudden stride forward and the continuum of quick start and stop immediately caused Yamana Middle School's defense to focus on him. Then, he turned to look at his number 6 flower Yin Liang, and the opponent's number 6 pounced on him like a conditioned reflex. However, while Yukimiya was dribbling the ball at his hip, he suddenly moved his fingertips and passed the ball to number 7 on the other side, shooting guard Daisuke Teriyama. This pass immediately made the entire stadium scream. The moment the ball was passed out, under the influence of the Master of Pass Control badge, even though Daisuke Teriyama's receiving point was not an area where he was good at shooting, the moment the ball slipped into his hand, he immediately felt that the open ball was there. Huh? The basketball drew an orange arc in the air and fell into the net. 74,62. The coach of Yamana Middle School immediately waved and called a timeout. On the court, Captain Masaka Takato came over and patted Yukimiya on the shoulder. Kazuma, what's going on? Are you suddenly so good at passing and dribbling? Um, I did a little research during my hand injury. Yumiya Kazuma thought for a while and thought of the meditation training system. Although I don't know the specific situation yet, I think it's best to lay the groundwork for the system as much as possible. I recently found a workout that works really well for me. Masaka Takato nodded. Although Yukagong's strength has improved quite a bit, it is not surprising compared to the generation of miracles who super evolve every year. After all, just looking at the body shape, Yukimiya is actually quite close to last year's Tiako Junior High, the black-skinned ace whose strength has soared to terrifying levels. Advertisement. Chapter 004, Point Guard Genius, Yukimiya Kazuma, Advertisement. When the players from Shiraswicken Middle School returned to the bench, the discussion among the bench players immediately became more enthusiastic. Yukinomiya Senpai is so strong. He is great at dribbling and passing. It feels like we have changed into a different team after he came on the court. Yay, did you see that no-look pass? It was completely passed to the other side of the field of vision. Isn't Senior a power forward? Yes, right. Faced with the doubts of the first-year newcomers, the other veteran players were also at a loss. As a coach, Shin Matsuhara, in the past few offensive and defensive rounds, the level of shock given to him by Yukimiya Kazuma was definitely much higher than that of his own players. Because he was absolutely sure that Yukimiya, a boy with a power forward body, had the ability to be a point guard, and he was far beyond the junior high school level. In the face of pressing, he can dribble quite freely, has broad vision, smooth passing ability, and an assist-first style of play. He even has a passing imagination that most point guards do not have, etc. Damn it, it's been two years, why haven't I discovered this kid's talent at all? Dazzled by height? Advertisement. But I am definitely not that kind of superficial coach. Never mind. No matter what, he is definitely a point guard genius. Snow Palace, come here. A kind smile appeared on Shin Matsuji's face covered with age lines, which made the surrounding Hakuzui Hall players shiver. Yukimiya Kazuma was called over, and then he heard Shin Satsuji say, You will control the ball when you attack next. You performed well on the court just now, just keep it up. As for the others, um, continue to run according to the tactics we have always been good at. When defending, Swagong, you still stand at the power forward. Although your passing and controlling are still. Okay, don't let your good defense fall behind. After listening to Shin Satsuji's words, Kajiga Yuji, the point guard, looked even more bitter. Soon, the pause ends. Masaki. Yukimiya Kazuma came to Takato Masaki and whispered, wait and prepare to catch the ball and attack. The inside line of Yamane on the opposite side cannot stop you. Masaki Takato nodded. He found that Yukimiya had indeed changed a lot, and even his personality had become much calmer and more reliable. Do you need me to cover for you? Advertisement. If you want, just signal to me. Good. Kazuma Yukimiya and Masaki Takato high-fived each other, and the inexplicable thoughts in their minds suddenly disappeared. Although I have always heard that the sports infrastructure here in Sakura is very high, but after experiencing it myself, I felt it more clearly. The atmosphere is indeed quite nice. After taking the field, Yamane Junior High School's round. The opponent's point guard was holding the ball, and Kashiga Yuji, who was defending in front of him, had just been deprived of his organizational power by the coach, so he was working harder on defense than before. Yamane number 8 dribbled the ball, and Kashiga Yuji was highly concentrated. Although facing this kind of point guard who is good at changing directions and breaking through quickly, the frequency of his feet was somewhat unable to keep up, but he always worked hard to interfere with the opponent with his hands. Dribbling. The point guard of Yamane Middle School was tightly entangled, and in the end he had no choice but to let others attack, and handed the ball to the small forward on the wing. After receiving the ball, number 6 immediately started from a triple threat position. At the edge of the paint area, he dribbled and stopped for a jump shot. The basketball passed Masaka Takato's defense and stumbled into the basket, barely breaking the scoring drought since Yukimiya Kazuma came on the field. Shiraswicken Middle School's round. Under the astonished eyes of everyone in Yamane, Yukimiya and Makoto caught the ball and advanced. 
After being stunned for a moment, the opponent's point guard immediately rushed forward to press, but Yukimiya turned sideways slightly and was shocked. Height 184 vs 172, there is a gap visible to the naked eye between the two in terms of physical confrontation ability, and under the influence of the badge, the ball control ability has skyrocketed to 96 points, allowing Yukimiya to make full use of it during dribbling. This physical advantage. Pretty. Advertisement. Coach Shin Matsuji on the sidelines had more wrinkles on his face. He didn't expect Yukimiya to have such a pragmatic style without showing off his skills after his dribbling skills became more apparent. If Yukimiya can maintain this level and be lucky enough not to run into Tiako early, then this year's Hakuzuikan may be able to make it to the All Contest again, and even have great potential in the All Contest. At the signal of Kazuma Yumiya, Masaka Takato came to the top of the arc and made a pick and roll. Yukigong passed by the defense and reached the basket. The opponent's power forward's defense obviously couldn't keep up with Suigong. There was no other way but the center could only come over to help defend. It was just a momentary defensive loss, and Yukimiya's peripheral vision immediately found an opportunity. He maintained the movement of his shoulders and neck without moving his eyes at all. With a flick of his left hand, the basketball bounced off the ground and passed through the gap between the opponent's double team. Pass. Masaka Takato, who followed the path, once again caught the ball from Kazuma Yukimiya. It is still a comfortable pass that requires no adjustment at all. I secretly said something awesome. Masaka Takato took advantage of the situation and completed a rather extravagant dunk for a junior high school student. Beautiful, Kazuma. Wow. Well done, senior Yukinomiya. Coach Shin Satsuji, already four assists, so fast. From the moment he came on the field, every ball created an excellent offensive opportunity. In terms of passing alone, he is undoubtedly top-notch, not to mention his skillful use of vision while passing the ball. That's talent. Advertisement. Chapter 005, The Most Promising Year? 198,8 Do You Want to Know More? Advertisement. The game continues. On the offensive end, with the assist of Kazuma Yukimiya, Shiraswick in middle school showed an overwhelming advantage. Hey, Kazuma Yukimiya, who controlled the thunder and lightning on the field, couldn't control the excitement on his face. The basketball was controlled in his hands like an arm. Under different conditions on the court, he could always easily deliver the ball to his teammates comfortably. This is an experience he has never had before in his playing career. The coach of Yamana Middle School gradually became gloomy. In his plan, the fourth quarter was the stage for Yamana Middle School to counterattack, but the appearance of Yukimiya Kazuma completely interrupted all his plans. The team manager who was responsible for recording the data suddenly said in a deep voice, this guy, has already received nine assists since the fourth quarter. In less than one quarter. But, so far, Yukimiya Kazuma hasn't scored yet. Maybe he doesn't have any offensive capabilities except passing and controlling. The manager's words made the Yamana Middle School coach's eyes light up. That's right, it must be. If a junior high school player has the ability, how can he not want to score by himself? Then he immediately called a timeout. When arranging the tactics, there was only one core, keep an eye on the others and let number 5 hold the ball and attack. Advertisement. Let him shoot from a distance. The pause ends. Yamana Middle School's offense, under the pressure of Shiras Y Hall's continuous easy scoring, was already a little confused. This offense still failed to score points. Then, number 5, who was tall and hairy as snow, pushed forward with great pressure. Yumi Yakazuma. Yuki Miyakazuma stood at the top of the arc with a surprised look on his face. This is, being surrendered? The opponent's number 8 retreated a bit far to prevent a sudden shot. Does this mean he didn't make a shot? Then you are wrong. We have lived through the small ball era. Moreover, after being severely beaten by society, I usually play wild ball, which is also an open shot to practice and maintain my health. Um, the muscle strength of the arms is about the same. Although the similarity between an adult and a junior high school student makes him a little shy, at this time, it is just right for him to adapt to his previous shooting experience. The space he was given far away, coupled with his height advantage, gave him enough time to prepare, take a look at the basket, and shoot. Advertisement. The next second. The orange basketball drew a beautiful arc in the air. Huh? Enter the network in response. Coach Yamane glanced at the team manager on the sidelines and suppressed his words again. The manager looked straight at the court, his gaze fixed, for fear of meeting his coach's eyes. At this time, Yukimiya Kazuma, who scored three points, nine assists and one steal, has become the absolute core of Shiraswick in middle school. After scoring, everyone praised his shooting. Projection ability. Coach Shin Satsuji looked at Yukimiya Kazuma with burning eyes. Putting aside his strength, this level of improvement is definitely on the level of Tiako's group of little monsters. I didn't expect that. A genius of this level will appear under him. Ayamine Daiki when she was in the national team last year, the rest of the generation of miracles who have fully evolved this summer, and Kazuma Yukimiya who suddenly burst out, maybe there is indeed some magic in this time of year. Next, Yamana Middle School, who did not believe in evil, after executing the tactics of Fang Suigong's personal offense three times in a row, was beaten all over as expected. A three-pointer, a long two-pointer, and a wonderful assist to the basket. Yukimiya Kazuma single-handedly ended the game in the final stages of the game. 91 69. Advertisement. Shiraswick in Middle School won the training match against Yamana Middle School at its home training hall. Competition is over. After giving a friendly farewell to the dejected Yamane Junior High School. Speaking of devils, Shin Matsuji, who can be called the coach of Tiako Platinum Koso, made a devilish voice in a high-pitched voice. Everyone, including the players who have finished the training matches, finish their physical training and it will be over today. Captain Zutang, you are responsible for supervision. Yes, coach. The tall Masaka Takato showed a helpless smile at the winking team members behind him. Everyone, let's practice. Those who fall behind, need to practice more. Yes. Everyone immediately turned around and started physical training. Actually, the so-called physical training is running laps. After everyone was involved in training, Coach Shin Matsuji's eyes were always focused on Yuki Miyakezuma, and he fell into quiet contemplation. After confirming Yuki Miyakezuma's ability, all subsequent plans may need to be replanned. Maybe, this is the most promising year. However, if Yumi Yakazuma knew what the coach was thinking at this time, I am afraid he would immediately put up a black line. After all, he knew very well that this year's Tiako would compete on their own XJB in the national competition. Play tactics and score an exaggerated score of 198,8. As for the little Karami-like Beijuik in middle school who doesn't even have a camera, hope is probably just hope. 
Advertisement. Chapter 006. Meditation training starts. Training scene. 1v1 AMI Daiki. Advertisement. Yukimi Akezuma was running wildly in the arena, his body subconsciously following the people in front of him, but his consciousness was completely immersed in the meditation training system, trying hard to study the specific conditions of this system. Yukimi Akezuma knows very well how important talent is in sports competitions. In the black basket, it is even more like a chasm. Hair with color is the most attractive. Tatsuya Himuro is infinitely close to Generation of Miracles. His skills are gorgeous and superb, and his strength has reached the same level as Generation of Miracles. However, because of his talent, he stops at talent, cannot enter zone, and can never surpass the limits of mortals. Certainly, it's okay if you say it's because his hair has no color. The only exception is probably that people built it in Hunkan, a beautiful country. Although they don't have hair color, they have rainbow in their name. Rainbow of rainbows. Or else he was the former captain of Tiako, the number one power forward in junior high school before Aemine blossomed. Senior Yukimiya, training is over. After Kajiga Yukitami's training ended, Yumi Yakazuma was still running slowly with his head down, and then he gave a reminder. But at this moment, Yukimiya Kazuma naturally couldn't hear other sounds. Well, shall we go first? Kajiga Yuji and Teriyama Daisuke, the two second-year starters, looked at each other, and when they received no response, they left the gym with the others. In the end, only Captain Masaki Takato was left, sitting on a bench on the sidelines, waiting for Kazuma Yukimiya. Yukimiya Kazuma, whose thoughts were completely absorbed in the system, did not notice the situation in the arena at all. He was still familiar with the system. The first thing he studied carefully was the basic attributes. Name, Yukimiya Kazuma. Team, Beishwikan Middle School. Height, 184 centimeters. Advertisement. Weight, 72 kilograms. Arm span, 191 centimeters. Speed, 67. Strength, 70. Ball possession, 96. Pass, 93. Bounce, 71. Layup, 75. Dunk, 62. CIC, 75. Three points, 75. Rebounds, 72. Blocks, 69. Steals, 61. Single defense, 72. Assisted defense, 73. Physical fitness, 71. Badge, Master of Transmission Control. After Yukimiya Kazuma looked at his basic attributes, except for the transmission and control ability brought by the Transmission Master badge, the rest can only be said to be average with a passing mark and a little more. Yukimiya Kazuma was not too surprised by this. After the training match just now, he already had a rough idea of what his basic attributes were based on his passing and control attributes. After all, compared to the double 90 plus upload control attributes plus badges, the gap between his abilities in other aspects and the former is visible to the naked eye. As for my impression, Coach Shin Satsuji said that if his physical condition is good, it is probably only comparable to that of a junior high school student, but his current passing and control master is obviously far beyond the junior high school level. Advertisement. Finished reading the properties. So what about the most important thing, the so-called meditation training? Yukimiya Kazuma asked quietly in his heart, but did not get an answer from the system. Obviously, this system was not as smart as he imagined, and it could communicate with him. However, although there was no direct dialogue, the system responded quickly. Buzz? There was a sudden buzzing in my ears. What followed was a flash of brilliant light in front of his eyes. The light, which is like a stream of data, converges into the virtual image in front of you. As for Masaka Takato, who was waiting for Yukimiya, he only saw Yukimiya jogging, and suddenly stopped and froze in place. It is detected that the host actively starts meditation training. Randomly load training scenarios. Loading completed. 1v1 training. Opponent. Aemine Daiki. Yukimiya Kazuma. Looking at Aemine Daiki, who was completely composed of data streams in front of him, the wild nature unleashed on him without any reservation made Yukimiya and Ma's scalp numb. Is this the original system? There is no mention of training rewards. But, upon closer inspection, Yukonomi Yakazuma discovered that Aemine opposite him was about the same height as him, and had not yet reached the height of 192 centimeters in high school. In other words, this is probably Aemine during the National 3 period. Estimate. Advertisement. There's no difference, right? Take a deep breath. Take a moment to prepare. Yukimiya Kazuma held the ball and lowered his waist to make a triple threat posture. Aemine on the opposite side lowered her center of gravity and stared at Yumiya Kazuma with a serious look on her face, which was comparable to a fight between Zone and Kagami Taiga. Yukimiya Kazuma. There is no need to take it so seriously. Yukimiya Kazuma is very clear that the only weapon he has to compete with the opponent now is the pass and control master. In a 1v1 duel, passing the ball is useless, and the badge ability is half destroyed. So, you can only compete with your ball control skills. Snap, snap, speed up the ball drop. Compared with the dribbling shown in the previous training match, Yukimiya Kazuma's dribbling speed is extremely fast at this moment. Otherwise, with the frequency of movements of Aemine Daiki and the Black Panther, if he does not dribble the ball to this level, he will definitely fail. Been cut off. With the swing of his left and right hands, the basketball moved back and forth in front of Kazuma Yukimiya's eyes. There was almost no unnecessary movement, and the dribbling was clean and fast. Boom. Suddenly, Yukimiya Kazuma suddenly started to break through. In his peripheral vision, Aemine's body swayed, and the Black Panther behind him expanded again. In a blink. Cut off Yukimiya Kazuma's breakthrough route, but Yukimiya had already expected this. Almost at the same time that Aemine appeared in front of him, he had already made a terrifyingly smooth crotch move, and then turned his back. The left arm ball protector caught Aemine's body backwards. Advertisement. Chapter 007. What about defense? Why can't I see it? Advertisement. Although Yukimiya Kazuma was stuck in Aemine's position, the latter's feet suddenly exploded, and he immediately broke through Yukimiya's obstruction with his physical ability. In her peripheral vision, the phantom of a black panther appeared behind Aemine, breathing ferociously towards the snow palace. Ha! Huh. It's not that easy. An excited smile appeared on Aemine's face. Yukimiya Kazuma frowned and then responded with a tit-for-tat sneer. Immediately afterwards, the dribbling movements in his hands changed again. Emergency stop. Pull back and retreat. 
He dribbled behind his back to adjust his rhythm, and then made a gambling-like move in front of his body, successfully brushing against Aemine's fingertips and protruding out again. One set of movements was extremely smooth, and the breakthrough was completed in the blink of an eye, however, Aemine's speed was too fast. Yukagong's current speed of 67 points was not even a little bit behind the opponent, and he was soon entangled by Aemine again. But the weapon in Yukagong's hands is obviously not speed. The badge Master of Pass Control gives him 96 points of ball control ability and master level ball control experience. Bang! During the dribbling process, he suddenly took the initiative to get closer to Aemine. He dribbled the ball under his hips and sent the ball away from Aemine's defensive side. At the same time, he seized the opportunity to find a confrontation. Although it failed to hit, it still delayed Aemine Deki for a moment. Advertisement. At this moment, he is very close to the basket. Yukamiya's goal is very clear. Under Aemine's high-intensity defense, it is difficult for him to find a chance to shoot the basket. Instead of gambling on shooting, it is better to rush closer to the basket. Positional shot, and his ability to control the ball is the confidence he believes can achieve this goal. Get to the basket? Aemine's body is leaping like a panther, and she is entangled like a sticky candy. The seriousness in her eyes is definitely not what Aemine should have in reality, and she is gradually starting to show off at this stage. Yukimiya Kazuma didn't have time to hesitate, stepped into the restricted area and immediately jumped up high. Are you kidding me? Jump higher for me. Aemine moves quickly, and her mouth is not idle. That kind of arrogant tone is the same as Aemine after the beginning of the black basket plotline. And on the other side, Masaka Takato, who was sitting on the bench on the sidelines, was completely dumbfounded as he watched Kazuma Yukimiya fighting against the air alone. But, was the fight so intense? Kazuma looked like he was really having a fierce battle with someone. Masaka Takato, I recently found a workout that works really well for me. Is this what Kazuma is talking about? Imagine your opponent's training out of thin air? How is this possible? The more Masaka Takato thought about it, the more unreasonable he felt, but seeing Kazuma Yumiya's solemn expression from the moment he started searching for enemies in the void, he didn't dare to say anything and kept looking weird until now. Advertisement. Until now, when he saw Yukonong leaping high, there was no ball in his hand, but he reached forward with one hand, making a layup that felt quite heavy to the senses, and then, it seemed that the opponent's pressure was severe, Yukamiya's layup movement was somewhat deformed, and the hand shape of the layup was forced to change from the layup movement to moving forward to move the ball towards the imaginary backboard. He almost couldn't control his voice. During the meditation training, Aemine Deki, who was streaming data, watched Kazuma Yumiya hit the ball on the backboard with a pop, and it was too late when he realized something was wrong. Because, he jumped too high. After Yukimiya Kazuma's layup changed to smashing the ball against the backboard, Aemine Deki was even still floating in the air when he had already landed. The former immediately took off again after landing, not daring to touch the ball too much. He caught the rebounding basketball in the air and only moved slightly towards the basket. Huh? The basketball hits the net? Yukimiya Kazuma made a telescopic gesture between his eyebrows. Where is the defense? Why can't I see it? Aemine Deki smiled, you guy. Looking at Yumiya Kazuma's eyes widening at him and the high-spirited expression on his face, Aemine's eyes flickered, and he could not help but reveal an excited smile that seemed to swallow people up. Yukimiya Kazuma. Broken? The habit of playing on the field is too complacent. Advertisement. Aemine Deki smiles so pervertedly, why should he be provoked by his own passion? If it gets violent, just open a zone and come out, you won't be able to withstand it. Anyway, with this meditation training, you don't really want to win over this black guy, do you? This move just now could only steal one. Except for controlling the ball, he is now far away from the opponent in all aspects. Yukimiya Kazuma glanced at Aemine, who took the initiative to pick up the ball and walked to the top of the key. Well, can I fight without changing my hair? Aemine raised an eyebrow at Shuegong. The immersion state of her whole body with high concentration was a bit scary. She stared closely and pushed the ball over, but the person did not move. Obviously, there was no hair change, he was just asked to wash the ball quickly. He looked like he couldn't wait to punch someone through. Yukimiya Kazuma stepped forward with the ball. Snap, hands the ball to Aemine with his right hand. While passing the ball, Suegongren was already close to him, and his whole body was resisting and harassing. The best effect was to make the opponent drop the ball hastily. A little trick on the wild court, as a defender, when washing the ball, give the ball to the opponent and immediately press close to confront the opponent, breaking the opponent's triple threat posture and reducing the offensive pressure. Especially an opponent like Aemine Deki, who has an obvious advantage in speed in all aspects, must do this. Otherwise, the opponent will start with a triple threat, combined with the threat of sudden shots, and he may be wiped out in one start. Advertisement. Chapter 008. Damn, this training is too difficult? Advertisement. Aemine's eyes flashed slightly. Snow Palace enveloped him closely, and moved in a small range from left to right, tightly entangled with Aemine, making his steps suddenly become heavy. Snap! Aemine chose to actively drop the ball. Aemine abandoned her triple threat stance at the start and dropped the ball sideways, firmly controlling the ball and putting some distance between herself and Yukimiya Kazuma. And then next, Kazuma Yukimiya witnessed with his own eyes the super-fast dribbling after Aemine blossomed. The dribbling style of Yukimiya's pass and control master is two extremes. Aemine's dribbling looks chaotic at first glance, but it is as smooth as running water, allowing the ball to move back and forth with his body, swaying and dancing around. It was as if there was some kind of realm, pulling the ball tightly. It's too much. Unacceptable. Yukimiya Kazuma felt like a paper boat whose weight was being shifted by Aemine, and could capsize at any time. Snort. Seemingly dissatisfied with Yukimiya's performance, Aemine's wild dribbling became even more wanton amid Aemine's cold snort, making Yukimiya's footsteps messy. Yukimiya Kazuma. No, be prepared. Otherwise there is no chance at all. Advertisement. Tisk. There was a sharp screeching sound of sneakers, and Yumiya Kazuma stepped hard on the floor. If he had a chance to distract himself, he would see the Transmission Master badge in the system shining brightly. In the previous training match, the pass in the Pass Control Master brought excellent ability to read the game, and used it to complete a beautiful pass predictive interception. At this moment, the Control in the Pass and Control Master also used a certain degree of dribbling judgment on the defensive end, blocking Aemine's breakthrough route one step ahead, offsetting Aemine's speed advantage. When Yukimiya successfully completed a defense, Aemine didn't seem surprised. Fancy turned his back to Suegong, and completed a Tracy McGrady-style back dribble, stopping suddenly and then starting up. Too fast? Pa. 
Paw, Aemine dived down, turned around and brushed past Snow Palace's defense. Really, still a long way to go. Arriving near the free throw line, Aemine immediately jumped up and shot a jumper. Yukimiya was stunned for a moment when he saw this. He didn't expect that after Aemine completely got rid of himself, he didn't attack the frame directly, but chose a mid-range shot. However, the reaction in a moment did not allow him to think too much. Chase behind Aemine and jumped to block the shot. Yukimiya Kazuma. So hi, ha. Aemine had jumped up with a smile on her lips. Then, with Suigong's stunned expression, he suddenly raised his legs and tightened his abdomen, and the basketball was pulled back from the air by him. The body tilted to the right in the air, his right hand reached out to the right, he swung the ball from bottom to top, and performed the iconic search for the moon from the sea move in the anime. Just like this, it was displayed in front of Kazuma Yukimiya. Advertisement. With such a casual hug, there is obviously no beautiful rotation, but the arc is really high. When the high hollow of the basketball falls into the net, it is like a meteor falling to the ground. Yukimiya Kazuma. This guy, waiting here on purpose to show off his formless shot? Sure enough, seeing it with your own eyes is completely different from the two-dimensional action performance. Damn it, so handsome too. Yukimiya Kazuma's body collided with Aemine Daiki's body. Recalling the scene he just saw, he couldn't help but say one word, six. Sci-fi basketball or something. How outrageous. Yukimiya Kazuma once again reached the top of the three-point arc. On his offensive turn, the duel between the two has entered a state of trapped beasts. Snap. Yukimiya's dribbling speed is very fast, and the combination of virtual and real is becoming more and more complex. However, as Aemine gradually reaches a speed that can only leave a black shadow, it is like hitting a wall every time and being forced to retreat. Snap, 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 in a very short time. Yukimiya Kazuma's breakthrough, stopped, breakthrough, advertisement, stopped, another breakthrough, stop again. Despite having the Master of Pass and Control badge, Yukimiya Kazuma was still able to control the ball steadily during Aemine's high-intensity pressing, but it was just a matter of control. In this round, Aemine has gone up a level, both in terms of speed and physical confrontation. Without any choice, Yukimiya Kazuma chose the simplest and crudest way of playing. Post up. The technique of post-up singles, as an attacker, has the advantage of taking the initiative. Even if there is some gap in physical ability, you can still fight head-on. Bang! Yukimiya Kazuma held the ball firmly with his back and pushed it in bit by bit. After reaching a sufficient area to attack, suddenly the reality turns around. Fake shot, Aemine's eyes didn't waver at all, and she still stood firmly in front of Yumiya Kazuma, until the opponent turned to the other side again, strode towards the basket and licked the basket. Bang! The moment the basketball leaves your hand, Aemine Daiki takes off on the spot. With a pop sound, the ball was directly pressed onto the backboard. Looking at the flash of black leather above his head and the clear sound of nailing the board, Yumiya Kazuma couldn't help but take a breath of air. There is only one thought in my mind. Damn, is this training too difficult? Advertisement. Chapter 009, You Are Really a Genius? Advertisement. After a while. Congratulations to the host for successfully completing a meditation training. Training evaluation loading. Reward, speed training value plus 0.2. The virtual image of the data flow dissipated, followed by the prompts of the meditation training system. When Yukimiya Kazuma came to his senses, he looked around and found that the gymnasium of Shiraswick in middle school had become empty at some point. Only Masaka Takato was left sitting on the bench on the sidelines, looking at him with a strange look on his face. At the same time, in the system, on the personal attribute list, a plus sign appears after Yukimiya Kazuma's speed attribute. Yukimiya Kazuma looked shocked. The main function of this meditation training system is now understood. Very simple control, a slight movement of thought, and the training value obtained from the one-on-one -on -one training just added to the speed attribute. Speed, 6-7 rightward arrow 6-7.2. Moment. A stream of heat suddenly emerged from under my feet. Then. Then there is no more. Adding a speed of 0.2 obviously won't make any earth-shaking changes. This duel didn't take too long. If there is no limit on the number of times, what if we practice like this every day? If we practice all the attributes to 99, why don't we give the Age of Miracles a string of 5? Advertisement. Um, wrong. The feeling of using it in combination with transmission and control. The combination of transmission control attribute plus transmission control master badge, the one that plays a greater role is that badge. Attributes are just the basis. How to bring out the effects of the attributes depends on how the individual uses it, or, directly relies on the badge. Obviously, badges like the master of transmission and control can fully exert the power of the basic attributes. At first, Swagong thought that the transmission and control master badge was bound to the transmission and control ability value, that is, getting the badge would give you the corresponding ability value. However, now it seems that this is obviously not the case with such a stingy increase for one training session. Otherwise, if you get a badge in the future and your ability is fully maxed out, then the meditation training will only get a few tenths of training value each time, and the meaning will be gone. The transmission control master rewarded with the badge at the beginning is more like a welfare reward for novices. In order to apply this badge at the beginning, the system forcibly improved the two attributes. It's like giving you some sweetness first, and then hooking you up to cheat you out of money. So, the path from there is pretty clear. Work hard to improve your attributes first, so as not to fall into the embarrassing situation of getting a badge but not having enough attributes to wear the badge later. Yukimiya Kazuma, etc. How to get the badge, I haven't been given any hints yet. The other side. Takato Masaka saw that Yukimiya Kazuma seemed to be resting where he was, so he waited for a few minutes before coming over. Is this the training method you're talking about? Advertisement. Play ball into the air. Really useful. Takato Masaka couldn't help but asked. This is called meditation training. Yukimiya Kazuma said seriously, and as you can see today, the effect is surprisingly good. Masaka Takato shook his head and said in admiration, You are really a genius. It was obvious that Kazuma Yumiya was undoubtedly a genius for being able to come up with such a weird training model that could improve things so quickly. And you, why haven't you left yet? 
Waiting to lock the door, I saw how enthusiastic you were practicing, so I didn't bother you? Takatoma Saki rolled his eyes at Yukonomiya, and then suddenly smiled and said, However, seeing that you rely on meditation and air to play, I can even really do it. It's really fun to feel your opponent's movements. Seeing Takatoma Saki looking like he was about to lock the door, Yukimiya Kezuma immediately said, Wait a minute, lock it later, just give me the key, and I will lock the door last. Masaki Takato heard the implication of Yukimiya's words and asked in surprise, You still want to continue practicing? Kazuma Yukimiya nodded and said, Well, I want to practice again. This training mode requires an empty stadium. Now is the right time. Leave the key there and I will lock the stadium. Finished. Yukimiya Kazuma was ready to return to the court and challenge another wave of meditation training. But that's it. But I heard Masaka take a toe behind me say, then, I'll stay too. Um, there is still more than a month left before the qualifiers for the national team. I want to work harder. You can't be a person who has just recovered from an injury and practice extra while I, the captain, am slacking off. Masaka Takato looked at Kazuma Yumiya seriously, then took off his coat and pushed the cart filled with basketballs to the other half of the court. Advertisement. Yukimiya Kazuma watched for a while and found that Masaka Takato mainly trained in shooting. Suddenly, a question occurred to him. Want to come and play some balls? Huh. After hearing this, Masaka Takato was stunned for a moment. Okay. Masaka Takato came back to his senses and quickly came to the half of the court where Yukimiya was. Looking at Kazuma Yukimiya in front of him, Masaka Takato suddenly noticed that the expression on this guy's face was very relaxed. It was clear that Swagon's expression gradually became serious when he was doing the meditation training, and in the end it became even more destructive. Now he seems to be quite relaxed. While thinking, Takato Masaka passed the ball to Yukimiya Kazuma, and then made a defensive move. The two are about the same height, one is 184 and the other is 189, and their athletic abilities are similar. In the past, the two performed their own duties, one was good at defense and the other was good at offense. But, judging from Kazuma Yukimiya's performance today, Masaka Takato knows that in terms of offense, Kazuma is no longer the same. The next second, snap, snap, snap. In the silent arena, the sound of rapid dribbling was heard. When Masaka Takato came to his senses, he had been staggered and completely lost his defensive position. Only when he really stood in front of Kazuma Yukimiya, Masaka Takato realized firsthand how well Kazuma Yukimiya controls the ball now. So strong. Advertisement. Chapter 010, Is This the Body of a Young Man? Advertisement. Yukimiya Kazuma twisted his shoulders and neck, feeling quite satisfied with the attack he just faced against Masaka Takato. However, if you are not in the meditation training scene, you cannot obtain training values. It seems that all subsequent training will be focused on the meditation training system. In the memory of the original owner, there is only more than a month left before the regional qualifiers of the national competition. Considering the intensity of generation of miracles, time is really tight and the task is heavy. It is detected that the host actively starts meditation training. Randomly load training scenarios. Loading completed. 1v1 training. Opponent. Miyachi Kiyoshi. Miyachi Kiyoshi. It seems to be from Shadokuhai. 10 minutes later. Congratulations to the host for successfully completing a meditation training. Training evaluation loading. Reward. Bounce training value plus 0.6. It feels good. This is normal intensity. Aamine Daiki or something. That's not a normal person. Advertisement. It is detected that the host actively starts meditation training. Randomly load training scenarios. Loading completed. 3v3 training. Teammates. Maido Brinishuk. Kagani Ai Shinji. Opponent. Akashi Sijuro. Atsushi Murasakibara. Midori Mishintero. You're kidding, right? Take Maido Ben Kagani Ai and fight three miracles. What a joke. 10 minutes later. Yukimiya Kazuma, who was sweating coldly, was trembling all over. Congratulations to the host for successfully completing a meditation training. Training evaluation loading. Reward, 3 points training value plus 0.1. Gan. An hour later. Yukimiya Kazuma and Takato Masaki were lined up in a row in the empty arena. The difference was that Takato Masaki was standing, while Yukimiya Kazuma was already lying down. So tired? God knows what he went through in this hour. Advertisement. The training scenes generated by this ghost system are really random. The weak one is, for example, Miyachi Kiyoshi, Wakamatsu Kasuk, and so on. But the strong one is really ridiculously strong. In just one hour, generation of miracles tortured him one by one, let alone 1v1, 3v3, or something. There was a big problem with the distribution of strength between the two sides, so he never spent time with generation of miracles? Every time you encounter generation of miracles, the training value is only a pitiful 0.1 or 0.2. Isn't it true that the stronger you fight, the more you will be given? Why is this system working backwards? After practicing for more than an hour, Yukimiya Kazuma was still a little unfinished, but in the fourth quarter of a training match today, the coach arranged to improve his physical fitness. The remaining energy is really difficult to support him to practice so wildly, especially in the meditation system, where extremely intense training scenes occur frequently. Takato Masaka glanced at Yukonomi Yakazuma and thought that if he could train with air to achieve such intensity, this training mode was really no joke. Pity. Others cannot imitate it. At least he just studied it for a long time and only studied it alone. After saying goodbye to Masaka Takato and leaving the arena, Yukimiya Kazuma went home along the route he remembered. When he passed by a convenience store, he bought some quick lunches. He was really hungry. In this world, this child's parents died, leaving only enough savings and real estate. This is a good thing, otherwise Yukimiya Kazuma would really not know how to get along with each other if there were suddenly an extra pair of parents. After returning home, after eating, taking a shower, and walking around the two-story building, it was almost 8 o'clock. Lying on the bed, Yukimiya Kazuma, who was used to 996, suddenly felt a little empty when he came to such an idle student era. Advertisement. Feeling bored, Yukimiya looked at the desk beside him, walked over and flipped through the textbook. In his memory, Yukimiya Kazuma's grades were average, but when he read the middle school knowledge in the textbook, he immediately breathed a sigh of relief. I'm so happy. The third grade of junior high school is at the same level as the original first grade of junior high school. With a little review, I should be able to pick up the forgotten knowledge. I flipped through the book for a while. At around 9 o'clock, Yukonomiya Kazuma went to bed on time. 
He has planned a very heavy training plan for tomorrow. Although the recovery speed is very good at this age, considering that the body is in the growth stage, regular and adequate sleep is still very important in self-management. Early the next morning, 6.30, Yukimiya Kazuma responded to the alarm call on time. The moment he stood up and felt his physical condition, his expression was immediately stunned. Is this the body of a young man? Is it still the effect of the system? Yukimiya Kazuma felt physically exhausted. After a sleep, he had completely recovered. He was in full condition and full of energy. I originally thought that as soon as I traveled through time, there would be competitions and crazy training, and my body might feel uncomfortable. However, after one night, there was nothing abnormal at all. It's just that the hunger is very strong. In that case, the planned training plan may still be modified. Originally, Yukimiya Kazuma planned to get up early, spend some time warming up, and practice some technical aspects that did not consume much physical energy, so that his attributes could be better utilized. But if the recovery effect is so good, maybe I can practice more intensely. For example, before going to school, find an open place and come to him for an hour of meditation training. Anyway, in Sakura's middle school, the first class starts at almost 9 o'clock in the morning. With so much free time, it would be a waste not to practice. Advertisement. Chapter 011, he faced the air and fought vigorously. Advertisement. Congratulations to the host for successfully completing a meditation training. Training evaluation loading. Reward, dunk training value plus 0.4. Congratulations to the host for successfully completing a meditation training. Training evaluation loading. Reward, blocked shots training value plus 0.5. Congratulations to the host for successfully completing a meditation training. Training evaluation loading. Reward, physical fitness and training value plus 0.2. Snow Palace and Jen's home, in the open space in the backyard. Meditation training lasted until 8 a.m. After finishing his morning exercise, Yumi Yakazuma returned home dripping with sweat, took a shower, had breakfast, and dinner, and heated up the bento he bought last night to take to school. 8.30. Yukimiya Kazuma went out on time. Advertisement. At 8.50, he walked into Beishuagwin Middle School and arrived at his class. Not long after, the bell rang for morning classes at Beishuagwin Middle School. I studied hard for a day, or less than half a day. After all, at 3.30 in the afternoon, the bell rang at Shiraswikin Middle School on time, which made Yukimiya Kazuma couldn't help but sigh again for the happy education of other people's families. The bell rings. Yukimiya Kazuma followed the memory. First go to class B to meet Huayin Liang, and then the two of them go to class A to find Masaka Takato. The three of them joined the basketball club and soon became familiar with each other. They have continued this habit and have been teammates for nearly three years. Rushing to the basketball club, the three of them started simple activities. It didn't take long. The rest of the basketball club members arrived one after another. Compared to Tiako, a wealthy club with hundreds of people at every turn, the basketball club members of Shiraswikin Middle School pale in comparison. There is no such thing as one army and two armies. There are only main players, substitutes, and substitutes. After the coach arranged the team members training today, Yukimiya Kazuma took the initiative to find the coach Shin Matsuji and proposed the idea of independent training. Um, Snow Palace. Originally, according to my arrangement, your training plan will have some changes starting from today. After the coach finished speaking, he hesitated for a moment, and then suddenly said, You can also train independently, but I have to check the training effect regularly. If it does not meet my requirements, it must be according to my plan. With Shin Matsuji's teaching style, this kind of precedent would not have been set. Advertisement. However, yesterday, Yukimiya Kazuma suddenly handed over an amazing answer sheet, which made him feel that maybe the effect would be better if Yukimiya could do it at his own pace. The coach relaxed so easily, which not only surprised Kazuma Yumiya, but also surprised the other main players in the basketball club. Especially the team members who are already in the third grade, they know very well what kind of character this little old man is. What are you looking at? If you can improve so much by training on your own like Snow Palace, I will let you train on your own. Hurry up and run. Really, the smelly old man is still the same smelly old man. When the other members of the basketball team began their daily training, Yumiya Kazuma was only doing one thing, which was to find an empty half of the court and activate the meditation training system. There is only more than a month left before the national competition qualifiers. In such a short period of time, instead of focusing on group training, practicing team tactics, etc., it is definitely more useful to increase attributes by yourself. This is the only thing Kazuma Yukimiya needs to do before the all-qualifiers start in the next month or so. Then, in the following time, all the members of the basketball team could always see a figure with snowy hair in one half of the corner during training. He was facing the air, playing vigorously, showing off his skills crazily. And as time goes by, from time to time, you can still hear him alone, either laughing wildly or getting angry. Captain Zoteng said that it was the meditation training mode of senior Yukonomiya. He relied on meditation to imagine opponents and conduct actual combat training, but everyone really couldn't figure it out. This meditation was too real. Just now, advertisement. Yukimiya Senpai's layup was suddenly blocked by his imaginary opponent, and then knocked off the court. Needless to say, Yukimiya Senpai's acting skills are really good and his sense of belief is super strong. With everyone watching, his expression didn't waver at all. I just didn't know that Yukimiya Senpai was yelling Kagami Taiga when he stood up. Who is he? Congratulations to the host for successfully completing a meditation training. Training evaluation loading. Reward, bounce training value plus 0.3. I just finished a round of training with Kagami Taiga, and it was the high school version of Kagami. Although he was only an early stage baby, his opponent's ability to jump and slam dunk with a casual jump still made Yukimiya and Shine fight. Also, it's better than hitting Akash or something. Because every time he starts meditation training, he will receive real attributes. No matter how much he earns, it will always be a visible increase in strength. Every time he sees his attributes rising little by little, Yukimiya Kazuma feels full of motivation. Moreover, now that he has super recovery ability, he naturally trains at full intensity and trains hard with his arms outstretched. An hour and a half. Yukimiya Kazuma didn't waste a minute. In this small half where he was the only one, he practiced until his legs were a little weak. Finally, he was caught by Shin Satsuji, who exposed at a glance his acting skills that he was still pretending despite being exhausted. After being severely educated for a while, Yukimiya and Genke reluctantly left the court to rest. Advertisement. Chapter 012, The Phantom Sixth Person Who Is Sad and Sad. Advertisement. 
For any sport, training is a very grueling process. Even Iverson, who is famous for not training, has refuted the rumors and repeatedly stated the importance of player training. On the court, the passionate performance is accompanied by the player's unrestricted hard training. Although Yuki Miyakezuma's meditation training seems weird and strange, his persistent and desperate attitude has attracted the strange attention of basketball club members and coaches. After all, in everyone's impression, although Yuki Miyakezuma has never been lazy in his usual training, he doesn't have the initiative to be so serious. Unknowingly, in a blink of an eye, the day is approaching for the national competition qualifiers. Kezuma, at Beishwikan Middle School, in front of the pool at the side entrance of the gymnasium, Takato Masaka stopped Yuki Miyakezuma, the all qualifiers will start tomorrow. You won't practice any more today, right? Well, recharge your batteries for tomorrow. Want to go together? Okay. Under the dark night, with the moonlight shining, the two of them walked on the street. Masaka Takato was the first to speak, how has your training been lately? Swagong couldn't help but smile as he thought about what he had gained during this period. Excellent. After walking for a while, Masaka Takato, who had been hesitating, suddenly stopped. Hey, Kezuma. Advertisement. Remember when we first joined the basketball club? Yuki Miyakezuma turned around and looked at the serious expression on his opponent's face. Memories suddenly appeared in his mind. They were nothing more than stereotypical hot-blooded idiots with basketball dreams and goals. Um, remember. Don't worry, leave it to me. I have a hunch that this year's perfect score will be the perfect stage. Masaka Takato looked at the confident Yuki Miyakezuma in front of him, and smiled at first, and then was silent for a moment. Hey, that guy Ryo said he won't play basketball anymore in high school. Are the flowers bright? So that's it. No wonder he felt today that Takato was always hesitant to speak. If it were the former Yukino Miyakezuma, I'm afraid he would immediately run over to question Hua Yin Liang. But, it's been replaced now. It doesn't matter. Life is a train. There are people getting on and off, but the destination is always the same. Just finish the last journey well. Don't have any regrets. Yuki Miyakezuma patted Masaka Takato's shoulder, causing the latter to look suffocated. Masaka Takato was immediately speechless for a while. Hey, I obviously intend to comfort you. If you have that kind of skill, why not come to the court and practice with me? Come. Yuki Miyakezuma and Takato Masaka came to a nearby park court. When Takato Masaka was about to walk into the stadium, Yuki Miyakezuma suddenly pulled him. What's wrong? There's someone on the phone over there. Huh? Where is it? In the court, a boy with light blue hair was pacing under the basket with his head lowered, holding a mobile phone to his ear and whispering something. Advertisement. Masaka Takato looked in the direction of Yuki Miyakezuma's finger. The next second, his eyes suddenly widened. There is actually someone. Takato Masaka rubbed his eyes. It shouldn't be, just standing there. I didn't even notice. Eh? Tiako's uniform. That's right. Tiako's uniform. Hair as light blue as the sky. Generation of miracles. The sixth man of miracles, Kuroko Tetsuya. I didn't expect to meet you here. And, is the master of transmission control badge too useful? Even Kuroko Tetsuya's natural low presence can be captured immediately through his field of vision, which is similar to Takao Kazunri's eagle eyes. Yuki Miyakezuma hesitated for a moment. He had some impressions of this scene, and then said, wait a moment until he finishes the call. An acquaintance. Masaka Takato thought of what Yuki Miya said just now. I didn't expect to meet him here, and thought he knew the person on the court, so he asked immediately. Yuki Miyakezuma shook his head, and when he turned to look at Masaka Takato, he had a strange look on his face. That person is Takao's official candidate, and he is the sixth person from the Miracle Age, the Phantom. You have no impression of him at all. Yuki Miya felt very strange about this. They are both from the Tokyo district, and their opponent is the famous Tiako Phantom Sixth Man. Is such a big living person really so easy to be ignored? Weird. Ah, uh, it's him, the one who disappears on the field, in the stadium. Advertisement. On the other end of the phone in Kuroko Tetsuya's hand, Agawara Sohiro's hearty voice came. Kuroko Tetsuya was silent for a moment. I'm sorry, I've been a little busy recently. I'm fine. Where is Agawara-kun? Of course I'm fine too. Speaking of which, Tiako is indeed super active. Monthly basketball reports on you almost every month. I watch it every time. Thank you so much. But Kuroko only shows a small part of her face in every photo. Kuroko Tetsuya. Our school is also very strong this year. I feel the level is higher than last year, so I will definitely abide by the promise next time. Kuroko was also affected by this emotion and smiled knowingly. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Ajihara Shijihiro heard that Kuroko's tone was not right. Kuroko, are you okay? Did something happen? Kuroko Tetsuya, nothing, I'm fine, thank you for worrying about me. That's great, then I'll call you or send you a message after a while. The phone hangs up. Kuroko Tetsuya looked at the phone screen with a solemn expression. Sorry, Agawara-kun. Actually, there are many things that I can't say, because just today, I told lies and made girls cry. I am the worst person. Just at this time, when Kuroko Tetsuyo was still feeling sad, he suddenly heard a fierce voice not far behind him. Hey, the blue-haired one and the white-haired one. I said you, if you don't need the stadium, just get out of the way. Advertisement. Chapter 013, three rounds determine the outcome, and it will be over soon. Advertisement. Kuroko Tetsuya looked back. The first thing that caught his eye were two figures, one of whom had lighter hair color than the previous Hizaki Shogo. Under the lighting around the stadium, it almost glowed with fluorescence like snow. Behind them, there was a person with hair as red as flames and some bifurcated eyebrows. However, when Kuroko Tetsuya looked at that person, the bifurcated eyebrows attracted his attention even more than the other person's hair color. Masaka Takato, I have been ignored. I am obviously the tallest among the people present. But, Takato Masaka took a look at the hair of several people present, and suddenly felt that he had black hair, which looked so normal here. Okay, you are fashionable, you are amazing. I said, do you want to play ball or not? If you don't beat it, leave it for those who want to use it. The words with a slightly unruly tone came again, but Yumi Yakezuma knew that this guy was just cold-faced and warm-hearted, or it was just rough lines. But Kuroko Tetsuya didn't know this. Seeing the impatient look in the other person's eyes, Kuroko, who had not recovered from the emotion just now, had a confused expression on his face and apologized. Sorry. Advertisement. Kagami Taiga, who had just returned home, passed Kazuma Yukimiya and Masaka Takato, took off his coat and walked into the court. He glanced behind him and said, Hey, are you from the basketball club? Yes. 
Kuriko Tetsuya, who had experienced a wave of Akashi's attempts to persuade him to quit, paused, and added, Barely. Kagami Taiga, it's not you who's asking. But, with this height, he actually plays basketball? Sure enough, basketball in China was like playing house, just like the basketball club of the new school he transferred to. It was boring and I didn't join them. It was indeed the right choice. Um, that's it. Then work hard. Yuki Miyakezuma looked at Kagami Taiga who unexpectedly broke in before him. There is indeed a scene in the manga where Kagami and Kuriko met for the first time in junior high school, but it was only about two pages long, and Yuki Miyakezuma only had a little impression of it. In fact, even the two parties themselves forgot about the first meeting of this pair of light and shadow after entering high school. When Yuki Miyakezuma thought of this, he suddenly showed a faint smile and said, How can it be considered true? This is the overlord of the junior high school basketball world, Tiako Junior High's famous sixth man of fantasy. Kuriko Tetsuya, who was about to leave, subconsciously turned his head after hearing Yuki Miyakezuma's words, and Kagami also looked surprised. Real. Advertisement. Kagami looked at Kuriko Tetsuya, who was less than 170 centimeters tall, with suspicious eyes. The name of the sixth man of fantasy was quite famous, but compared to this person, he was more interested in the white-haired man who was similar in height to himself. Originally, the target of my conversation was the two tall guys who seemed to know how to play ball. Masaka Takato glanced at Kazuma Yukimiya and saw that he had been training too much. Masaka Takato could easily tell that compared to the sixth man of fantasy, Kazuma was more interested in the guy in front of him. Redhead, more interested. After all, Kazuma could hardly hide the fighting spirit in his body. But Masaka Takato felt a little strange. The legendary sixth person of Tiako Phantom was in front of him, so why did Kazuma focus on this redhead? The physique looks really good. Hey, blue-haired one, do you want a one-on-one? -on -one? Kagami thought about it and felt that since he was the overlord of junior high school basketball, he should be somewhat capable, although he really didn't feel the slightest aura of being a strong person. Feel sorry. I'm not good at one-on-one. -on -one. Kuriko decisively rejected the opponent. Firstly, he was not in such a mood now. Secondly, he was not lying. His skills were not focused on offense and defense at all, let alone this kind of one-on-one -on -one duel. Kagami raised an eyebrow, turned to look at Yukinomi Yakazuma, and became even more suspicious of what he just said. Snap. Don't make it difficult for him, he's not good at this. Advertisement. Kazuma Yukimiya dropped his ball bag, took the initiative to relieve Kuriko Tetsuya, and then walked into the court. Hey, Kazuma, there are still qualifiers to be played tomorrow. As the captain, Takato Masaka does not approve of playing wild ball with a stranger on the eve of the game. It is fine if you play with yourself. If you play with a stranger, it will be neither light nor heavy. It will be bad if you get injured. Moreover, with Kazuma's current strength, his importance to Whitewater Hall is not the same as before. It doesn't matter. Three rounds will determine the outcome, and it will be over soon. Kagami Taiga frowned after hearing what Yumi Yakazuma said, showing his signature fierce expression. Hey, I can't pretend I didn't hear this. Hmm, okay, come on, hit whatever you want. Before you cheat, I'll give you a lesson first. By the way, I would like to repay the debt of dunking on my head during meditation training for more than a month. Damn it. Thinking of this, Yuki Miyakazuma became very angry. Before the attributes are raised, most of the opponents in meditation training are the same age version. When the attributes are raised and you want to take revenge, the training scene that appears immediately becomes the future version, the kind that can open zones. Since the meditation training system is useless, I will train you in the real military. Advertisement. Chapter 014, Goal, Defeat Generation of Miracles and Win the Championship. Advertisement. Too fast? This white-haired guy? Whether it's dribbling or stealing, it's all too fast? After starting one-on-one, -on -one, this was the only thought left in Kagami Taiga's mind. And Yuki Miyakazuma, who was standing opposite him, had a look of indifference and disappointment on his face, but he was actually already happy in his heart. Facing himself with great attributes, equipped with the Master of Pass and Control badge, and a master-level understanding of himself and the opponent's ball control, Kagami Taiga also seemed helpless in front of him, looking extremely weak. But in fact, although Kagami in the third grade of junior high school has no sign of flowering at all, his physical attributes are close to miraculous level. It can only be said that attributes are attributes and skills are skills. There are no attributes at the same level but skills of the same level. The current Kagami, let alone generation of miracles, may not be able to withstand the five generals without a crown. Ryo Minorobuchi's heaven, earth, and void three-position shooting, Heia Makotaro's thunder dribbling and wild, Nebutani Ikaki's muscle. These three people have already teamed up in Rakuzen and are killing everyone in the high school basketball world to taste the championship. Yuki Miyakezuma can be sure that the current Kagami will definitely not be able to beat them. Seeing the look in Yuki Miyakezuma's eyes, Kagami Taiga could still understand the malicious intent in the other person's eyes even though the other person didn't speak. He frowned and stepped forward to defend. The next second. Snap. Snap. Bang. Advertisement. The super-fast continuous transformations seemed to be aimed at his center of gravity every time, accurate and fast. Then, the figure in front of me flashed. The dribbling with the Master of Pass and Control badge, combined with the greatly increased speed, is no longer something Kagami can keep up with at this stage. Perhaps, it will be possible for Kagami whose attributes have been greatly improved again after training in Siren. Break through the defense. The moment he passed by Yuki Miyakazuma, Kagami seemed to feel the coldness, and froze in place and shivered. No matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't keep up with the dribbling of the person opposite him. Hateful. In the blink of an eye, boom, Yuki Miyakazuma passed by Kagami Taiga, entered the penalty area, and dunked with a little gliding, slamming the ball into the basket, avenging more than one stone in the meditation training. With one hand hanging on the basket, Yuki Miya turned his back to Kagami and showed a rather unreserved smile. This made Yuki Miya, who was determined to maintain the posture of I am a basketball master, adjust for a long time before letting go of the basket. It's over. I have to go back, Yashu. Masaka Takato. Masaka Takato, is it? Too fast. Advertisement. I told you it would be over soon. Kazuma Yukimiya, who had his hands in his pockets and didn't know who his opponent was, when he turned around, it was as if he had changed into a cold Aemine face, overwhelming victory. This made Kuriko Tetsuya on the side look stunned. Hello, etc. You guy, do it again. Yuki Miyakazuma picked up his golf bag and shook his head. What stupid words are you talking about? As I said before, we are going to play in the national championships tomorrow and will only play three rounds with you. 
Kagami was stunned for a moment when he heard this and scratched his head, that, what is the full hit? The National Junior High School Basketball Conference is commonly known as All High School. Kazuma Yumiya turned to look at Kuroko Tetsuya, pointed at him and said, the highest competition of junior high school basketball, by the way, Tiako where this classmate is from, they have won the title of junior high school for two consecutive years, and this year is there, and our last year. Kagami Taiga's eyes widened and he looked at Kuroko Tetsuya with a look of disbelief. This person, second consecutive championship in junior high school? In other words, that Baimao has never won a championship. So how strong should this guy who looks so weak be? Kagami Taiga never expected that domestic junior high school basketball would be so intense. Yukimi Kazuma gave Kagami a military training, and helped Kuroko to impress Kagami in a wicked way. When Kuroko entered Siren, 80% of the pretentiousness at the beginning was greatly reduced, which is very interesting to think about. Yukimi Kazuma, who felt completely refreshed, greeted Masaka Takato beside him, and the two of them prepared to leave. Hello, advertisement. My name is Kagami Taiga. What are your names? Kagami asked, holding the basketball in one hand and not losing the match. Hearing this, Yukimi Kazuma did not look at Kagami, but turned to look at Kuroko Tetsuya. Beishwick in middle school. Yukimi Kazuma. Goal, defeat Generation of Miracles and win all. Obviously, Kagami Taiga doesn't know what Generation of Miracles is, but looking at Yukimi Kazuma, it feels like he's talking about something powerful. Yukimiya's words obviously touched Kuroko Tetsuya very much, and it took him a while to come back to his senses under the urging of Kagami Taiga. Kuroko Tetsuya. After receiving the response, Kagami asked again about the venue of the match. I don't know if it was because of the impact of the previous duel, but he also left the stadium, coming and going in a hurry. Only Kuroko Tetsuya was left, standing at the entrance of the park court, her mind wandering from time to time to the snow-colored hair flying when dribbling, and a pair of interesting red-forked eyebrows on the other side. Far away. Kazuma Yukimiya and Masaka Takato, who have gone far away, are here. When they were about to reach the intersection where the two were about to separate, Masaka Takato couldn't help but ask, Kazuma, my style, isn't it very inconspicuous? Yukimiya Kazuma had an expression on his face that said, why do you say that? Then he looked at it carefully and gave a relatively reasonable evaluation, is it possible that it's not a problem with the styling? Masaka Takato, advertisement. Chapter 015, Beishwicken Middle School, isn't this a good sign? Advertisement. The final summer for the third-year players of the Shiraswicken Middle School Basketball Club begins on the day of the Alchungqing Tokyo District Qualifiers. When the coach of the basketball club, Shin Matsuharu, led the players into the Tokyo Second Gymnasium, the noisy sound suddenly enveloped the surroundings, mixed with the scraping of sneakers on the floor, and the cheers from various schools in the audience, making the Hakuzui Hall Basketball Club the newcomers' whole bodies trembled as if they were electrified. Even Yumi Yakazuma was a little excited. It's not that Yukimi Yakazuma never participated in basketball games when he was in school, but in the games he represented the school in the past, he had never had such a warm audience atmosphere. Even junior high school basketball events are not as eye-catching as high school basketball. But today is the opening of the Tokyo District qualifiers, so the auditorium in the stadium is more than half full, and in the center of the stadium, most of the teams participating in the Tokyo District qualifiers have also appeared. Everyone in the White Water Hall followed Masaka Takato, who was holding a sign at the front, to the center of the gymnasium. At this time, as a team wearing white uniforms entered the field, the sound of the audience suddenly rose to another level. Yukimi Kazuma turned to look. Not surprisingly, it's Tiako Junior High. Hello, look, Tiako Junior High. Two consecutive junior high school champions, and the top one is Generation of Miracles. It feels a bit scary. His expression is a bit gloomy. Advertisement. Before last year, Tiako was undefeated, but it was not as exaggerated as this year. In the exchange battles between the top 10 schools in the region, they often had hundreds of points difference. Ah, uh, real or fake? The player who revealed this information nodded and affirmed, really, Tiako will definitely win the championship this year, no one else should even think about it. These monsters are so strong. Yukimi Kazuma turned to look at Tiako Jr. High. This was the first time since time travel that he was facing all members of Generation of Miracles. The first thing that caught his eye was Atsushi Murasakibara, whose height had obviously reached 200 centimeters. Although he was not as tall as 208 centimeters later, he looked quite scary among a group of junior high school students. Kai's Ryota, who has a very lively impression, is also cold-faced most of the time during this stage when Tiako is falling apart. Then came Aamine Daiki, who looked about the same height as Yukimi Kazuma, maybe only about a centimeter or two taller. At this time, he was tilting his head and talking gloomily to the pink-haired girl beside him. The eye-catching green in the crowd, with his bandaged hands holding a mascot that Yukonomiya couldn't understand, was silently studied. Mitorima was almost 190 centimeters tall, almost as tall as his own center Masaka Takato, and Akashi Sijuro. When Yukimi Kazuma looked at him, Akashi suddenly turned his head and glanced at him. His eyes were full of oppression, and his pupils had changed into different colors, making him look extremely strange. Yukimi Kazuma, good guy, who dares to say that you are a positive figure, just like a villain group. Hello, Yukonomi Yakan. Oh, advertisement. Except for this one. Hello. Kuroko Tetsuya took the initiative to say hello to Yumi Yakazuma, but without saying much, he left with Tiako's team. Yukimiya himself felt strange, and his teammates on the side felt horrified. Coach Shin Matsuji, who had always been a serious man, was even frightened by the sudden appearance of Kuroko. The opening process of the regional qualifiers was quite smooth. Athletes swear an oath and take a group photo. Sponsor speech. An hour later, the opening process ended and the game officially began. According to the lottery results before the start of the game, the opponent of Shiraswicken Middle School in the first match was a middle school named Inseiji. The strength of this middle school was mediocre in Tokyo, of course. In the memory of Yukimi Kazuma, this one is unremarkable, probably on the same level as the previous Beishui Pavilion. After everyone changed their jerseys in the locker room, not long after, gym staff came to inform them that they were ready for the game and could go on the field to warm up. Immediately, the members of the Beishui Hall stepped onto the court with some trepidation. Beishuiken Middle School, is it very strong? Well I don't understand. If you haven't heard of it before, it's probably about the same level as us, right? Advertisement. 
Eh, isn't this a good signing? In this case, our chances of entering the second round will be greatly increased. After the warm-up, the bench of Inseaji Middle School. The members of the basketball team quietly looked in the direction of the Whitewater Hall. Although the strength of their team is very average, and they have always been eliminated in the first round of regional qualifiers in the past, but even so, as players, they are ambitious. Bang bang bang, concentrate, don't think about anything else, no matter what the opponent is, let's set our own pace and win the first quarter first. The captain of Inseaji Middle School stood up, clapped his hands, and encouraged everyone. Yes, go ahead, take down your opponent. We're going to make a big splash this year. The five starters from Inseaji Middle School stood up with great momentum. When they stepped onto the court, everyone had a look of confidence on their faces. Then not long after, bang, in the offensive round of Inseaji Middle School, a white flash of light jumped out from the opposite free throw line. Inseaji shooting guards three-pointer after going around the pick and roll was slapped far away with a loud bang. The huge force even caused the basketball to fly all the way from the front court to the back court. Then it hit the billboard outside the venue hard. In an instant, the expressions on the faces of all the players from Inseaji Middle School on the field were frozen. Advertisement. Chapter 016, Badge Mission, two big hats appeared at the beginning. Advertisement. What a, such a long shot. So strong. Who is that number five? Why don't I have any impression? After a moment of silence, the auditorium suddenly became commotion. Among the several games that were going on at the same time, the focus of the audience's attention was now only Shiraswick and BS. Inseaji Temple. Don't. Don't worry. It doesn't matter. The opponent just jumped a little higher. The timing of blocking the shot is good luck. Don't be affected by him. Just defend well next. The captain of Inseaji Middle School recovered from his stupor first, and immediately clapped his hands as usual, calling the attention of his teammates back, while not forgetting to encourage everyone. After hearing the captain's words, the other team members of Inseaji Middle School also came to their senses one after another. That's right. It must have been good luck just now. Blocking shots from the free throw line to the three-point line, such a long jump distance, it is not easy to stop the action once you jump. That block by number five must have an element of gambling. But, did you jump too high? The other side. Yukimiya Kazuma's eyes burst into joy, because before the cover was sealed just now, the system finally gave a clear way to obtain the badge, so Yukimiya and Makoto couldn't wait to pounce on it, and even jumped directly first. Advertisement. Badge mission, in the game with Inseaji Middle School, block the opponent's players more than or equal to five times. Achievement reward, have a chance to obtain blocking related badges, currently completed one-fifth. Attribute mission, defeat Inseaji Middle School, win the game, and send more than ten assists. Achievement reward, self-assigned attributes x4. This mission and the badge are both quite good. Yukimiya Kazuma now has a pass control master on the offensive end, but he lacks a sharp weapon on the defensive end. The capping badge mission he got was just what he wanted. In addition, it also comes with an attribute task. Although 4 points sounds like a small amount, in fact, compared with the training value given by meditation training, it is already very good, and it is probably equivalent to a day's training in the snow palace. Certainly, a day refers to a day of basketball club activities, excluding daytime class time. Moreover, the attributes given by this attribute task can be assigned independently compared to the randomly assigned training values given by meditation training, which is also an advantage. Name, Yukimiya Kazuma. Team, Beishwick in Middle School. Height, 184 centimeters. Weight, 72 kilograms. Arm span, 191 centimeters. Speed, 87.3. Power, 83.1. Ball possession, 96.2. Advertisement. Pass, 93.5. Bounce, 84.9. Layup, 82.1. Dunk, 83.7. CIC, 81.2. Three points, 81.8. Rebounds, 83.2. Blocks, 84.6. Steals, 79.3. Single defense, 81.0. Assistance defense, 81.4. Physical fitness, 85.2. In addition to transmission and control, compared to the previous average value of around 70, Yukimiya Kazuma's attributes have now reached an average value of over 80. For more than a month, he has achieved a training value of about 4 points every day, totaling nearly 150, allowing Yukimiya Kazuma's overall attributes have been greatly improved. Beep. Soon, the referee's whistle sounded, and Inseaji served the ball. The opponent's number 7 activated an ordinary triple threat. The breakthrough was not very powerful and was easily blocked by Daisuke Teriyama. The point guard of Inseaji Middle School organized the attack and hoisted the ball inside. Masaka Takato quickly stepped forward to defend. Facing Masaka Takato, who is about 190 centimeters tall, the center opposite Yukimiya, who is only as tall as Yukimiya, did not attack. He just raised his hand and clicked. Masaka Takato was not fooled. At the same time, he habitually reminded Kazuma Yukimiya who might come to encircle him, don't jump with fake moves. However, before he finished speaking, the next second, the opponent's offensive action suddenly changed from holding the ball with both hands to standing sideways with one arm raised. Advertisement. Hook. Masaka Takato was shaken by the fake shooting move just now, and his expression changed. At this time, behind him, a figure suddenly jumped up against the incandescent lights on the roof of the arena. Before Masaka Takato could see what was happening, he heard the sound of howling wind and the muffled sound of a basketball being hit. Follow closely. Not far away, he saw a confused Kashiga Yuji, who was almost hit by a head-on blow, and grabbed the flying basketball with both hands. Fine. He reacted quickly enough. When Masaka Takato looked back, the scene he saw was Kazuma Yukimiya, who was carrying the number 5 Shiras Y Hall jersey with a stern look on his back, and the dull eyes of his opponents around him. Badge mission, in the game with Inseaji Middle School, block the opponent's players more than or equal to 5 times. Achievement reward, have a chance to obtain blocking related badges, currently completed 2 fifths. Another block. But this time, Yukimiya Kazuma controlled his strength and did not send the opponent out of the field. Whitewater Pavilion's possession of the ball. After a brief silence, cheers from the juniors suddenly rang out from the bench of Shiras Wiccan Middle School, and everyone cheered for Yukimiya Kazuma in a lively manner. Whoa, senior Yukimiya, well done. Nice, 
Senior is on full fire today. Advertisement. Chapter 017. Passing the ball without watching? Did you wear your crotch accurately? Advertisement. The atmosphere at Shiraswicken Middle School was lively. In comparison, the atmosphere at Inseaji Middle School became a bit solemn. They were no longer as confident as they were before the game started, as if they had caught a weakling. See the scene. The coach of Inseaji Middle School immediately called a timeout, causing the audience in the gymnasium to start talking. Because this pause came too quickly. No way. Do we have to call a timeout at the beginning? Two blocks actually forced the opponent to call a timeout. Junior high school students nowadays are so scary. Yes. The situation at Inseaji Middle School is a bit bad. Number 5 of Beishui Hall is so strong. He doesn't look like a junior high school student. I feel like, there won't be another generation of miracles level player suddenly appearing. Inseaji's coach had no choice but to call this timeout. If he couldn't interrupt the opponent's momentum, his own players might not be able to even display their strength normally. Therefore, the purpose of this timeout is not to arrange any tactics, but simply to interrupt the rhythm and give the players a boost. Soon, the timeout ends and the game continues. Currently it is the attack of Shiraswick in middle school. Kazuma Yukimiya served directly from the baseline and took over the ball. The Inseaji players on the opposite side were a little surprised to see number 5 advancing with the ball. In junior high school, a big man of this height is either a power forward or a center, and his ball handling ability is definitely incomparable to that of a small point guard. Certainly. Advertisement. The exception is the age of miracles kind of monster. In the past training games, the point guard of Inseaji Middle School also misplaced his defense against the big man. As long as he did not enter the attack area, he would definitely make consecutive mistakes while controlling the ball. Then he immediately pressed forward, trying to use his body to pressure the opponent, causing a mistake. Although the point guard is not very tall, he has a pretty good wingspan. With his flexible movements and low center of gravity, he will pose a great threat to tall players dribbling. Before having the system, Yukimiya Kazuma would never have shown dribbling in front of such a nimble little man. But, who let him have it? Now Swamiya is a man with a badge of master of pass and control. His ball handling ability is undoubtedly the first in the junior high school basketball world. On the court, Yukimiya used his body extremely steadily to resist the opponent, and then while observing, he pushed forward and controlled the ball steadily, which surprised the Inseaji coach. The Inseaji point guard missed a shot and immediately turned around to stabilize his body and maintain his defensive position. Looking at number 5 of Beishui Hall in front of him at the top of the three-point arc, his eyes scanning the entire court and making tactical gestures constantly, the point guard classmate suddenly felt that he was offended. A post player who serves as a point guard on the offensive end while also calling the shots as if he were nothing? Tisk. Inseaji's point guard started again, and his right hand hit Yukimiya and the dribbler with a high center of gravity? However, after the test just now, he also knew very well that the number 5 of Beishuguin was not a gimmick in playing point guard, but had certain abilities. So his direct payment was just a false move. Advertisement. It's good to win. If he misses, he will complete the steal on the opponent's next dribbling move or passing route. As a point guard, he is quite skilled at using this move. However, this time it failed. Yukimiya Kazuma ignored the opponent, but used Masaka Takato to complete a pick and roll screen. The two cooperated well, and the Inseaji point guard was completely obscured by the tall Takato Masaki. Yukimiya Kazuma followed suit, but the speed was not at full power. Entering the penalty area in a blink of an eye, there is a center guarding the inside, and a point guard chasing behind him relentlessly. In this situation of being attacked from both sides, the audience at the scene became nervous for him. But being flanked means there will be an opening. A figure about 175 centimeters tall quietly came to the free throw line. Number 7, Beishui Hall. Shooting guard Daisuke Teriyama. The next second, the basketball in Yukimiya Kazuma's hands suddenly appeared in the hands of Daisuke Teriyama, like magic. Daisuke Teriyama was not surprised at all. In the last few days of preparation for the game, even though he only had a few practice sessions, he was already quite familiar with this wonderful feeling of catching the ball. Advertisement. Big open space. Daisuke Teriyama easily hit. Whoa, how, how did it get passed on? This pass was fast and concealed, which made many viewers who didn't understand it feel quite magical. Some people got the player's name from somewhere, and the words Yukimiya Kazuma appeared one after another on the scene, but more of the audience actually still wanted to know how the ball suddenly appeared just now. In the hands of number 7 of Beishui Pavilion, how did it get passed on? On the way back to defense, Yukimiya Kazuma high-fived Daisuke Teriyama, who was waiting at the spot. This pass was really beautiful, and the ball felt as comfortable as ever. Daisuke Teriyama couldn't help but admire, Yukino Miya Senpai, that's a good pass. Soon, some viewers saw it clearly from a frontal angle and explained to the audience around them with excitement. It turned out that Yukimiya Kazuma dribbled into the paint, and when he was surrounded by the opponent's center and point guard, he suddenly looked like eyes in the back of his head. Without looking back at all, he used a tricky ground pass to pass the ball. The ball was passed. Inseaji point guard was also prepared for Kazuma Yukimiya's pass. Even so, he never expected that Kazuma Yukimiya didn't even turn around, and he couldn't see the passer clearly with his back turned. So much so that I was caught off guard and watched the basketball go through my crotch. Then the ball came to Daisuke Teriyama's hands. Ah, uh, I see. You passed the ball without looking at people, and you penetrated the crotch accurately. Whoa. Advertisement. Chapter 018, there is something on the opposite side, but not much. Advertisement. Off the field. In front of Inseaji's bench, a middle-aged coach with hair loss was tossing his already sparse hair. He really couldn't figure out how such a strong player could suddenly appear in Beishwickin Middle School, with ball control, passing, rhythm, vision, plus the physical ability he showed when blocking shots before. This damn thing is actually a white water pavilion that has a reputation comparable to that of Inseaji Temple? Are you kidding me? Yukimiya Kazuma's performance stood out among the first batch of teams that were not very outstanding, and it also shocked the audience who had planned to wait to see a stronger team. Of course, the one who is even more excited is undoubtedly the bench of Shiraswick in Middle School. Defend, defend, defend. The sounds of excitement are endless. Advertisement. Inseaji's turn. Shiraz Wiccan's number 5 just made his team suffer continuously. Inseaji's ace, small forward Yukio Mize's, is determined to give the opponent's number 5 some color. 
Just opposite this guy, the defense found him. That's right. Yukimi Akazuma's defense had just been directed to defend the opponent's small forward under the arrangement of the coach. It seemed that the little old man knew some information about Inseiji Middle School. Yukio Mizu's lowered his center of gravity and swayed during two consecutive dribbles. However, what surprised him was that number 5 of Beishui Hall did not lose his position at all. Even though he was in a passive defensive position, he still reacted quickly. Since getting the Master of Pass Control badge, Kazuma Yukimiya feels that he has a new understanding of defensive dribbling and passing, as well as judgment and position selection. This gives Kazuma Yukimiya a clue every time. The feeling of being ahead of the enemy. Maizei's Yukio was very surprised. He didn't expect this guy to be able to keep up with his pace. Although the strength of his own team is average, he is still quite conceited about his breakthrough dribbling. Most people cannot handle his disguised breakthrough. Snort. Yukio Maize snorted unconvinced, and kicked off the ground suddenly to speed up. Kazuma Yukimiya's movements were also in place, but Yukio Maize still broke into the inside line after greatly changing his appearance. Facing Shiras Weekend's number 4 center inside, Yukio Minase was not afraid and jumped up to prepare for an aerial confrontation. Then, a white light invaded from his side, it was Yukinomiya Kazuma. Advertisement. In the breakthrough dribble just now, Yukimiya deliberately let him in. When Yukio Minase was focusing on Masaka Takato in front, Yukimiya Kazuma completed the block from behind. Snap. Relying on his knowledge of the space on the court, Yukimiya Kazuma played a trick on Minase Yukio and gave it to his friend with a big hit. Badge mission. In the game with Inseiji Middle School, block the opponent's players more than or equal to five times. Achievement reward. Have a chance to obtain blocking related badges. Currently completed three fifths. Whoa, the audience once again burst into exclamation. From the opening to the present, in just two defensive rounds, Kazuma Yukimiya has blocked three shots. Compared with other games going on in the stadium, Kazuma Yukimiya's performance is much more exciting. This number 5 player from Beishwikan Middle School has conquered the audience in just a few rounds. In the transition between offense and defense, Yukimiya Kazuma advances with the ball. The defender in front of him was also replaced by Yukio Mizus. Judging from the ball just now, Yukimiya Kazuma could feel that the opponent did have something, and maybe he was the opponent's strongest player. But even so, compared to Yumiya Kazuma, the other party only has something, not much. As a point guard at this time, Yukimiya Kazuma was not led away by Yukio Mine's rhythm. After seeing that Inseiji's defense was in place, Yukimiya Kazuma suppressed the rhythm. Passing the ball to Ryo Hanan, he started running with Yukio Mizes. Hua Yin Liang changed direction drastically and passed the opponent player with a cross step in front of him. Advertisement. Although he said he would not continue playing basketball after high school, Yukimiya Kazuma could tell during this period that Hua Yin Liang, a talented guy, might not be willing to give up the skills he had worked hard to develop over the past three years. Ryo Hanan's breakthrough forced Yukio Mizus to retreat to cover. As a result, Kazuma Yukimiya easily slipped from the bottom line into the inside penalty area. At this time, Hua Yin Liang suddenly pushed the ball forward, and the basketball fell back into Yumiya Kazuma's hands. Center Inseiji's attention was drawn by Masaka Takato who was in an offensive threat position. Before he had time to notice, Kazuma Yukimiya had already dunked the ball into the basket. Ugh, pretty. For junior high school basketball, although there are dunks, there are very few that can be done beautifully. The bounce of 84.9, coupled with the dunk of 83.7, helped Kazuma Yumiya easily complete this effortless dunk, which attracted cheers from the audience. Led by the humble support team of Shiraswick in middle school, the audience in the gymnasium began to cheer for Kazuma Yukimiya in unison. Coach Shin Matsuharu on the sidelines was also applauding. He had thought before that with the amount of improvement Kazuma Yukimiya showed for the first time, he would make rapid progress in more than a month. But I never expected that Swagon would use that exclusive training method to make such amazing progress. Thinking of every time I checked and accepted the training results of the Snow Palace during this period. Shin Satsuji. As expected, the onset of puberty is unpredictable. Although he didn't seem to have played any role in Yukimiya's evolution, Shin Matsuji felt sincerely happy no matter what when he saw Yukimiya Kazuma talking to Kane Liang on the field. Advertisement. Chapter 019, I see the shadow of Akashi Sijiro in him. Advertisement. Inseiji's turn. The round just now made Yukio Mizus aware of the opponent's defensive strength. After calming down, he chose to hand the ball over to his teammates. After receiving the ball, Inseiji's power forward shot a jumper directly. Facing Hua Yin Liang's defense, the basketball drew an arc. Boring, huh? The basketball hit the edge of the basket. After a slight jump, it still fell into the basket. Yukio Mizes curled his lips at Yukimiya Kazuma. It's just a pass, I can do it too. Seeing that Kazuma Yukinomiya didn't respond, Yukio Mizes raised his eyebrows. When he was about to say something more, he saw Kazuma Kazuma receiving a pass from the baseline, turned around, raised his long arm, and threw the ball far away. The ball passed over Mrs. Yukio's head and streaked through a high arc towards Inseiji's backcourt. What? The basketball almost passed through the entire court and finally fell into Kashiga Yuji's hands. All the Inseiji players were stunned, and there was no one around Kashiga Yuji. Uh huh. Kashiga Yuji scored an easy layup. Whoa. Pretty. Advertisement. What a quick attack. The transmission is too accurate. The audience at the scene gave cheers to Kashiga Yuji who seized the opportunity and slipped away quickly, and also to Yukimiya Kazuma who completed the precise guidance. On the court. Kashiga Yuji jumped on the spot excitedly, turned around and waved his fist in the direction of Yumiya Kazuma. His extremely short shaved hair looked like a little braised egg under the illumination of the incandescent lamp. It is worth mentioning that in addition to Kashiga Yuji, those in the team who changed their looks in order to meet the all-center team also have Masaka Takato, who as the team leader has always acted calm. The black-haired head was replaced by a Birdman-style wind-back head, which looked quite explosive. Certainly, rather than saying new look to welcome Kwan Jong, Yukimiya felt that Takato was stimulated by his words, and it was more likely that he had changed his hairstyle. Kajiga Yuji ran back quickly and gave Kazuma a high five. He knew very well that most of the credit for this goal was attributed to Kazuma Yukimiya who gave a wonderful assist. This football quarterback style pass, without excellent vision and judgment, as well as passing ability, is absolutely impossible to grasp and the ball cannot be passed accurately. The audience was enjoying themselves and making a lot of noise, but Inseiji's coach was already breaking out in a cold sweat. 
Next round. Yukio Maizase used the pick and roll to break into the inside of Shiras Y Hall. There was a lesson from the past, so after attracting the defensive attention of Shiras Y Hall, Yukio Mizus distributed the ball to his outside teammates. However, it is a pity that shooting is the best. Advertisement. The game continues. Yuki Miyakazuma cooperates very well with his teammates. Moreover, Yuki Gong intentionally used the previous rounds of games to get in touch with his teammates more, and tried to cooperate with different teammates, all of which achieved quite good results. With his excellent vision, he can always find teammates in good positions, and with the Master of Pass Control badge, teammates who receive Yukimiya and Jen's passes feel very comfortable. Even the hit rate has increased to varying degrees. This made Kazuma Yukimiya, who was gradually confirming his suspicions in his heart, change his usual way of shouting about the system's grandeur. On his teammates' side, Hua Yin Liang was the first to notice this. After receiving a pass from Yukimiya Kazuma, he felt that the more shots he made, the better he shot. I don't know why, but sometimes it seemed that the basketball just passed through Yukimiya's hands. Just once, it becomes much easier to cast. There are not a few who feel the same as Hua Yin Liang. In fact, all the players on the field at Beishui Stadium feel this way. This led to a magical phenomenon. After the players in the Whitewater Hall got the ball, including but not limited to rebounds and steals, they all immediately went to Yukimiya Kazuma. No way. Regardless of whether it was a psychological effect, the ball passed out of Kazuma Yukimiya's hands was really fragrant. Under the stunned gaze of the audience, Yukimiya Kazuma worked together to make an unknown team play an offense as smooth as Mercury. Moreover, Yukimiya Kazuma is different from the ace players of other teams who are only as strong as one person. With his assistance, everyone in Beishui Hall actually feels like a star player? Was this kind of offense really crafted by a junior high school player? Advertisement. Really? When a center like Masaka Takato is still practicing mid-range jump shots, when he could stably and smoothly hit mid to long-range shots in the open space, Inciaji's coach could only shake his head and sigh helplessly. Before the end of the third quarter, Masaka Takato received a pass from Kazumiya Kazuma and turned around and hit a jumper. Shiraswick in middle school scored an exaggerated 80-36 to 36 in the third quarter. There is no doubt that a super powerful score difference. The whole gymnasium was boiling. No one expected that such a dark horse would appear at the beginning of the Tokyo District qualifiers. The Shiraswick inside was in a hot state, but coach Inciaji on the sidelines felt that something was wrong. Looking at Kazuma Yukimiya, the coach of Inciaji Middle School was in a daze. He saw the shadow of Tiako Captain Akashi Sijiro in Kazuma Yukimiya. But, it was Akashi before last year. As of last year, he was a regular in the national championship and an assistant coach at Yusaki Middle School. Although last year's Yusaki Middle School was beaten to collapse by Aemine Deki, whose strength suddenly surged to a terrifying level, the ability of Captain Tiako should not be underestimated. However, this year he was also paying attention to Tiako, but he found that Akashi Sijiro's playing style was suddenly completely different from before. The strength is naturally strong. Like Aemine last year, other members of Generation of Miracles, including Akashi, have also completed exaggerated evolution in large strides. But thinking about Akashi's former playing style still makes him fondly remember it. It's something that people can't forget once they see it. Advertisement. Chapter 020. Does he still have the energy to complete this kind of Alio OP? Advertisement. In the fourth quarter, Shiras Wiccan Middle School served, and Yuki Miyakezuma organized the offense with the ball. The combination of man and ball combined with ordinary ball control made Inciaji's defense line precarious. For a while, there was a rumbling sound in Yuan Cheng Temple. Kazuma Yukimiya found the offensive line and passed the ball to Daisuke Teriyama. The offensive opportunity was good, but it was not completely open. The opponent's defensive players rushed up desperately. This attack seemed to be blocked, but not completely blocked. Because although the ball did not enter the basket, after a knock, it bounced high to Masaka Takato's head under the basket. Rebound. The ace of Inciaji Temple, Yukio Maizase, shouted. When he shouted these three words, Inciaji's inside line quickly squeezed towards the rebound position, but for Masaka Takato, the landing point of the ball was too good. He took off on the spot and grabbed it with a big hand. The ball is firmly in his hands. At this time, Yukinomi Yakazuma was already ready. Masaka Takato caught a glimpse of what was going on in the snow palace. Suddenly I feel blessed. Grab the ball with one hand to avoid being pressed by the defensive players around you. Then, advertisement. Move the ball toward the basket with a flick of your wrist. A light pass, slightly higher than the height of the basket, flew in front of Yukimiya Kazuma. Maizase Yukio. Empty link. Stop him. This time Yukio Maizase didn't need to speak. Several people on the inside reacted faster than him. Immediately, a center forward and two forwards all faced Yujimi Yakazuma and took off with all their strength. The three of them had fierce expressions, as if they were burning the boat. Because they knew very well that the embarrassing content of the game before had almost defeated them. Now faced with this show like Alio OP, and the defensive target was Kazuma Yukimiya who had concocted the tragedy, this time the defense had already not just to prevent Yukimiya Kazuma from scoring, but to save the dignity of the entire team. For a moment, a pair of arms densely blocked Yukimiya Kazuma. The three people jumped up firmly like a rock wall, blocking the incandescent lights at the top of the gymnasium. However, facing the opponent's defense, Yukimiya Kazuma's expression did not change at all after catching the ball in the air, and his posture in the air remained cool and calm despite the confrontation. The right shoulder drives the arm backward, and the person bends like a waning moon in midair. Follow up and dunk hard. Bang, the basketball dunked up. Advertisement. The center of Inciaji Middle School immediately became excited when he felt the touch of the basketball on his hand. Bumped into. But the next second, an indescribable huge force suddenly came from the basketball. The center was shocked. He tried hard to hold down the ball, but under the powerful impact, his hands could not be controlled. Separated to both sides, and finally, the basketball broke through the blockade and was pushed directly behind him. Boom, bang, bang, bang. Accompanied by the sound of the rim being ravaged, there was also the muffled sound of Inciaji's three defenders throwing out the baseline one after another. They lay on the ground and looked up. Hair, scattered on his face. Follow the other person's line of sight. I don't know if it was an illusion, but they seemed to see. There was a crack on the backboard. Wow, Inciaji Temple has reached this point and is still working hard. No, I have always taken care of the organization and defense, but now Kazuma Yukimiya still has the energy to complete this kind of alio OP. Doesn't he feel tired? Inside the gymnasium. Advertisement. 
Near Bashwick Middle School, the number of people in the auditorium grew larger and larger at some point. On the court, the match between Shiras Y Hall and Insiaji Temple was gradually reaching the final moment. The score was clearly displayed on the scorer on the side. 96 colon 41. Just when everyone in the Whitewater Pavilion was worried about their opponent's face and slowly stopped fighting in the last minute, a noisy sound suddenly sounded from the auditorium not far away. Is it a mind Deki, the ace of generation of miracles? Is their game over? How is it possible? They are the finale. I have been waiting for this game. The generation of miracles? Is it Tiako Junior High, the two-time champion of junior high school? Yes, look at that dark-skinned guy, it's him, Aamine Deki. At first, the noisy discussion outside the stadium did not attract Kazuma Yukumiya's attention, until he heard the name Aamine Deki and glanced over there subconsciously. There is no other purpose, just to be curious about this much-written character. With Aamine's character at the moment, it's obvious that he won't deliberately come to watch the game at Beishui Hall. With the low-scoring style of play that Yukimiya currently displays, he probably won't be noticed by this scoring maniac. Yukimiya Kazuma also noticed that when Aamine came here, he was obviously just looking for someone, because as soon as he came to the audience, he went straight to the target. An inconspicuous blue-haired boy hid in the audience. Kuroko Tetsuya. Yukimiya Kazuma felt a little emotional. After more than a month, he had gradually felt integrated with the world, but when he saw Generation of Miracles appear in front of his eyes, the feeling of not belonging that had dissipated in his heart suddenly resurfaced. Tisk, Aamine Deki. Yukimiya Kazuma smacked his tongue and jumped up suddenly the next second. Advertisement. Chapter 021, Purple Badge I Love Slam Dunk. Advertisement. On the court. Near the end of the game, the pace of the game on the field was far less high pressure than before. Certainly. This was a situation where Yukimiya Kazuma deliberately let loose. Facing an opponent with a lead of more than 50 points, it is difficult for Yukimiya Kazuma to suppress the opponent and continue to beat him like Generation of Miracles. After all, Generation of Miracles has a bad character at this stage, plus there are KPI requirements. If he remembered correctly, it should be a rule set by Akashi in order to mobilize everyone's motivation on the court. Each person should score more than 20 points per game. However, Yukimiya Kazuma's indulgence seemed to give his opponents some illusion, and some people gradually became restless. For example, the opposing power forward, who had no sense of participation in the entire game, took advantage of the Beijui Pavilion's free time to play with a strong sense of presence. At this time, the ball happened to be passed to him, and he faced Kazuma Yukimiya who no longer targeted the outside line of Insiaji and retreated to the inside line to squat and paddle. This guy didn't know which string he had picked up wrong in his mind. He stuck out his butt and pushed it in. Once he got to the basket, he pulled it up and dunked. However, let's not talk about the physical problem for now. Whether it is jumping height or strength, the power forward is no longer in the same state as when he first started. Yukimiya Kazuma could feel that if the opponent was able to dunk normally before, then it would probably only be a reluctant dunk now. Advertisement. In other words, although he looks powerful when he arches now, in fact he is just a showman. Not to mention, badge mission, in the game with Insiaji Middle School, block the opponent's players more than or equal to five times. Achievement reward, have a chance to obtain blocking related badges, currently completed five fifths. Automatically loading badge rewards. Badge loading completed. Get the badge, I love slam dunk. I love dunking, purple your dunks are mediocre, but they always make me have the urge to block shots. Facing a dunk, the success rate of blocking shots increases by 50%, blocking a tribute greater than or equal to 80. This is the badge reward obtained after completing the previous mission. Yukimiya Kazuma has never found an opportunity to experiment. After all, the only opponents who can dunk are centers and power forwards who are about the same height as him. The center seemed to have no fighting spirit, but the power forward seemed a bit heartless. Tisk, the sneakers rubbed violently against the floor. Kazuma Yukimiya's body suddenly shot up. Facing the opponent's movement of grabbing the ball with both hands and heading towards the basket, the I Love Risky Slam Dunk badge flashed in the system. At this time, Yukimiya Kazuma's eyes shone slightly, and he accurately predicted the opponent's movement trajectory. For a dunk of this level, Yukimiya is confident that even without a badge, there is a high probability that he can block the shot. Now, the success rate of blocking shots has increased by 50% out of thin air. He felt that the success rate of blocking shots at this moment might have exceeded 100%. Advertisement. Bang, there was a dull sound like a watermelon being slapped. Yukimiya Kazuma accurately covered the basketball, but the opponent felt his hand was empty and the basketball was slapped and flew out. Whoosh, the ball flew out quickly, flew far towards the auditorium, and then hit the guardrail of the auditorium. On the other side of the guardrail, Aamine Deki was passing by. For a while, Aamine Deki turned to look at the field below, with a bit of surprise in her eyes. But that's all. Soon, he and Kuroko Tetsuya left the audience. Kazuma Yukimiya, who was on the field, didn't care. He was just curious and looked Aamine Deki up and down. Then when the referee blew the whistle to end the game, he started to form a team with his teammates. For Yukimiya Kazuma, the reason why he trains so seriously and hard is just because he likes the feeling of fighting, pretending, and fighting, pushing, on the field. Certainly, the hidden reasons in parentheses actually account for a larger part, including, but not limited to, enjoying the cheers of the audience and the attention of opponents and teammates. As for the protagonists of Generation of Miracles, he will be curious. After all, these people are representatives of science fiction basketball. In addition, the existence of the opponent is just an interesting opponent who can cheat. As for the moment just now, it did seem a bit like a provocation, but it was actually just an accident. Advertisement. Um, definitely an accident. Yukimiya Kazuma has never been the kind of person who likes to provoke opponents. If he provokes his opponent, that's mostly because of the team's tactical needs. Competition is over. Beishwikan Middle School broke through the first round with a score of 101,41. After the game, Masaka Takato and others were very excited because this was the first time in the past three years that Shiraswikan Middle School had broken through the first round in a competition of this level. The last time he broke through the first round was the last time. At that time, even Takato Masaka had not yet entered Hakizuikan Middle School. Coach Shin Matsuji also had a rare smile on his face. After all, Shiraswikan Middle School has never been a basketball powerhouse. They don't have that kind of foundation, and their basketball never pursues the talents of their players. Teaching without distinction is probably the philosophy of Coach Shin Matsuhiro in junior high school basketball. 
But as a coach, it is impossible not to look forward to results. If we can go one step further, such as bringing a little-known school like Shiraswickan Middle School into a national competition. Just thinking about this, the 63-year-old Shin Satsuji suddenly felt hot inside. It's not completely impossible. He looked at Kazuma Yukimiya who was saluting his opponents in front of him. The ambition hidden somewhere in the bottom of my heart is gradually coming out of the ground, and is being fiercely watered by Yumiya Kazuma as a source. Advertisement. Chapter 022, The Miracle of Everyone Blossoming, The First Appearance Will Be Explosive. Advertisement. Attribute Mission, Defeat Insiyaji Middle School, Win the Game, and Send More Than 10 Assists. Achievement Reward, Self-Assigned Attributes X4. Self-Assigned Attributes are loaded. Get Attribute Value Times 4. At the end of the game, when the Hakuzui Hall players left the field, the audience in the auditorium began to shout Yukimiya Kazuma's name. They gave warm applause to the tall point guard who played a style of play that focused on passing and controlling, but also had some violent performances. Surrounded by his teammates, Yukimiya Kazuma waved to the audience and enjoyed the audience's vote towards him. Enthusiasm. Shin Satsuji looked at this harmonious scene and showed a satisfied smile. He knew that Yukimiya Kazuma was the right answer for Hakuzuikan, and their chance had come. Logically speaking, there will generally be no reporters following the regional qualifiers in the entire region, but Tokyo is different because there is generation of miracles here. When Kazuma Yukimiya left the court, he was immediately surrounded by several reporters and briefly accepted interviews with several basketball magazines. Then when passing through the player tunnel, many spectators near the stands came to shake his hand. Yukimiya Kazuma clearly felt that his performance had gained a lot of popularity. Back in the locker room, Yukimiya Kazuma tidied up and checked his system while washing. The system page unfolded in his mind, and Yumiya Kazuma checked his attributes. Name, Yukimiya Kazuma. Team, Beishwikan Middle School. Height, 184 centimeters. Weight, 72 kilograms. Arm span, 191 centimeters. Speed, 91.3. Advertisement. Power, 83.1. Ball possession, 96.2. Pass, 93.5. Bounce, 84.9. Layup, 82.1. Dunk, 83.7. CIC, 81.2. Three points, 81.8. Rebounds, 83.2. Blocks, 84.6. Steals, 79.3. Single defense, 81.0. Assisted defense, 84.4. Physical Fitness, 85.2 Badges, Control Master, Gold, I Love Slam Dunk, Purple Kazuma Yukimiya added all the independently assigned attributes he obtained to speed, making speed the third attribute to reach over 90. Next, Yukimiya noticed the change in the badge. After completing the mission for the first time to obtain the badge, the more detailed content of the badge can be viewed. Advertisement. For example, Master of Transmission Control, until this moment, Yukimiya Kazuma didn't know that this was a golden badge. Although I don't know if there is a higher one, the golden thing is definitely the top-notch thing no matter what system or game it is in. No wonder it needs double 90, or even mid-range double 90 attributes to use it. Thanks again to the generosity of the system dad, who gave me two attributes and a golden badge for free at the beginning. Call. I love dunking. It's purple and has a funny name. For slam dunks, blocking shots increases the success rate by 50%, which is also very violent. But it seems that the badge mission can only be triggered in formal competitions like the national competition. Yukimiya Kazuma couldn't wait. After all, like a badge, the exhilarating feeling of soaring strength out of thin air is really hard to resist. I was so obsessed with studying the system that I took a long time to take a shower, but no one came to urge me, because everyone in Beishui Hall, who had just won the All-China qualifiers, was talking to each other tirelessly at this moment. Firstly, it was because in this game, Yukimiya Kazuma was the one who contributed the most. The others were only passively cooperating, whether they were attacking or defending. Their role in the game was almost all support, so their physical exertion was higher than expected. Much less. Secondly, the team members were excited for Kwan Zhong's first breakthrough. On the other side, Coach Shin Matsuji, who has a bigger goal in mind, is even planning to watch the Akos game live before going back. Then, when Yumi Yakazuma finished washing up and returned to the locker room, he found that there was no one in the locker room. After asking the staff for a while, he found out that everyone had gone to watch the Akos game. Yukimi Akazuma. Goodbye. It's expanded. Advertisement. This year's Tiako is completely different from the previous two years. Kazuma Yukimiya knew very well that the first official match in which all members of Generation of Miracles Awakened would have an explosive effect. However, he remembered the most classic 198,8, which seemed to have been played in the national competition. The regional qualifiers should not be so excessive. With a towel on my head, I walked out of the locker room of the White Water Hall, and as soon as I opened the door, I was dazzled by the colorful rainbow in front of me. At the same time, I was also pretended to be angry by the rainbows. So boring. Game. Atsushi Murasakabara, who took off his jersey in the corridor before entering the locker room, complained with a bored look on his face. When Aemine Daiki heard this, he raised his eyebrows and said with a gloomy look, Huh, it's not like I just found out today. This kind of thing has been clear for a long time. The opponent is really too weak. Kai's Ryota glanced at Yumi Yakazuma not far away, paying special attention to the other person's hair color, and then lowered his voice politely. I only felt this way recently. It's really boring. Atsushi Murasakabara suddenly thought, Speaking of which, I remember there were a few people who were slightly better at fighting before. It seems that there were so many people. Kai's Ryota thought for a while and added to Murasakabara, The one without a crown is, what? Yes, that's what Huang Zhe said. Those people are a little troublesome to fight, but they have graduated this year, right? It's so easy to win now, I can't even muster the strength. Generation of Miracles entered the locker room together. Not far away, Yumi Yakazuma could still hear Kai's Ryota's words, then in the next game, why don't you have something interesting, such as a competition about who has higher scores? Everyone puts out something as a bet. If it's snacks, I'll think about it. 
Advertisement. Chapter 023, even compared to Generation of Miracles, you are not bad. Advertisement. 6. You really let you pretend. Yukimi Akazuma watched the Tiako players enter the locker room with a sad look on their face, and not long after, the game tour team from Shiraswikan Middle School also came back. To Yukimi Akazuma's expectation, the imaginary expressions of being beaten did not appear on everyone's faces, but Coach Shin Matsuji's expression returned to his former cold expression. 109,5. Too bad, Dashimazaka Middle School. That Alio OP actually knocked three people away at once. Well, after all, Tiako S Center is two meters tall. Thinking about it this way, Yukimi Senpai seems to be more powerful. It was the same Alio OP, but he also knocked three of them away. And in terms of height, Yukimi Senpai is at least 15 centimeters shorter than Atsushi Murasakabara, right? Yukimi Akazuma. Kid. How can your strength be so comparable to yours? Being 15 centimeters shorter cannot be considered an advantage in any way, except for Yukinomiya, we are much worse than Tiako. Although they were ridiculously strong last year, they are not comparable to this year. Really. Generation of miracles, the ability is too strong. After watching it just now, I don't even know what to say. Advertisement. The monsters gathered together, what a disaster, generation of miracles. The elegant bamboos, vines, trees, and bright flowers all have a serious expression. But from Yumi Yakazuma's point of view, they didn't look like other teams were scared out of their wits when they saw Tiako's game in the manga. After everyone came over, Yukimi Yakazuma took the initiative to ask, how is it, generation of miracles? A bunch of monsters. After seeing Masaka Takato, his expression became more relaxed. Kazuma looked confused, then, nothing else. What? Takato Masaka didn't understand what Yukimiya and Jen meant, but Hua Yin Liang, who usually didn't talk much, saw through him at a glance, it's very powerful. Although I was also scared, it was definitely not to the extent you imagined. Ah, uh, shouldn't it? Hit 103 pointers in the half. Super high speed dribbling, formless shot. Imitate. Emperor I, the first time you saw these things, weren't you shocked? Thinking of the first time I read comics and saw these abilities. This will make you look weak. Ah, uh, Kazuma, that's what you mean. Advertisement. Don't worry, no matter how good they are, for us, your passing that makes everyone on the field get smoother and smoother is more magical. Yeah, he's also very good at dribbling. Well, although Tiako S.A.'s dribbling is exaggerated, but in terms of final effect, the same goes for Yukimiya Senpai. Ever since he recovered from his hand injury, I haven't seen anyone able to stop him from dribbling. Moreover, the strength has improved like a monster. Yukimiya Kazuma's face turned red after listening to everyone's words. At this time, Coach Shin Matsuji also said, although we also defeated our opponent by a big score today, the strength gap between us and Tiako is quite big. But don't underestimate yourself. Tiako is getting stronger and stronger, but compared to before, it's like becoming a different team. There is no passing and everyone scores alone. With their individual fighting alone, they can ravage their opponents and even achieve a more overwhelming victory than before. This is certainly a reflection of their far superior personal strength. But precisely because of this, if the opponent does not pass the ball, with Yukimiya as the core, if we encounter Tiako, even if we cannot win, we will not be completely unable to play. If you have to look for it, Tiako is not invulnerable. For example, no passes were passed. The coaching and tactics are also useless. All players mechanically complete the competition content called the victory mission. There is also Kai's Raida. Although this is an absolute strong point for other schools, if it is Yukinomiya, it should be able to focus on this point. Besides, the main competition consists of nine divisions. The 23 teams that won the qualifiers, plus one team from the host country, make up a total of 24 schools. Because of the existence of Generation of Miracles, there are undoubtedly three places in Tokyo District. With any luck, if we don't meet Tiako before the semi-finals, we can compete for the second and third seeds in the semi-final round robin to go national. Advertisement. Yukimiya Kazuma. Therefore, to sum up the meaning of the little old man's words, it is still a strategic surrender. Don't worry about others blindly, and... At this point, Shin Satsuji glanced at Yukimiya Kazuma, even compared to Generation of Miracles, you are not bad, and you played particularly well today. Really, after watching Tiako's game, compared to those kids from Generation of Miracles who play ball without a smile, this kid Yukimiya is much more pleasing to the eye. Oh, Yukimiya Kazuma's face was really red now, outside Tokyo Second Gymnasium. Everyone got on the school bus of Beishui Hall, and then the driver took the team members back to school. After a brief summary of today's game, the coach sent everyone home. Before leaving, Shin Satsuji specially told Kazuma Yukimiya to take his time and practice. Yukimiya Kazuma naturally agreed wholeheartedly. After returning home, Shui Gong immediately let himself go and went straight to the backyard to start meditation training. Not practicing? Joke. How can you not practice when your body is rejuvenated with full blood after just sleeping? Advertisement. Chapter 024, 20 points, 25 assists, 10 rebounds, 7 blocks and 5 steals. Advertisement. That night, a park golf course near Shiraswick in Middle School. Shinsuke Irijimoto, who sat on the bench all day today and did not get a chance to play as usual, is currently practicing shooting on the court in order to be able to appear in future games. He has no physical worries about tomorrow's game, because he knows very well that among the first-year players in Beishui Hall, his strength is also very average, and he cannot be a substitute. But when he thought about sitting on the bench today and seeing senior Kazuma Yukimiya leading Hakusui Hall to play basketball that was like mercury falling to the ground, a yearning suddenly arose in his heart. Under the leadership of senior Yukinomiya, we will definitely achieve good results. To catch the pass from Yukimi Senpai. Come on. Immediately. Facing the moonlight, Shinsuke Irijimoto started a new round of shooting. The second round of the Tokyo District Qualifiers. This time, Beishuguin Middle School's opponent was Zuojia Middle School. Advertisement. Zuojia Middle School is not a particularly strong opponent. The year before last and the year before last, they fell in the second round of the qualifying rounds for two consecutive years. Judging from this year's situation, there is a high probability that they will increase this number again. Among them, the ace of the Zuojia team is the power forward Nagazai Yang. He is a well-known power forward in the Tokyo area with excellent offensive and defensive abilities. However, in a formal arena like Chunjong, Zuojia Middle School does not have many talented players. Players help him, and he is not a man like Kazuma Yukinomiya, who has the badge of Master of Pass Control and can single-handedly drive the strength of the entire team. 
After the warm-up, players from both sides took their respective positions. After playing, Kazuma Yukinomiya paid close attention to Izayu Yang, the ace of Zuojiya Middle School, who is 183 centimeters tall, looks quite like an ace. The whole person is very cold, and his expression is fierce, especially the other person's narrow eyes, which make people feel sharp when looking at people. Some people look at passers-by. Someone looks like the main character. I have to say that sometimes image is very important. For example, the captain of our team, who was preparing to jump the ball in the center circle, changed his hairstyle and it was like he was a different person. However, in fact, the strong back of his head was quite in contrast to his meticulous playing style. The referee whistle blows. Masaka Takato jumped the ball in the middle circle with the opponent's center. The center on the opposite side is about 185 centimeters tall, and Masaka Takato, who was once the only strong point of Shiraswick in middle school, used to win because of his height. 189.6 is approximately equal to 190. Advertisement. The referee blew the whistle and a jump ball determined the winner. Masaka Takato defeated his opponent and won the ball. The game started less than six minutes ago. Score on the field. Beishuguin Middle School 19,6 Zuojiya Middle School. Judging from the start, Zuojiya Middle School with Nahei Zayu Yang is definitely much stronger than Insiyaji. As for achieving such a score, we can only say that Yuki Miyakazuma's defense against Nahei Zayu Yang was very good, is adequate. But, although not like Insiyaji, they were suspended at the beginning. But under the current situation, Zuojiya Middle School had to call a timeout. In Zuojiya Middle School's round, after the ball came to their side, the coach of Zuojiya Middle School immediately called a timeout. Hateful. Where on earth did number 5 of Whitewater Hall come from? After the point guard of Zuojiya Middle School sat down, he took a swig of water and then started to complain. While complaining, he glanced in the direction of the Whitewater Pavilion. When his eyes fell on the pale-haired Yuki Miyakazuma, he couldn't help but recall the waves of attacks organized by the opponent. As a point guard, in this game, on the defensive end, he was the one who faced off against the opponent the most except N.A. Hizai Yang. In just over five minutes, he was tortured beyond words. Advertisement. The dribbling rhythm that can't be kept up at all, and the ghostly passing. Every time in the blink of an eye, either a person is passed, or the ball appears in the hands of other players in the Whitewater Hall at some unknown time, and it is often an assist from an excellent offensive position. Really. Number 5 Opposite. All-round top-notch physical and ball skills, the most terrifying of which is passing and control. It is estimated that in Tokyo, no, it is the top level in the country. But it's strange. Not only is this guy in the country, but even in Tokyo, I have never heard of rumors about his strength before. With no 5 special hair color, it should be easy for people to stay with such strength. Impression. The shooting guard of Zuojiya Middle School couldn't help but fell into deep thought, but after thinking for a long time, he still didn't have any impression. At this time, Hizayu Yang suddenly asked. Coach. Have you ever heard of Yukimiya Kazuma before? The coach of Zuojiya Middle School looked towards the direction of Beishui Hall, then nodded slightly and said, I remember hearing a middle school mention it before, saying that he was a player with good physical condition but average skills. Probably a late bloomer type. But that's not important. Yesterday, in the game that was played at the same time as us, when Shiras Wiccan played against Insiyaji, Kazuma Yukimiya scored 20 points, 25 assists, 10 rebounds, 7 blocks, and 5 steals, leading Shiras Wiccan Middle School to a complete win. The opponent scored 60 points. Because there is no video and I can't analyze it, and I don't want to affect everyone's mentality, I deliberately didn't disclose it to you. The point guard of Zuojiya Middle School suddenly widened his eyes. Ha. Huh. Advertisement. Chapter 025. It's not me who's taking the risk. Why are you yelling at me? Advertisement. Coach, you might as well not say anything. The point guard of Zuojiya Middle School looked at his coach and couldn't help but complain. The coach shook his head helplessly. In this situation, even if you don't say it, you can all feel how strong the opponent is. The strength of Yukimiya Kazuma is indeed quite amazing, but the strength of the others in the Whitewater Hall is very ordinary. So, in the next game, avoid Yukimiya Kazuma and focus on attacking other players in Hakusui Hall. Shiyu Yang. On the offensive end, you are directly facing off against Kazuma Yukimiya. Don't be obsessed with 1v1 with each other. Ask your teammates to pick and roll. Avoid him. If you can't block it once, just twice. Coach Zojiya mainly talks about the team's offense and avoids talking about defense, because he really can't think of a way to limit Yuki Miyakazuma, but in his expectation, the offensive end should be able to do a lot of things. Back on the field, the point guard of Zuojiya Middle School advanced with the ball. As soon as he stepped into the front court, Kajiga Yuji immediately went up to press for the ball. Don't even think about it. Although I can't do as many things as Yukumiya Senpai, at least I have to perform well defensively. The point guard of Zuojiya Middle School was about the same speed as Kajiga Yuji. After struggling for a while, he couldn't get rid of the opponent's defense. Advertisement. At this time, then Hizayu Yang was stuck in the high post. He knew that Kazuma Yuzumiya was very keen on intercepting passes, so when he took the initiative to ask for the ball, he had to use his body to block it first. Seeing Hizayu Yang reaching for the ball, the point guard immediately passed the ball over. Under the interference of Kashiga Yuji, the ball was passed a little higher, but with Hizayu Yang's physical ability, there was no problem in jumping up to catch it. Pa! Hizayu Yang pushed Kazuma Yukinomiya with his left hand, and at the same time he jumped slightly, relaxed his arms, and took the basketball into his arms. Then he immediately signaled for a pick and roll. He didn't dare to drop the ball first. Instead, he swayed left and right and tried a set of shoulder fakes. Seeing that Yukimiya Kazuma was still not out of position, he decisively used the pick and roll to break through in the next second. However, with Yukimiya Kazuma's 81 point single defense ability, it would definitely not be easy to get past a pick and roll. With the vision ability of the master of transmission and control, he turned around almost at the same time and came to Hizayu Yang's eyes again. Then Hizayu Yang, hateful? It's really like what the coach said. If it doesn't work once, try it again. Without any pause, Hizayu Yang immediately moved to the other side and took the initiative to find a cover again, then suddenly take off, turn around and shoot a jumper. A very high jump shot, coupled with his long arms, the release point is very high, and he even leaned back a little under the threat of Kazuma Yumiya. Yukimiya Kazuma suddenly jumped up from a person behind him, but he didn't touch the ball. The basketball arced through the air and hit the net. When Hizayu Yang saw the ball scored, he didn't feel relieved at all, because it is still too difficult to score this goal. Advertisement. 
feeling a bit confused. This monster, Shiraswick in middle school's round. Kazuma Yukimiya holds the ball from the backcourt. The point guard of Zuojiya Middle School suffers a lot in front of Kazuma Yukimiya. If Kazuma Yukimiya doesn't pass the ball and catches him, in this misplaced singles, he will definitely hit everyone. Therefore, Hizaya Yang was the one who mainly defended him. Although it took one person to do both offense and defense, which consumed a lot of physical strength for their ace, there was nothing they could do about it. How could Kazuma Yukimiya on the opposite side fight like this? Of. The only difference is that on the offensive end, Yukimiya Kazuma uses a very energy-saving pass and control organization style, which is quite detrimental to Zuojiya Middle School. But they have to do this, otherwise the defensive pressure will be greater. Facing Hizayu Yang's defense, Yukimiya Kazuma did not force himself. Although he could fight, Yujimiya Kazuma, who had been influenced by basketball in his previous life, mainly played a reasonable game. Reasonable. It means a balanced distribution of physical strength. Means more favorable defensive investment. It also means teammates can play a greater role. At the same time, the increasing threats from teammates in other positions will feed back to Yukigong on the offensive end, forming a perfect cycle. Immediately. First call for cover. After completing the pick and roll, Kazuma Yukimiya passed the ball to Masaka Takato who was passing down. With the ability of the master of pass and control, the offensive position of the ball passed by Suigong was still very good, and the moment he received the ball, he felt inexplicably comfortable. However, although this kind of super comfortable passing can improve the shooting rate to a certain extent, it obviously cannot achieve 100% accuracy. Advertisement. For example, this time, Masaka Takato missed half of his shot. It doesn't matter. My rebound. After Masaka Takato missed the shot, he rushed into the paint, grabbed the rebound strongly, and took advantage of the situation to launch a second attack at the basket. Result. It was Takato Masaka who was so scorned by Hizai Yang. This guy, after Yukimiya Kazuma passed the ball, immediately returned to defend the inside with all his strength, and his efforts were not in vain, allowing him to seize the opportunity when Masaka Takato missed the shot. He made up for his second attack and completed the block. The basketball flew directly out of the baseline. Ah, uh, N.A. Hizai Yang, who was extremely depressed after being suppressed until now, finally found an opportunity to release his true nature during this period of attack and defense. After the block hit the ground, he couldn't control himself and roared at Kazuma Yukinomiya. His facial features, which were already fierce, looked even more fierce when he roared. Yumiya Kazuma. Why are you yelling at me like this? At this time, the system prompt suddenly appeared in Yumi Yakazuma's mind. Badge mission, in the game with Zuojiya Middle School, after completing the block on Naga Zai Yang, there is a 10% chance of getting the badge. Achievement rewards, badges related to hit rate and physical strength. Advertisement. Chapter 026, You are so cowardly, how come you are so cute when you play with me? Advertisement. Yukimiya Kazuma, uh, the system prompts in his mind made Yukimiya and Shinichi stunned for a moment, and they even subconsciously ignored Hizai Yang's arm-raising roar in front of him. Masaka Takato looked at Kazuma Yukimiya who was a little dazed, and walked over to him and patted him on the shoulder, this was my mistake. Besides, don't worry about that guy, he just looks scary. In fact, he just has a loud voice and looks fierce. Naturally, Yukimiya Kazuma couldn't be fooled. In his previous life, he had seen people who were more ferocious and even so violent that they took action directly. Moreover, he could also see that this guy was just venting his emotions. Yukimiya Kazuma was just stunned by the sudden badge mission. The system had been silent since the start of the game. He thought there would be no missions in this game. Unexpectedly, Hizai Yang yelled out a mission instead. And, although the task content is related to blocking, but the mission reward is a badge related to hit rate and stamina. The two entries are related at once, maybe it will be a very powerful badge. However, there is only a 10% chance. In this case, if you have a dark face, it is possible that you will not be able to get it in the whole game. We can only block as many shots on Nahe Zai Yang as possible. Yukimiya Kazuma came back to his senses, looked at Masaka Takato, and responded. Roar. It would be better if you yell a few more times. Let's see if we can trigger two more tasks. Advertisement. After hearing this, Takato Masaka looked at Yukimiya Kazuma who looked at Hizai Yang with great interest, and his face was filled with questions for a moment. Just now Hizai Yang blocked the ball out of the court. Now Shiraswick Wiccan Middle School is serving the sideline ball. After several passes, the basketball quickly came into the hands of Kazuma Yuzumiya. Kazuma broke through with the ball, compressed the defense of Zuojiya Middle School, and then gave the ball to Hua Yin Liang on the side. Hua Yin Liang's mid-range shooting is not bad. In normal training games and some small regional official games, he can maintain an average shooting rate of more than 40%. Coupled with the blessing effect of Yujimi Yakazuma's pass control master, he counted in the last game that the shooting percentages of Ryo Kane and Masaka Takato, who received a lot of his assists, increased by about 20%. Then, Hua Yin Liang's shot this time was naturally extremely smooth and silky. Uh-huh, the basketball hit the net, 21 to 8. Hua Yin Liang is actually more accustomed to launching attacks with the ball, but when Kazuma Yukimiya passes the ball, he always feels particularly comfortable when receiving it. In the last game, Yukimiya Kazuma had 25 assists, 10 of which were given to Hua Yin Liang. This made him more and more accustomed to taking direct shots after receiving passes from Yukimiya Kazuma. Zuojiya Middle School's offense. Zoji's point guard already knows that the point guard Kashika Yuji in front of him has firmly chosen to defend with all his strength like a candy on the court today. Such a defense that spares no effort is not easy to mess with at all. So after advancing to the front court, he simply passed the ball out. Then Hizai Yang held the ball in a high position. He observed the situation and successfully found the small forward who used the pick and roll to make air cuts. The opponent was the team's second leading scorer after him. Advertisement. Zojia, a small forward, caught the ball and rushed inside, but he did not notice that a figure suddenly appeared behind the line where he took off. Yukimiya Kazuma's long arms blocked the ball in the hands of small forward Zojia. Attacking the frame is prohibited here. Snap. A big hat was sent over. After Naga Zayu Yang, Yukimiya Kazuma also blocked a shot, but after he blocked it, he felt a pity. Why doesn't he Zayu Yang do this himself? What about your roar just now? Come on your own? Let me risk a few quickly and get the badges out? When Daisuke Teriyama got the ball, he immediately went to find Kazuma Yukimiya. After receiving the ball, Yukimiya immediately seized the opportunity to switch between offense and defense and launched a fast break. Masaka Takato was faster than him, and Kazuma rushed out first. 
As for why he was faster than him, of course it was because he jumped to block the shot. By that time, this guy had already started running quite smartly. Just now, Hizai Yang insulted Masaka Takato and yelled at Kazuma Yukimiya in front of him. Naturally, he wanted to regain his face. As a player, no one has lost his temper. Kazuma Yukimiya advanced with impeccable stability. The point guard of Zuojia Middle School was easily thrown away when he intercepted in the front court. Seeing that Takato Masaka believed in his blocking so much and ran so hard, Yukimiya Kazuma reciprocated by sending a long pass, and it was a precise Alio OP long pass that measured Takato Masaka's reach. Pa, Masaka Takato jumped up and grabbed the ball with both hands in the air. The height was quite comfortable. Advertisement. From the ball coming, to catching it and sending it to the basket. Everything is silky smooth. Boom, a dunk with both hands hanging on the basket instantly ignited the entire audience. Takato Masaka glared at Hizai Yang, and finally had an idea. When I ran back feeling very comfortable, I came over to give Kazuma Yukinomiya a high five to celebrate. Shiraswiken Middle School continues to have the advantage, and with the assist of Kazuma Yukimiya, there is no doubt about its offensive firepower. On the other hand, Zuojia Middle School's offense, which was already dwarfed by comparison, became increasingly unsustainable as time went by. One Hizai Yang supported the attack and defeated five shooting masters. Coupled with Sumiya Kazuma's extremely accurate judgment of the situation, Beishui Hall suppressed Zojia severely, leaving the opponent with no room for resistance. Only, for Yukimiya Kazuma, the badge mission has stalled. He had been trying to find a chance to block N.A. Hizai Yang, but it was too difficult. It's not that the opponent's ability is enough to withstand Yujimi Yakazuma's block, but that the opponent keeps using screens to find mismatches. If the screen is not successful, or Yujimi Yakazuma appears in the field of vision, they simply don't shoot, and they don't attack the basket at all. This guy, you were beaten so cowardly, what did you yell just now? Why are you playing contrasting cuteness with me? Advertisement. Advertisement. With Hizai Yang's style of play, Yukimi Yakazuma tried to block shots several times but failed. Kazuma Yukimiya expressed his understanding of this. After all, it is understandable to pursue the success rate cautiously when the score is so far behind, but it is not a good thing for himself. It's so difficult to block shots on N.A. Hizai Yang. Yukimiya Kazuma complained in his heart, but was still thinking about finding opportunities. After thinking for a long time, Yukimiya Kazuma suddenly thought of the last game, the shot that accidentally provoked Aemine with a blocked shot. Thinking of this, Yukimiya Kazuma suddenly raised his head and challenged Hizai Yang, Hey, Mr. Ace, what's the use of floating outside and casting? Even if you cast in the end, you have to be interfered by me. Whether you get in or not depends on luck. No chance. Why don't you give it a try? Come in and have a look. The closer you are to the basket, the higher your hit rate. And if you dunk, isn't it higher? Hello. Advertisement. No way. There's no one who can't dunk, right? Kazuma Yukimiya suddenly started chattering, which immediately put Hizai Yang out of control. From the beginning of the game to the present, Yukimiya Kazuma gave him the impression that he was a particularly calm and wise type, but he did not expect that when he opened his mouth, he would turn out to be a particularly angry and provocative type. Come in and fight, 1v1. I promise there will be no help in defense. N.A. Hizai Yang. Hizai Yang ignored him. In the second quarter, Beishui Hall continued to maintain its absolute advantage. Point guard Yuji Kashiga, because he kept pressing hard at all costs in the first quarter, was replaced as soon as the second quarter started. Shin Matsuji originally planned to replace Yukimiya Kazuma with a backup power forward, and then completely put Yukimiya Kazuma in the point guard position to help Yukimiya reduce the consumption on the defensive end. However, at the suggestion of Yuji Kazuma, he still changed to a point guard. This way, on the defensive end, the one facing N.A. Hizai Yang was Yukimiya Kazuma. On the field, advertisement. Yukimiya thought about how to complete the badge mission. Based on the opponent's shot selection, it is obviously difficult to block the opponent's shot. Even if the opponent shoots it, Yukimiya tries his best to block the opponent's cautious fadeaway jumper through the screener. At most, it will cause interference. Under normal circumstances, enough interference would be enough. But the key thing is that the current situation is not normal. He had to block shots on Hizai Yang. And it's not a question of one or two. Imagine a scenario where a large number of shots can be blocked. This is probably only possible if the opponent continues to attack the frame. With the purple badge I love dunking, when facing a slam dunk, the success rate of blocking shots can be increased by 50%, so the safest thing is to let the opponent choose to dunk. Therefore, Yukimiya Kazuma's intention of provoking Hizai Yang just now was to let Hizai Yang dunk, thereby triggering the badge effect and stably blocking shots. However, no matter how he was angry with Hizai Yang, the other party remained indifferent. Then, Hizai Yang is not stupid. He is just as tall as Yukimiya and Jen when he blocks the shot, and there is also a taller Masaka Takato inside. Against such a defense, isn't he looking for a hat when he rushes in and dunks? Although the productivity and shooting percentage are extremely ugly when playing on the screen like this, at least he will not be blocked. If he is not blocked, there is still hope of scoring, and if he does not score, he can still fight for rebounds. Being blocked. That is pure delivery of the ball. So no matter how you think about it, the current offensive mode is more reasonable. Advertisement. The first half was over soon. Beishui Hall led Zuojia Middle School by 33 points 56 colon 23. Based on this performance, even if the overall strength of Zuojia Middle School is stronger than yesterday's in Siaji, I'm afraid Hakuzuikan can still reproduce the 60-point difference. Yukimiya Kazuma scored 10 points, 14 assists, 4 rebounds, 3 blocks and 3 steals at halftime. Overall, the data level was the same as yesterday, and from the perspective of the game scene, Yukimiya Kazuma showed the beauty that no matter how the opponent's defense changes, his game content remains so stable. Zuojia Middle School's defense against him must have been stronger than yesterday. In this case, Yukimiya Kazuma's halftime statistics were almost unchanged from yesterday, which further proves this point. Shin Satsuji couldn't be more satisfied with Yukimiya Kazuma's performance. Yukimiya plays very selflessly and has a pass-first style. He handles the ball and passes very steadily and makes almost no mistakes. And Kazuma Yukimiya also works very hard on the defensive end. 
His single defense is very strong and his assist defense area is also large. Moreover, his assist defense relies on his excellent vision and can take into account both assist defense and main defense at the same time, which greatly enhances the team's overall defense. Strength of the second half begins. Shin Satsuji asked Yukimiya Kazuma to come up and lead the substitutes. This was Kazuma Yukimiya's suggestion. The nominal purpose was to run more tactics. He felt that the previous point guard experience was too little. Playing against an opponent like Zuoji Middle School was not very intense, so it was a good opportunity. However, what is the real purpose? The purpose of Shui Gong and Jen's mental abacus is to lead a weaker substitute lineup, weaken the paper defense, and lure Hizai Yang to play deeper. But Shin Matsuji was obviously moved by Yukimiya Kazuma. To be honest, the little old man was a little touched and a little regretful at this time. He was so motivated and had such a talented player, but he didn't actually train it himself. In the end, it all relied on other people's personal efforts. Talent explodes. I feel that the sense of accomplishment in my junior high school coaching career has suddenly been reduced by half. Advertisement. Chapter 028, Come and Dunk Me If You Can. Come, Advertisement. Hakuzuikan's backup center's ability to protect the basket is definitely much worse than Masaka Takato's. After all, there is a big difference in height, even one centimeter shorter than the 184 meter Kazuma Yukimiya, and his defensive steps are not as good as Takato Masaki. Just by looking at Hizayu Yang's tactical adjustments when attacking, we can tell that this player is the type of player who is very good at assessing the situation. Depending on the opponent, he will carefully adjust his style of play, and he will never force himself to do it. Type. Although Nahe Zayu Yang was used a lot of mid to long distance jump shots by Sumiya and Genbi in this game, in previous games, his shots that penetrated into the paint and attacked the basket accounted for a large proportion of his points. If given the chance, Hizayu Yang will really show off his scoring skills just like his roar. And this way, playing into Yukinomi Yakazuma's hands. The second half begins. Sure enough, all the starters from Zuojiya Middle School stayed on the court. They wanted to take advantage of the substitute lineup in Beishui Hall to chase points. Therefore, Yukimi Yakazuma had a good start in the second half. With Masaka Takato and Ryo Hanan not present, the inside defense of Heikushwikan dropped a notch. Hizayu Yang continuously launched attacks on the inside. However, due to the pressure of Kazuma Yukimiya, most of his inside attacks ended up in the end. The breakthrough point ended with the ball, and the game was more stable and reasonable than Yukimiya Kazuma. The scoring environment of Zuojiya Middle School was indeed much better than in the first half, but Kazuma Yukimiya and the substitute lineup of Shirakuai Hall were also scoring continuously. The master of passing and control, Kazuma Yukimiya, really allowed everyone on the bench to experience the pleasure of greatly improving their shooting percentage. Whitewater Hall Round Yukimiya Kazuma cooperated with the substitute center in a pick and roll, passed the ball, and accurately found the center forward. Advertisement. However, the next second, in front of the center of Beishui Hall, assisting defensive player N.A. Hizayu Yang appeared. He gritted his teeth and did not want to waste the opportunity to perform, but still carried N.A. Hizayu Yang to complete the offensive action. The ability of the master of pass and control can increase the shooting percentage by 20%. In other words, even if the substitute center's current shooting percentage is interfered with to zero, Yukimiya Kazuma can also give him a guaranteed 20% hit rate. Really, the substitute center carried Hizayu Yang and took a shot. The basketball circled the rim extremely dangerously, and finally rolled into the rim. While Yukimiya Kazuma was celebrating with the excited substitute center, he also did not forget to continue teasing Hizayu Yang. Perhaps it was Yukimiya Kazuma's perseverance and strangeness that touched him. Maybe Hizayu Yang finally identified the weakened sideline of Beishui Pavilion, and he could try to fight to the end. In the next round, he used a pick and roll to block Yukimiya Kazuma, and then broke through to the inside. The backup center's defensive position is out of position. Nahe Zayu Yang took off, and Yukimiya Kazuma, who had been preparing for a long time, had already captured Nahe Zayu Yang's actions with his excellent vision. He almost simultaneously avoided the cover of Zuojiya Middle School, but gave up the interception at the critical moment. Boom, N.A. Hizayu Yang succeeded in dunking, and the roar he had been holding back for a long time finally reappeared. Raise your head and raise your arms? Ha! Huh. Yukimiya Kazuma did a great job of failing to block the shot in time, and Hizayu Yang's roar rang in his ears. In fact, if Yukimiya Kazuma just followed up, he would definitely be able to block the shot. However, he considered the next step. If he directly gave Hizayu Yang a risk, then it was very likely that Hizayu Yang would not continue to attack the basket. On the contrary, if one is released first, Hizayu Yang will attack again with the next ball. Advertisement. If you risk him at that time, his psychology may have certain illusions, and then you can put out bait and raise fish at the same time. And Hizayu Yang did not disappoint Yujimi Yakazuma's psychological analysis and attentive performance. Next round. When Nahe Zayu Yang entered the inside line again, Yukimi Yakazuma passed the cover and jumped up instantly. Just like the golden pass control master badge that flashes when passing the ball, the moment he leaps to block the shot, the I love dunk also glows with a faint purple light. At this moment, Yumi Yakazuma felt that he was full of power, and his jumping height seemed to be a little higher. The blocking success rate increases by 50%. Snap. Yukimi Yakazuma, who suddenly rose up, gave Hizayu Yang a big blow. The basketball flew out of the baseline. Yukimi Yakazuma. Success. But the next second, the system prompt in his mind extinguished his excitement in time. In the game against Zuojiya Middle School, he completed the block on Nagazayu Yang. Drawing a badge, the current chance is 10%. Extraction failed. Advertisement. Yukimi Yakazuma could not hold back for a moment and shouted at Hizayu Yang. Ah. Failed. Hateful. The other side. Hizayu Yang was also confused. As far as Sakura is concerned, no matter how perverse a junior high school player's character is, it is still relatively rare for him to shout angrily at his opponent, especially before a key goal that has nothing to do with the outcome of the game. It is even more exciting to be so excited. Rare. He is already the only one in the country, and his eyes are quite fierce. He has always yelled at others, and this is the first time he has been yelled at in person. He has never been treated like this before, and he immediately uses his narrow eyes, glaring at the other party menacingly. When Yukimi Akazuma saw the aggressive Hizayu Yang, a strange smile suddenly appeared on his face. Come and dunk me if you can. Come. When Hizayu Yang looked at the smiling Yukonomi Yakazuma, he felt that his brain was a bit exhausted. What does this person mean? 
Before, I had been irritatingly motivating myself to dunk, but now it has been upgraded to a level where I have to dunk. This was the first time in Hizayu Yang's basketball career that he asked for a dunk with a weird smile on his face. Wait. Then Hizayu Yang admitted that he was annoyed by the other party's weird words and smile. That's great, you must come. Swamiya Kezuma shouted at Hizayu Yang's back. Advertisement. Chapter 029, Midorima, Kagami, Kuriko in the audience. Advertisement. Then Hizayu Yang thought for a moment. In terms of physical ability, compared to the center guarding the inside line of Beishui Pavilion at this moment, I have an overall advantage, and the opponent's confrontation ability cannot hold me back. And Yukimiya Kazuma's words. With the help of the screen, even if you can't block the opponent just like before, you can still delay the action. As long as you can take a step ahead and break into the inside to dunk, the probability of scoring is quite high. As for the shot blocked by Kazuma Yukimiya just now, there was probably something wrong with the quality of the cover. Otherwise, why couldn't Kazuma Yukimiya follow up and block the shot when he dunked the first ball? Time waits for no one, so when Hizayu Yang thought of this, he immediately implemented it. Next, he attacked the basket more frequently, and in order to improve his shooting percentage under confrontation, he always chose to dunk. Then, boom, then Hizayu Yang dunks the center of Beishui Hall, Yukimiya Kazuma was caught in a pick and roll cover, unable to follow up, and was knocked away by Hizayu Yang's body from the side. Then Hizayu Yang turned around and roared. Snap, Yukimiya Kazuma bypassed the pick and roll and followed up in time. Hizayu Yang, who had a big hat in the front, roared back. In the game against Zuojia Middle School, he completed the block on Nagazayu Yang. Drawing a badge, the current chance is 10%. Extraction failed, hateful, again, boom, Hizayu Yang buckled Sumiya Kazuma across from him, and Hizayu Yang's roar became even more exciting. Snap, advertisement. Yukimiya Kazuma responded by blocking the shot and rushed towards N.A. Hizayu Yang. The audience cheered excitedly. In the game against Zuojia Middle School, he completed the block on Nagazayu Yang. Drawing a badge, the current chance is 10%. Extraction failed, boom, dunk, snap, block, boom, button, snap, big risk, cold sweat gradually broke out on Hizayu Yang's head. What happened? Feeling a little off? Yukimiya Kazuma blocks shots so regularly, Hizayu Yang turned to look at Sumiya Kazuma, and met the latter's kind smile. Then he saw that the other person's face suddenly changed after seeing the gaze he cast, and he looked coldly towards him with a solemn expression. He said, awesome. As expected of Hizayu Yang, you are the first to score so many dunks under my defense. Follow closely. Yukimiya Kazuma showed an expression of unwillingness, keep going, I don't believe I can't block you continuously. N.A. Hizayu Yang, snort, want to block me continuously? It's not that simple. If you can do it, give it a try. Na Heizayu Yang, who had maintained a 50% scoring percentage since the dunk just now, felt that he had found the scoring code, and gradually got the upper hand amid Yukimiya Kazuma's sarcastic remarks. Especially the phrase as expected of Heizayu Yang. Three minutes later. Advertisement. Not only Yukimiya Kazuma is pursuing consecutive blocks, but Heizayu Yang is also pursuing consecutive dunks. Come and buckle. Damn it, I won't let you touch the next ball. So close, just a little bit, he scored consecutive points. Yukimiya Kazuma finally understood this trick, and he was able to play with Hizayu Yang by throwing out bait intermittently, but this was actually more due to Yukimiya's previous defensive suppression. After all, the hit rate has always been limited to less than 30%, and now it suddenly reached a stable 50%, and a higher hit rate is within reach, how could he not just get in a circle? Another three minutes later. Call. Ha. Hateful. I can't hold it any longer? The continuous high-intensity breakthroughs and aerial confrontations made Hizayu Yang's physical strength gradually unable to keep up. More importantly, he obviously scored a lot of deductions, but the point difference has not narrowed at all until now. And on the other side, so strong, just a little bit different. Sure enough, this is the charm of basketball, surpassing your own limits. N.A. Hizayu Yang. This guy, my feeling is absolutely correct. Although I don't know what it is, the other party's words and eyes are all malicious. At this time, the audience at the scene was already stunned by the super showdown. Whoa, what a showdown. Advertisement. Hizayu Yang's dunk is so strong. Although I thought it wasn't good for him to yell at people before, his dunk is awesome. Hiss. Something feels weird. Obviously the height of the dunk is very average, far worse than yesterday's Aemin Deiki. There are also some terrifying dunks yesterday by Yujimi Yakezuma. And have you noticed that just now, Yujimi Yakezuma suddenly blocked the shot? High or low? Amid cheers. A very small number of keen viewers noticed something strange. In the corner, Kagami Taiga, who finally found the venue for the All-China qualifiers today, watched the game of Shiraswicken Middle School in the auditorium as he wished. After watching the attack and defense just now, he couldn't help but show a weird look on his face. Expression, how strange, this guy. At this time. Kagami heard a rather cold voice coming from behind. Snort. This number 5 did it on purpose. Including words and actions, he has been luring the opponent into dunking. He can obviously block the opponent's shot easily, but he pretends to block the shot while letting go. I don't know why, but it's probably because he has a bad personality that plays tricks on his opponents on the court. Kagami Taigo looked startled when he heard this. He turned around and saw a guy with green hair, holding a small alarm clock in one hand and wearing strange sunglasses on his face. Little green. You can see clearly with these glasses. The pink-haired girl on the side was recording something in her notebook while complaining. Even if you dress like this, acquaintances will recognize you at a glance. Yes, Midorima Khan. Wow. The sudden voice in his ear startled Kagami Taiga. He turned around and saw that a man with light blue hair had sat down on the empty seat next to him. You guy, when did you sit here? Eh, is it you, Kuriko? Tetsuya. Well, hello, Kagami Khan. Advertisement. Chapter 030, Green Badge, The Battle Cry of the Rookie Ace, Advertisement. In the audience, Midorima Shintero commented on Yukimiya Kazuma, which Yukimiya naturally could not know, but if he knew, he would definitely retort loudly, he is not a bastard with a bad character. The task given by the system seems simple, but who would have thought that the ace on the opposite side, who would roar from time to time, would actually fight so sloppily? What else could he do besides letting the opponent go boldly? On the court, in the game against Zuojia Middle School, he completed the block on Nagazayu Yang. Drawing a badge, the current chance is 10%. Extraction successful. Get the badge, Rookie Ace's battle cry, green. 
finally come, although excited, at the same time, Yumi Yakazuma was also relieved. Because if he didn't come out, Hizayu Yang on the other side might not be able to hold on anymore. Now, there was obviously something wrong with Hizayu Yang's physical fitness. This is also an inevitable result. Compared with Yuki Miyakazuma's low-cost assists on the offensive end, Hizayu Yang's all-offensive and all-defensive style of play will naturally consume his physical strength faster, not to mention the crazy output just now. Boring. Beishui Hall's substitute small forward hit Hizayu Yang after catching the ball. The latter gasped and tried his best to block the shot, narrowly missing his fingertips. Advertisement. The basketball hit the edge of the basket and bounced high. Although the direction was a little skewed, it was still under the control of the Whitewater Hall substitute forward. With his legs kicking hard, the small forward picked off the rebound above Nahe Zayu Yang's head. But, facing the other party's fierce eyes, the substitute student suddenly hesitated for a moment, and then he was closely entangled by the other party. It doesn't matter. When substitute Xiao Qian was thinking about what to do with the ball, suddenly, he heard a steady and firm voice coming from behind him. Give it to me. Even if they haven't seen anyone yet, the substitute forward knows who the owner of the voice is. Although the voice does not speak many times during the game, almost every time it speaks, Beishui Hall will play a smooth attack and score points. So when this very recognizable sound came into his ears, his body responded even faster than his brain. Push with both hands. A pass with a fairly basic technique, but stable enough, was pushed towards Yuki Miyakazuma. The next second, I saw a figure full of agility and power leaping high, then quickly swinging his arms to dunk towards the basket. Bang! The explosive slam dunk resounded throughout the arena. Then all the spectators near the arena saw a basketball passing through the net along the basket, hitting the floor very quickly, and then bouncing high. The scene suddenly became quiet. Until a few seconds later, advertisement. More enthusiastic cheers suddenly erupted outside the stadium. Wow, so high. Yuki Miyakazuma finally takes the initiative to attack again. However, after fighting continuously until now, he actually still has this kind of physical strength. It's a lie, this kind of dunk. It's amazing. I don't know how it compares to Generation of Miracles. This violent dunk instantly detonated the scene. After the opening ceremony, there were not as many people coming to watch the game as yesterday, but with Kazuma Yumiya's dunk, the scene suddenly became as lively and noisy as the opening ceremony. After all, with this level of dunk, coupled with Hizayu Yang's previous comparison, even a layman can feel the violence in it. In contrast to the excitement outside the court, everyone in Zuojia was completely silent. Hizayu Yang had just been blocked, and his physical strength was at the bottom. At this time, his mentality was in a mess. Zuojia Middle School naturally had no chance of winning. Whoosh, Shiraswicken Middle School, a mid-range shot from the substitute position. Zojia's shooting guard put his hands casually on his sides and watched the basketball fly past his eyes without making any movement. The coach of Zuojia Middle School finally sighed as he looked at the gradually numb expressions of the players on the field. The sports arena is a battle within the rules. Face difficulties and never give up. It is easy to write these words, but to truly unite knowledge and action, the will and belief required are far beyond what people can imagine. If the players of Zuojia Middle School could have such will, then they would not be like this now. Except for N.A. Hizayu Yang, everyone else gave up resistance early. Advertisement. In reality, the stronger the team, the stronger the belief. On the contrary, the more ordinary, the more happy-go-lucky they are. Then, the strong will always be strong, and the weak will always be weak. Three minutes into the fourth quarter, the score difference has reached 48 points. Zuojia Middle School replaced all its main players from the fourth quarter and announced defeat. Coach Shin Matsuhara had already withdrawn his troops and replaced Yuki Miyakezuma, allowing the substitute players to continue playing on the court. Soon, as the referee's whistle sounded, the game ended. At the end of the game, Beishuigwen Middle School vs. Zuojia Middle School, the score was 111,55, Beishuigwen Middle School won. Thanks for the advice XN. Both sides quickly came to the center circle to form teams, saluted and shook hands with each other. When shaking hands, of course, everyone at Beishuigwen Middle School was excited and happy, but what they didn't expect was that the atmosphere at Zuojia Middle School was not as gloomy as they imagined. Except for Hizayu Yang, who looked ugly and even more ferocious, the faces of the others showed neither disappointment nor unwillingness. A few substitutes even looked in the direction of Yukinomi Yakazuma and whispered about something. After seeing the state of everyone at Zuojia Middle School, the smiles on the faces of the Beishuigwen Middle School team members suddenly weakened a bit. Advertisement. Chapter 031, What Generation of Miracles, Does It Feel Like It's Gone Too Far? Advertisement. In the locker room, the expressions of everyone in the Whitewater Pavilion were a little strange, and they were no longer as excited as they were when they won yesterday. Maybe it's because we're tired after two consecutive days of competition. Maybe it's because everyone broke through the first round for the first time yesterday. Anyway, it feels weird. It's strange. We clearly won the game, but we didn't feel that excited. Daisuke Teriyama put his head on his hands, leaned on the locker behind him, and suddenly said, Of course, as it was confirmed yesterday, we are no longer just a passing team in the All-Chinese Championship. Ha ha ha. Indeed, but why are you speaking so weakly? You didn't just fall down from exhaustion after playing two games in a row, right? With the conversation between Kashiga Yuji and Teriyama Daisuke, the locker room gradually became more energetic. It was maintained until a low voice intervened, and the atmosphere in the entire locker room was suddenly interrupted again. In the knockout round that ends the whole summer with such a loss, they have absolutely no willpower to fight to the end. Defeating a team like this, naturally they are not as happy as yesterday. After all, yesterday, although we were also ahead by so many points, we have always been fighting to the end. The person who spoke was Masaka Takato. As the captain, he was also one of the only players in the team who had not been able to achieve good results but persisted in training until the third grade. He had the most say in this matter. Obviously we lost. But there is no disappointment or unwillingness. For such a team, we can only say that they have not tried hard at all. Without effort. Naturally, no other emotions will arise, and you can accept failure calmly without any trouble. Advertisement. Masaka Takato's tone was very calm, and his emotions did not fluctuate much when he spoke. He seemed to be not surprised by this and had already seen through it. 
Paired with his neatly combed hair after the game, the atmosphere of a bit of preaching was very suitable. After he finished speaking, everyone in the locker room fell silent. Because everyone finally understood why they were not excited at all after defeating Zuojia Middle School today. At the same time, there are many people who are recalling whether they have been so ashamed in the past. If so, did their opponents feel a little strange like themselves today? Coach Shin Satsuji listened quietly to everyone's words, his eyes twinkling slightly. Kazuma Yukimiya, who was sitting in the corner, had no reaction to this because he was studying his newly obtained badge. Rookie Ace's battle cry, green after completing a successful defense, let out a morale-boosting roar, which can effectively increase the shooting percentage of teammates on the field by 10% and slightly restore the physical strength of teammates on the field. Limited to once per game, each time lasting 5 rounds. Yukimiya Kazuma. Tisk. After so much effort, it's just green. And it feels a bit tasteless. It can only be used once per game, and it can only last for 5 rounds. The so-called small recovery of the team's physical strength is also a bit vague. Yukimiya Kazuma was speechless. I didn't expect that the hit rate and stamina related badges mentioned by the system were so relevant. I want him Yukimiya Kazuma to travel through time, and have the system close by, regardless of whether it is unrealistic at this stage. Anyway, Yukimiya Kazuma has silently set his target on Generation of Miracles. However, it is so precious now to be able to earn badge missions and play one less official game. In the end, it is given such a green badge, which makes people feel embarrassed. Advertisement. Generation of Miracles, it feels so far away. Could you please give me a badge that improves my offensive ability? Don't give me a rookie aces battle cry. I always feel like the system is secretly mocking me. Yukimiya Kazuma was silently thinking that as the qualifying rounds progressed, if he met a stronger team, he should get a badge to improve his offensive ability? I guess so. When I saw today's badge, I felt like I couldn't say anything for sure. If you create an entire rookie series for yourself, it's better not to have it. Yukimiya Kazuma. Tisk. If you want it, you still have to ask for it? Yukimiya Kazuma only played 3 quarters today and scored 14 points, 21 assists, 6 rebounds, 2 steals and 9 blocks. Now, he can be regarded as a small focus in the Tokyo district of the All High Qualifiers. Before Shiraswicken Middle School left the locker room, reporters had already knocked on the door. Under the intimidation of Coach Shin Matsuji's eyes, Yukimiya Kazuma dealt with the reporters seriously, and then when he and everyone left the gym, several spectators gathered around to ask Kazuma Yukimiya for autographs. Several uncles among them told Kazuma Yukinomiya with serious faces that he would definitely be famous all over the country in the future, and it would be worth the money to get an autograph now. Yukimiya Kazuma patiently signed autographs for them, and then enthusiastically shook hands with several female middle school students. Advertisement. Due to her delicate appearance, Kazuma Yukimiya has a high proportion of female fans. This made Masaka Takato, who had a straight face, quietly stare at Kazuma Yukimiya's face and secretly raise an eyebrow. When Hua Yin Liang saw this, he shook his head in amusement. Finally, everyone boarded the school bus. After returning to school and disbanding, the coach didn't talk to Yukinomiya about training more leisurely. Because the next game of Shiraswicken Middle School is on the weekend of this week, that is to say, by the start of the third round, Yukimiya Kazuma still has four days to conduct meditation training. To this, the training plan for Yukimiya Kazuma has been drawn up. The following week, he wanted to be drilled hard. Many of his attributes are in the early 80s, not as high as 85. It has been so long since he obtained the system. From his experience, 85 will be a big jump in external performance for player attributes. If he can complete several of these breakthroughs in the future, his strength on the court will be even stronger. The clear attribute values allow Yukimiya Kazuma to have a very clear goal. Only, plans are often just plans, and problems always arise when implemented. Advertisement. Chapter 032, Nijimura Shizo and Himiro Tatsuya. Advertisement. The backyard of Yukinomiya and Makoto's house. At this moment, Yukimiya Kazuma completed the last meditation training with trembling legs. It took two hours, and Yukimiya Kazuma only completed the system loading training scene three times with an epic speed and consumption. With Yukimiya Kazuma's strength at this moment, the opponents loaded into the system were stronger than imagined. Can you imagine the terrifying scene of number one personality Akashi, zone at Sushi Murasakabara, beautiful country street wall Nijimura Shizo, all three of them being present at the same time, with such a reasonable lineup? The level of exhaustion from such a meditation training session is almost three times the normal training intensity, and this normal training intensity actually refers to a 1v1 AMI Deki. That's all. The key is that the system prompt that appeared in his mind at this time clearly told Yukinomi Yakazuma that he had only obtained a training value of 0.3. For a while, Shui Gong and Jen were trembling with anger. The dog system is so stingy that it drives people crazy? Can it still get better? How about changing the strength of this lineup? Don't let one lineup harm others. If you can't replace Akashi or Murasakabara, then you can just replace Najimi Rishizo, who knew that Hunkin was built on the golf course, but it was this violent style, and the people who were hit were sore all over, but he remembered that it was not like this in the comics. Advertisement. Captain Rainbow, who went to the beautiful country to accompany his father, what kind of ball did he play on the street court? Ah, uh, ah, sure. In an outdoor basketball court in beautiful country, Hunkin Zayuzeo had just played a game but lost. He was watching a group of black and tough street ballers play with his new friends of the same age who he met a few days ago. At this moment, he suddenly and inexplicably sneezed. What's wrong, Nijimura-kan, do you have a cold? Next to Hunkin Zayuzo, a handsome young man with a tear mole at the corner of his eye said with concern. Nijimura Shizo blew his nose and shook his head at Hashiro Tatsuya, it's okay. It probably came from the blow while driving last night. Looking at Tatsuya Himuro who looked concerned about him, Nijimura Shizo still had a hard time imagining that in order to save his friends, he effortlessly knocked down several gangsters, including a scene where he knocked out a two-meter tall man with one punch. His fighting ability is so high that it surprises Nijimura Shizo. If you hadn't seen it with your own eyes, looking at Himuro Tatsuya's figure that was almost the same as his own, Nijimura Shizo thought for a while. His karate performance that day should not be worse than his, right? Without that guy Hizaki Shogo, I rarely even practice karate. Think of this. Nijimura Shizo couldn't help but think of Theo S. Juniors. Because of Supervisor Platinum's physical problems, when he called back, Nijimura Shizo had heard that those guys were very worried now. Advertisement. Tisk. Really. They are all a bunch of careless rats. Going for a ride. 
Himiro Tatsuya glanced at the motorcycle parked nearby and said clearly, you'd better pay more attention and don't get caught. By the way, don't you wear a helmet when riding a bike? When I brought this car over, the helmet was already rotten. Toot, toot, toot. At this time, Hong Kong Ziyu's cell phone rang. It was not a phone call, but the alarm he had set. Hearing the alarm, Najimura Shizo immediately picked up the basketball at his feet. It's time, I have to go to the hospital first. A lot of interesting things have happened recently. Maybe I'm lucky during this time, and my father's condition has improved. A lot of. A smile appeared on Tatsuya Himuro's poker face, that's great. Say hello to uncle for me. Um, Najimura Shizo stepped onto the motorcycle parked outside the stadium that was the trophy he and Tatsuya Himuro had finished fighting gangsters a few days ago. If you want to play ball, give me a call. Good. Najimura Shizo sprinted away, his hair flying back, and he waved to Himuro Tatsuya, muttering, find some time to contact that brat Midorima. I always feel that so many things have happened recently, it's a bit magical. The two rounds of the regional qualifiers passed smoothly, and it seemed that it had no impact on the mentality of the Hakuzuikan players. The basketball club's training was still the same, and Niamatsuji's daily stern roars were still the same. Advertisement. However, in the seemingly calm state, everyone's expressions seemed to have quietly changed. Time passed quickly. In the blink of an eye, the time came for the third round of the qualifiers. The opponent Hakuzuikan draws lots to face is Funita Middle School. Two consecutive rounds passed, half of the teams were eliminated in the first round, and half of the other half were eliminated in the second round. In total, three quarters of the teams have been eliminated. Almost all the fish valley was removed, and the following teams were all entrees with a certain level of strength. Otherwise, the third round would not have started after so many days. In this round, Hakuzuikan's opponent, Funita Middle School, is not weak, and their overall strength is not weak. The team's core player, Takeo Neirushij, was a player who struggled all the way from first grade to third grade before becoming the team's ace. He is good at shooting and has outstanding scoring ability. It's just that the current Shiraswikan, because of the bug of Yukimiya Kazuma, is obviously a stronger team than Funida. This was also reflected in the course of the game. Shiraswikan took the initiative from the beginning, and with the help of Kazuma Yukimiya, he played a smooth and smooth signature offense. No surprise, it was another victory. The point difference was not as big as the first two rounds, but it was still a big victory with a point difference of more than 30 points. In the whole game, six players from Beishui Hall scored in double figures, and Hua Yin Liang was forced to score 34 by Kazuma Yukinomiya. Beishui Pavilion, which is in a hot state, has made many viewers full of expectations for them. After all, Tiako has been unparalleled in the regional qualifiers in consecutive years, and they are also looking forward to the emergence of a new dark horse with enough strength to disrupt the situation. Advertisement. Chapter 033, This Joke Is Not Funny At All. Advertisement. Shiraswikan Middle School successfully advanced to the next round. After this game, everyone, including coach Shin Satsuji, was excited for a while, but then everyone became nervous again. It was even called a qualifier. So far, this is the most uneasy moment for everyone in Beishui Pavilion. Because according to the promotion rules of the qualifiers, after passing three rounds of competition, Shiraswikan Middle School has been promoted to the top 16 in Tokyo. It is also at the beginning of this round that the top 16 groups are drawn. Because of Tiako's presence, all teams in the top 16 know that this is the most important moment, almost the most important moment that determines whether they can advance to the national level. Even Yumi Yakazuma had to admit it. Whether it is competing for the top 8 in the 4th round or competing for the top 4 in the 5th round, as long as you are in the same group with Tiako at this time, you can basically say goodbye to this summer in advance. Yuki Miyakazuma is quite clear about himself and the team, as well as a few things. If there are not enough official games, let him obtain more badges, or if he suddenly gets a golden badge of the same level as the control master in one game. When Whitewater Hall meets Tiako, there is no doubt that they will only be defeated. So he and coach Niamatsuji have the same aspirations. Tiako must be avoided to reach the top four. Then in the top four round robin, compete for the second and third seed seats, go to the national arena, earn more badges, and then seek victory against Tiako. The day of the fourth round is also the day of the live draw. Captain Takato Masaki, who came back from the lottery, returned to the locker room with an ugly look on his face. As soon as he opened his mouth, Yuki Miyakazuma's heart skipped a beat. Um everyone, I'm sorry, I don't seem to be very lucky. Advertisement. It's broken? Did they really meet? Is it true that you should listen to the morning divination like Midorima before going out? Yuki Miyakazuma. How to fight? The weapon in my hand now. A body with attributes that may not be much weaker than Generation of Miracles. The Golden Badge Master of Control is the basic game. Without this badge, there is absolutely no possibility of fighting against Generation of Miracles. As for the rest, I love dunking. Purple, it should be able to play a big role in increasing the success rate of slam dunk blocks by 50%. For Murasakibara, Aemine, and Kais, three people who like to dunk, they can find the right time to block shots and get opportunities to transition between offense and defense. There are also badges produced in the third round. Although they are only a slightly stronger blue than green, they are definitely much easier to use than the Rookie Aces Battle Cry. But the disadvantage is, this badge is expendable. Spider Dance, consumption type blue the unique talent of feeling airflow and vibration, coupled with the highly concentrated super reaction of the nervous system, can defend the opponent's attack with the dance of spider steps, and the single defense ability has been improved to an epic level. The target you are defending cannot score in front of you. During the duration, your single defense and physical fitness will be raised to the peak for 4 minutes. Very strong, but use one less. Only 4 minutes is far from enough to defeat Generation of Miracles. Even one of them is only a single defense after all. There are only so many cards in his hand, and currently trying to win Generation of Miracles is like flying through a thunderstorm, with a slim chance of survival. Advertisement. The aircraft helmed by Yuki Miyakazuma was not just him, but was carrying a team of people from the Hakuzui Hall Basketball Club. Yuki Miyakazuma. Perhaps he found that the atmosphere in the locker room was a little too solemn, Takato Masake couldn't help but swallow dryly, and said with some embarrassment, Uh, just kidding. I didn't get it, I think everyone is too nervous, just kidding. Masaka Takato's words came to an abrupt end when coach Shin Matsuji shot him like a laser that was about to kill people. On the side, Hua Yin Liang was speechless, and his juniors Daisuke Teriyama and Kajiga Yu complained repeatedly. This joke is not funny at all. 
Before, I was just nervous, but when the captain said those words, my nerves completely collapsed. Scared me. So far so good. Hua Yin Liang clenched his fists tightly, and looked at Masaka Takato with a smile on his face. Yasho, what is your basis for concluding that this is a joke? Just when Masaka Takato felt his scalp numb under the scorching gazes of the team members, Kazuma Yukimiya finally stood up. Of course, it was absolutely impossible to help him out. Brushing away his white hair and his eyes and face, Yukimiya Kazuma rushed forward first. Suffer death. Everyone's eyes lit up. They all rushed in. Advertisement. Hello. I was wrong. Yes, it was the idea of Heitanda, Captain Kobayashi of Heitanda. Who is that? My friends who played together when I was young, they were drawn into Group D, where Tiako was, and we were in Group A, Group A. Bullshit friend, he must be envious, jealous, and deliberately mess with our mentality. The captain has a dual personality, right? He's so unreliable when he leaves the court. Otherwise, let Yukumiya-senpai do it instead. Ah, uh, this is not the end of the crime, don't be like this. After a while, Masaka Takato, who was forced to sign a series of unequal treaties, finally survived. Looking at the quarrelsome team members, Coach Shin Satsuji shook his head speechlessly, and at the same time he breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. He knew very well that now is not the time. Facing Tiako, neither he nor the team members were fully prepared. Fortunately, there is a three-quarter chance that Beishwick in middle school's luck is not that bad. Got a grip? When was the last time you reached the main draw? Too long. If they can go further this time, they may be able to create a new history for the Beishui Hall Basketball Club. Advertisement. Chapter 034, Yukimiya Kazuma is ready to fight. Advertisement. Thanks to Takato Masake, Hakuzuikan's all-qualifying tour was able to proceed as planned. They overcame obstacles all the way, and Yukimiya Kazuma continued to provide more assists than points, proving that they are not a flash in the pan. Many Tokyo area teams who were familiar with Shiras Y Hall were shocked when they learned of the earth-shaking changes in Shiras Y Hall's current strength. Of course they didn't know that such a fantastic thing as time traveling and adding a system had happened to Kazuma Yukimiya. They all thought that it was the explosion of talent in adolescence and the hard training of Kazuma Yukimiya that made Kazuma Yukimiya make a qualitative leap. However, after hearing that Kazuma Yukimiya had an exclusive meditation training, and with the help of some reporters, Kazuma Yukimiya's strength suddenly improved, and it was suddenly full of miraculous colors. Among them, Pass Weekly, which focuses on junior high school basketball in Tokyo, gave this page. A dream showdown in meditation with the expected opponent? Hakuzuikan Middle School ace Kazuma Yukimiya, in order to improve his strength, he created an original meditation training method. Before the sun rose, Kazuma Yukimiya had already completed two hours of meditation practice. This was the secret to Kazuma Yukimiya's rapid improvement. The following is an exclusive interview from the Beishui Hall Basketball Club. Advertisement. It was the first time that Yukimiya Kazuma saw the pass magazine brought by his teammates. When he saw this page, he was completely shocked by Sakura Magazine's ability to write stories. That's not to say it's all fake. But it was the actual contents of the interviews with a large number of Hakuzuikan members, mixed with the unbridled embellishments of the editor of Pass Weekly, that shocked Kazuma Yukimiya even more. Because, especially regarding the training part of the meditation training system, they have almost figured it all out, including but not limited to, in order to attract people's attention, the editor put a lot of emphasis on it. Kazuma Yukimiya aimed at generation of miracles, imagining the appearance of his opponents every day, fighting in meditation, forging ahead, etc. Is it so strong? After so many games, Yukimiya Kazuma discovered that the badge mission is stably triggered in official games, but the attribute mission has only appeared once so far. Fortunately, I was more cautious when adding points that time, focusing on speed and not achieving balanced development of rain and dew. Otherwise, if I added points randomly, I would have no place to cry. In the fifth round, 8 out of 4. Kazuma Yukimiya played steadily and won a victory as well as a new type badge. Experience badge, green a special badge that can only provide experience for green ability badges, containing 1000 experience points. Advertisement. After obtaining this badge, Yukimiya Kazuma promptly fed it to the battle cry of the rookie ace. After all, he had no room to wait for a better green badge now. After gaining 1000 experience points, the badge the battle cry of the rookie ace has a new change. Rookie ace's battle cry, green LV2 after completing a successful defense, let out a morale boosting roar, which can effectively increase the shooting percentage of teammates on the field by 15% and slightly restore the physical strength of teammates on the field. Limited to once per game, each time lasting 5 rounds. Other values have not changed at all, but the increase in teammates shooting percentage has been increased from 10% to 15%. From this moment on, Yumi Yakazuma discovered that an experience bar appeared above the badge. When the experience bar is full, you can upgrade. And through training, competition, and experience badges, you can increase your experience. It's just that different badge upgrades require different experience, and different ways of obtaining experience have different speeds. For example, the Golden Badge Transmission Control Master, which is the badge that Yuji Miyakazuma uses most often, has almost no increase in the experience bar above it. Kazuma Yujimiya took a look in the system panel. Good guy, the experience bar is as long as 10,000, and there are currently 9,521 short of upgrade. Kazuma Yukonomiya did a simple calculation and found that without the experience badge, gold, to quickly fill up the experience, he would not be full in two years. As for the purple badge of I Love Slam Dunk, its condition is better, but not much. The length of the experience bar is 5,000, and it is currently 4,553 short of upgrade. Without the experience badge, it can be upgraded to LV2 in one year. The blue spider dance cannot be upgraded because it is a one-time consumable badge. The green rookie ace's battle cry requires 1,000 experience points to upgrade. Just a green experience badge directly upgraded it to LV2. The rookie ace's war cry, which has always been regarded as useless by Yukimiya, can already increase the shooting percentage of teammates by 15% within 5 rounds. Add in the 20% increase of pass control master, so stacked together, at critical moments, there is a guarantee of 35%. What if it goes higher? Advertisement. The number of rounds may increase, and the hit rate increase will continue to increase. The key is that compared to the green rookie ace's battle cry, which starts with a gold badge with an experience value of 10,000, the experience required for upgrading is low enough, and the green experience badge is obviously easier to obtain. 
It seems that this battle cry needs to be used on a daily basis. The future may not be useless. Then, after the team passes the fifth round and is determined to reach the top four, in the daily team training of the Hakuzui Hall Basketball Club, whether it is Kazuma Yukimiya's exclusive halftime meditation training, or tactical training with his teammates, everyone can hear Yukimiya Kazuma roaring with arms raised as if he was infected by Nahe Zayu Yang from Zuojia Middle School. According to an on-site interview with Pass Weekly, the feedback from junior Yukimiya Kazuma in the Shira Swicken team is that every time I say the roar of senior Yukimiya, I feel the blood burning all over my body and my morale is boosted. A few days later, the new weekly section about Beishui Pavilion is freshly released. The Top 4 Battle Generation of Miracles, Yukimiya Kazuma is ready to fight. Advertisement. Chapter 035, A Feasible Plan to Limit Aamine to Less Than 25 Points. Advertisement. Attribute Mission, Defeat Tiako Junior High, Win the Game, Personal Score Greater Than or Equal to 30. Achievement Reward, Self-Assigned Attributes Times 25. Badge Mission, In the Game Against Tiako Junior High, Limit Aamine Daiki's Score to 25 Points and Below, and Prevent Her from Becoming the Highest Scorer in Generation of Miracles. Achievement Reward, Obtain Badges Related to Aamine Daiki's Wild Abilities. In the Locker Room of Tokyo Daiichi Gymnasium, Yukimiya Kazuma was looking at the latest gimmicky page of Pass Weekly, and while he was complaining crazily in his heart, a prompt suddenly appeared in the system. And it was the first time that a mission was issued before the game, before even stepping onto the court. Perhaps it was because Masaka Takato ran out of luck during the top 16 draw. In today's first round robin match of the top 4, Hakuzuikan got Tiako Jr. high, so the mission target was naturally aimed at Tiako, Yukimiya Kazuma. Originally, the system gave out attribute tasks and badge tasks at the same time, and Yukimiya Kazuma should have been excited. However, when he saw the content clearly, Yukimiya Kazuma was poured cold water on it. Not to mention the unrealistically high difficulty of defeating Tiako Jr. high, just the next badge task, limiting Aamine Daiki's score to less than 25 points, makes people's blood pressure rise. Jordan has a famous saying, is it difficult to average 30 points per game? You can do it by scoring two mid-range shots and four free throws in one quarter. The same goes for Aamine Daiki. You don't need to score too many goals in each quarter. With Aamine's physical strength, I'm afraid that by the end of the game, he can easily score more than 30 points. But, advertisement. This reward is so greedy. If you win Tiako, you can allocate attributes by yourself by 25, limit Aamine's score, and get badges related to Aamine's wildness. If you can really do it, even if it's just one of them, why don't you just take off? Kazuma, what's wrong? Seeing Yujimi Yakazuma's expression change suddenly, Takato Masaka couldn't help but ask. Nothing. It's just the thought of meeting Generation of Miracles later that makes me a little excited. Hearing this, Masaka Takato was silent for a moment, and then said with an embarrassed look, I know you are in a hurry, but don't worry. Our task today is not to defeat the Generation of Miracles. Although everyone knows that you we are ready to face the Generation of Miracles, but the rest of us, um, wait a minute, who said I was ready? You don't really believe what's in that crappy magazine, do you? After hearing the conversation between the two, Kashigayu's second-class juniors also came over. One of the first-year students asked innocently, eh, isn't that right? Yukinomi Yasenpai is just too humble. Yes, it was mentioned in the past magazine, and the training momentum of senior Yuegong these past few days is the strongest ever. Yukimiya Kazuma. Damn it, advertisement. Yes yes yes, I can't wait to face Aamine Daiki today and beat him. However, everyone did not feel that Yukinomi Yakazuma was overestimating his abilities. They were just stunned, feeling the menacing of Yukimiya Senpai today. Even coach Shin Matsuji said, we still have to play normally and follow our previous pace. But if something cannot be done, we will switch to preserving our strength, observe carefully on the court, and look for opportunities for the next game. Shuegong, you are here today and I allow you to make your own decisions. But, don't be too obsessed with fighting Aamine. Yukimiya Kazuma looked at the hesitant expression on Shin Matsuji's face. It was obvious that even the coach believed what Pass Weekly said, but he himself was really not as crazy as it was advertised above. But, Yukimiya Kazuma, is there really no chance? Under everyone's brainwashing, Yukimiya Kazuma was suddenly in a trance and thought carefully about the possibilities. In his mind, the scenes of encountering the generation of miracles in the previous meditation training emerged one by one. Even if beating Tiako is out of the question, limiting Aamine Daiki to less than 25 points seems. Isn't it impossible? It just requires some clever tactics. The Control Master Badge, in which the Master's Control has a certain restrictive effect on Aamine's super speed dribbling. The Badge I Love Risky Dunks can limit Aamine's dunks. The only thing that's hard to beat is Aamine Daiki's wild formless shot. Advertisement. But. Tiako Generation of Miracles has 5 people and only 1 ball, plus Tiako has Akashi's goal of 20 points per game per player, and even recently added a team scoring game. Just like the Tiako games he had scouted in the past few days, with Aamine's character, it would be a series of requests for goals to get excited. It would be impossible for him to just watch himself score a goal and then stand aside and watch his teammates attack in the next round. Tiako's other miracles basically follow this model. In addition to offensive rebounds, steals, blocks and other ball rights that can be handled by oneself to widen the scoring gap with other teammates, as long as the offense is launched from the backcourt, the distribution of ball rights is fair, one person plays a series of games, and then replaces the next person. Tiako is in this state where one person attacks and four people spread out on the court. So, take advantage of Tiako's opportunity to rotate the offense. When everyone else has finished attacking and it's Aamine's turn, seize the opportunity and use the expendable badge spider dance to completely block him in four minutes. Four minutes is enough. According to Tiako's offensive model, Aamine will never focus its attacks for more than four minutes in one quarter. When passing the ball, try to avoid the players defended by Aamine so that he cannot get extra ball rights such as blocks and shots, plus the spider dance. Maybe Aamine can get no points at all for one quarter. And I have two such spider dances in total? That's right, just two. In the fifth round of the competition, another spider dance card came out. In this way, Aamine is equivalent to missing two quarters of points out of thin air, and the remaining two quarters have to rely entirely on his own strength. 
Master of Pass Control Plus I Love Slam Dunk, you can definitely give it a try. Advertisement. Chapter 036, Shyrus Wiccan vs Diaco, two after images, one green, and one white, started. Advertisement. The first game of the semi-final round robin. Shyrus Wiccan Middle School faced off against Tiako Junior High, and the Tokyo Second Gymnasium was buzzing. It didn't take long. Everyone from Beishwiken Middle School came to the playing field and started to warm up. Yuki Miyakezuma looked around and said without humility that this was indeed the focus of the battle, including the other two teams in the semifinals, as well as many opponents who had lost to the Whitewater Hall before, all came to the scene. Yuki Miyakezuma also saw some fans wearing their own jerseys. Of course, there are no formal jerseys for sale like commercial leagues. These fans are all wearing light blue jerseys, which are modified Beishui Hall team uniforms. Seeing these fans cheering for him enthusiastically, Yumi Yakezuma waved to them very naturally. Yuki Miyakezuma continued to warm up, and not long after, the fans in the stands suddenly cheered. Looking up, it turned out to be the cheers caused by Tiako Jr. High appearing from the player tunnel. And when Tiako S team members came out, Yumi Yakezuma could clearly feel that the cheers around him were far greater than the moment they came on stage. But this is natural. Although there are many outstanding junior high school basketball teams in Tokyo, these teams are on two completely different levels compared to Tiako. The reason for this is simply because Tiako owns generation of miracles. What a strong momentum. Advertisement. If you look closely, the average height is very high. Really or not, what did these guys grow up on? By the way, we are actually going to compete against such an opponent. The first year substitutes at Whitewater Hall looked in the direction of Generation of Miracles and whispered among themselves. The average height of the members of the Generation of Miracles, except for Akashi, is indeed extremely high. If it is the timeline where the plot begins, Murasakabara 208, Midorima 195, Aamine 192, Kais 189. And in this summer of junior high school, more than half a year before they enter high school next year, their heights have dropped by about 5 to 6 centimeters on average, and they are still an extremely exaggerated average height. At this stage of junior high school, such height alone is enough to be intimidating, not to mention the fact that this team already has a great reputation. Facing such an opponent, the self-confidence brought by Beishwikin's winning streak was physically suppressed before the battle even started. But, at this age, your height can still grow. Yuki Miyakezuma has recently felt that she has grown a little taller. I checked through the system before and found that I have indeed grown 2 centimeters taller, reaching 186. Kazuma Yukimiya, who does not suffer at all in terms of height, has little awareness of Tiako's height suppression, so he naturally focused his attention on Aamine Deiki. In the two tasks, Yukimiya Kazuma hardly had to weigh too much. The only goal in this game was to limit Aamine Deiki's score to less than 25 points. Although this is difficult and consumes two Spider Dance God badges, these are nothing compared to the temptation of Aamine's wild-related badges. In this game, he must spend more energy in limiting Aamine's score. Advertisement. Beep. The whistle sounded. The game officially begins. The centers of both sides jumped the ball in the middle circle. Masaka Takato looked at the lazy-looking guy in front of him, but he was obviously two meters tall, and he couldn't help but feel a little scared in his heart. However, his nervousness was completely unnecessary. Atsushi Murasakabara was not only tall, but also had ridiculously long arms. The result of the jump ball was actually doomed from the moment the two stepped onto the center circle. Snap! Masaka Takato, whose body movements were a little stiff, watched Atsushi Murasakabara leap high first. The opponent's height in the air was even higher than the ball thrown by the junior high school referee. He waited for the ball to reach the highest point in the air, then immediately reached out and swatted the ball toward Tiako's backcourt. Good pass. There are finally no violations today, Murasakibara. Phew, with the voice. A black shadow suddenly rushed out. There was no doubt that it was Aamine Deiki who had taken the lead. Advertisement. The opponent's speed made Yuki Miyakezuma slightly raise his eyebrows, then turned around and chased after him with full firepower. The speed of 91.3 was the first time that he broke out with all his strength, regardless of physical strength. Two figures, one green and one white, passed by other players in the white water hall in the blink of an eye. Before Daisuke Teriyama could even react, the two after images disappeared one after another. In front of his eyes, when he turned around, the two of them had already entered the restricted area at the same time, jump up at the same time, snap, the crisp sound of hitting the ball sounded, moment, the atmosphere was dead silent. Whoa. After a while, the scene that came back to consciousness was filled with exclamations one after another. When Kazuma Yukimiya met the generation of miracles, the audience was not disappointed with the first goal. Many spectators who only came to the scene during the round-robin tournament and only heard that there was a super player in the Whitewater Hall were shocked when they saw the scene. Tiako Bench. Satsuki Mamwa opened the notes on his lap, and under the word slammed and block, he drew an emphasized horizontal line. While speaking, his expression was slightly happy, Ada, he is really, he really didn't look at me, the information collected. In addition to passing and controlling, what this whitewater ace is best at is blocking and dunking. Advertisement. Chapter 037, The Rule of Victory in Whitewater Pavilion Has Been Broken. Advertisement. Yuki Miyakazuma, who was chasing from behind, successfully blocked Aamine's shot, and the ball was picked up by Kashiga Yuji. Under the performance of I Love Dunking, although the aerial confrontation was quite clean, after the ball popped out, the whole person still rushed to Aamine. Hey, are you okay? Yuki Miyakezuma stood up and took the initiative to extend his hand to Aamine in front of him. Scott has a saying that the most correct way to defend Jordan is to never anger him or talk trash, otherwise he can score 60 points. Um, beat him with politeness. So, look at my sincere eyes, they are quite kind, right? Aamine Deiki. Ah, uh, interesting. A clumsy provocation. Counting the time in the audience, this is probably the second time. Thinking of Yuki Miyakezuma's block just now, at that moment, Aamine Deiki felt the beating of her heart for the first time in a long time, and even the cooling blood seemed to be burning. Aamine grabbed Yumi Yakezuma's hand, held it for support, and stood up, I just woke up and my body is a little sluggish, but you are very good. It seems that this time, it can be a little more interesting. After Aamine finished speaking, she ignored Yuki Miyakezuma who was suddenly stunned, and turned around and left aggressively. As for Yuki Miyakezuma, the other party's signature words of going berserk still lingered in his ears. In his eyes, Aamine's back and the aura around him had almost condensed into substance, which made him stand there with a confused look on his face. Advertisement. It's not right. 
Isn't this trick difficult to use? More difficult than Jordan? Is it because of a strong start? This ball just now, it really is better to let him go first and let him relax his vigilance. So excited, miscalculation, at this time, on the other side of the court, in Tiakoa's half. Kai's Ryota looked at Yukimiya Kezuma in the distance, the expression on his face was almost the same as the confused Yukimiya just now. Kai's Ryota. No way, someone could actually keep up with Aemine's speed and block his dunk? Zyoxu Palace is actually so strong, I thought he could only pass the ball. In the offensive round of Hakuzui Hall, Yukimiya Kezuma advanced with the ball. However, it was Akashi Sijiro who defended him, Yukimiya Kezuma. Regarding Emperor I, Yukimiya Kezuma carefully studied countermeasures every time he encountered the second personality Akashi Sijiro during meditation training, but with little success. On the offensive end, the ball control ability of 96.2, coupled with the ball control skills brought by the pass control master, can withstand the Emperor, but not too much. If it is the normal mode of ball control, it will still not be able to withstand the Emperor after a long time. I opens a big risk in advance prediction. This thing has nothing to do with attributes and technology, it can see the future. Advertisement. But he has to control it, because he is the starting point of the overall attack of Beishui Hall. Secondly, if he cannot control it, he will not be able to control it if he hands the ball to other people in Beishui Hall, even if it's not Akashi who's playing against them. So, in order to control the ball, Yukimiya chose a Magic Johnson-like model during the most dangerous half-court push. A person with a high EQ can be said to be Magic Johnson. A person with a low EQ is actually sticking his butt out in a rather embarrassed manner, always protecting the ball and advancing, and then waiting to enter the opponent's half before switching to normal movement at the moment of breakthrough. Ball mode. However, at this point, being able to control the ball is the first step, and the next step is the most difficult. Under the defense of Akashi Emperor I, he must exert his assisting ability as a master of passing and control. Snap, 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 dribbling is unprecedentedly fast. Kazuma Yukimiya's dribbling is a textbook technique under the influence of the badge, but even so, when the backup push turned into a disguised breakthrough, Akashi almost touched it. Yukimiya was calculating the attack time, trying to slow down the rhythm and reduce the number of offensive rounds. The ball protector suddenly leaned on Akashi, and then turned around and broke through. The moment when he breaks in and attracts a double team, score the ball, However, under the threat of Emperor I, Akashi suddenly cut in with his left hand, causing this ball to completely lose its previous effect. When Hua Yin Liang received the ball from Sui Gong, he felt a strange feeling that made his shooting motion seem stuck. And this was not an illusion, it was just stuck, and it was far less smooth than before. Because at the moment of catching the ball, all the players in the White Water Hall could clearly feel that Hua Yin Liang had made a very conspicuous adjustment in his movements. In the past, this situation would never have happened when Kazuma Yukimiya passed the ball. Whoosh, advertisement. Kaiza's defense was drawn to take two steps away, but just as Hana Yin Liang adjusted his movements very quickly, Kai's Ryota had returned to the defensive position and interfered with Hua Yin Liang's shooting. Boring, the ball hit the edge of the basket and bounced out. Really, or not? Yukimiya Kazuma had long been mentally prepared for this. After all, during meditation training, with Akashi's defense, the success rate of exerting the badge's effect was only 20%, so the one who was most nervous about this was not Yuki, whose badge ability had expired. Miyazaki, but his teammates, give the ball to Yukimiya Kazuma's organization, and then Yukimiya will control the ball calmly and use that kind of perfect passing to help everyone improve their strength to a higher level and play a smooth offense. After five rounds of competition, this model of continuously leading everyone to victory has become a natural rule in the hearts of the Beishui Hall players. But now, this law has suddenly been broken, and the most incredible ones are naturally the teammates from Beishui Gwin Middle School. For a while, the atmosphere in the White Water Pavilion became solemn and tense. Although, this is their first attack. Outside the court, Shin Satsuji frowned when he saw the scene. Although he had expected that Snow Palace was unbeatable in the past, but facing the level of the Generation of Miracles, White Water Hall relied heavily on Snow Palace's flaws and was very likely to be fatally struck. However, Shin Matsuji still underestimated the importance of Yukimiya Kezuma in everyone's hearts. He did not expect that Yukimiya's passing failure would lead to such a cliff-like drop in his own momentum. Even Masaka Takato, who has always had a firm belief, is like this. Sure enough, the timing is still far off, Shin Satsuji thought to himself. Advertisement. Chapter 038, Make Me More Happy, Yukimiya Kezuma, Advertisement. If the all-qualifiers were compared to a pass-through game, then the Hakuzuikan team would consist of a top player, Kazuma Yukimiya, with four newcomers. Originally, the difficulty of the Whitewater Hall led by Yukimiya Kazuma should gradually increase little by little, from easy difficulty to normal difficulty to difficulty, until the final hell. However, now, except for Kazuma Yukimiya, everyone else has been pulled directly into the hell world and faced the most terrifying demon king before they have gone through the difficult mode. Sorry, my question. Yukimiya Kazuma clapped his hands, focusing everyone's attention on him, and then continued, Everyone, relax a little. If my next pass is still in this state, I will pass it back. I'll just organize it once. Next time I won't stress the rhythm and reserve time to play more tactics. If you want to defend, just follow the planned plan. Everyone nodded after hearing this, and their nervousness eased a little. Even though Tiako is a mode where one person attacks and four people are watching, it is obviously impossible for the one among them to be defended by Kazuma Yukinomiya alone. If we defend like this, it is equivalent to putting Kazuma Yukimiya at the front and letting the five members of the Generation of Miracles kick around in a circle. So, advertisement. The defensive arrangements Shinsatsuji gave everyone before the game. Under the suggestion of Kazuma Yukimiya, it is basically to defend against each other, but to attack firmly from the flank. Murasakibara is the main attacker, Masaka Takato is defending from the front, and the closest teammates around him are double teaming on the left and right. Kaiz and Akashi are the main attackers, while Ryo Hanan and Daisuke Teriyama are respectively responsible for frontal defense. The player who defends from the front mainly defends shots, and the player who assists defense prevents breakthroughs. Midorima is special, because Masaka Takato and Midorima are basically the same height, so once Midorima starts to attack, Masaka Takato on the inside gives up defending Murasakabara and goes out to defend three-pointers. At the same time, Hua Yin Liang forms a double team with him. 
Murasakibara, who was unguarded inside, was assisted by Yukimiya and Shin, but he also mainly defended one-handed passes. The last remaining Aemine Deki is the same principle. Yukimiya and Zhenzhen defend the breakthrough, and the shots are flanked by people on both sides. As can be seen from the above arrangement, the number of people who can assist in defense is limited to two people at most, because Kazuma Yumiya knows very well that the generation of miracles in this period must mainly fight alone. But when playing basketball, you still have to follow the basic laws. If your opponent fails to pass after a four-pack and one, he is either stupid or mentally ill. If that were the case, it would be simple. Whoever gets the ball would have everyone on the team pounce on it. Based on Yukimiya Kazuma's experience in meditation training, three people is the limit, and maybe some of them can be as crazy as four. Beyond this number, even Generation of Miracles will not continue to blindly play alone. Tiakoa's offensive turn. Sure enough, it starts off with the menacing Aemine Deki. Aemine's dribbling was not only exaggerated in amplitude, but also extremely fast. Kazuma Yukimiya faced Aemine directly with his eyes fixed on the opponent's movements. Then the next second, in the inside, Masaki Takato, who was pulled aside by Atsushi Murasakibara to leave room for Aemine to attack, suddenly widened his eyes. Actually, advertisement. Kazuma, he was actually broken through by the opponent so easily? Seeing that Yukimiya Kazuma was being passed by, Takato Masaki immediately stepped forward to help defend, but Aemine Deki's ultra-high-speed dribbling combined with human and ball was beyond his ability to keep up. Aemine, whose eyes were as cold as a leopard's, suddenly stopped, and his speed suddenly changed from 100 to 0. Then, with a huge crotch transformation, his speed increased from 0 to 100 in the blink of an eye, and rushed to Masaki Takato's side. Good. So fast? Masaki Takato wanted to turn around and follow, but his body couldn't move. However, as if Aemine Deki had sensed his thoughts, she suddenly turned around and appeared on the other side of his body again. Then, Masaka Takato's field of vision suddenly became shorter, the continuous large-scale swing of the center of gravity caused Takato Masaka to stagger, staggering, and almost being knocked down. At this time, Aemine has already rushed into the penalty area, bang, he stepped heavily on his right foot, raised his body suddenly, and headed straight for the basket with the ball in one hand. At this time, Yukimiya Kazuma had already relied on his super-spatial awareness to quietly follow Aemine to the blind spot of his field of vision. He was easily broken through just now because of this moment. One green and one white, two people jumped up one after another. But, advertisement. Just at the moment when the Kaimau slam dunk in Yukimiya Kazuma's system was already flashing purple light, Aemine Deki in front of him suddenly changed his movements. The posture of gliding in the air has changed from raising fire to burning the sky, to holding the abdominal pull-up bar, even. As Aemine's body tilted exaggeratedly to the right. Whoosh, the basketball far avoided Yukimiya Kazuma's shot blocker and fell into the basket accurately. Pada, pa, pada. Yukimiya Kazuma landed on the ground, looked down at the ball rolling to his feet, and sighed secretly. He had just blocked Aemine once, and it was unrealistic to expect him to get excited and challenge him for a slam dunk. Although this guy is not a calm player, he is definitely not a hot-blooded idiot. When he gets serious, basketball is all based on instinct. While Yukimiya Kazuma was silent, Aemine Deki turned around and passed by him, and her cold words reached his ears at the same time. Is that all there is to it? Make me more happy. Yukimiya Kazuma. Advertisement. Chapter 039, Aemine Deki, but she has always been slow to show off. Advertisement. The arena suddenly became quiet. After several seconds, a burst of exclamation suddenly erupted from the audience. Amazing. Forget it about Aemine Deki, who is number 5 of the Whitewater Hall. He can jump so high, that jump just now forced Aemine Deki to make such exaggerated movements to get out of the way. Is this guy really a junior high school student? Somewhere in the audience, all members of Zuojia Middle School, who had played against Beishwikan before, were present. Damn it, there was indeed a problem during the previous game. This guy jumped too high, right? The point guard of Zuojia Middle School wiped his sweat, then turned to look at Hizayu Yang, hesitated, and said, Did he not use all his strength when he blocked you? Na Hizayu Yang. Then Hizayu Yang fell silent. Not only the height, but the strength of that guy when he blocks shots is also extraordinary. In terms of blocks alone, I'm afraid there is no one in Tokyo who can compare with him except at Sushi Murasakibara. The coach of Zuojia Middle School has a very accurate gaze, but, it seems that he is only limited to blocking and dunking. For non-slam dunk scoring methods, he is far from as good as when blocking and dunking. Only in these few games against me from Yukimiya Kazuma's observation, he may have had some special training in this area. Advertisement. When Hizayu Yang heard this, his brows furrowed even more, feeling that some truth was coming out. On the court. Beishwikan Middle School Baseline Serve. Although the ball Yukimiya Kazuma failed to block just now, it also played a vital role for the other players in the Whitewater Hall. Yukimiya defended Tiakoa's two attacks in the opening game, successfully blocking one shot and forcing the opponent to take a very difficult shot, which indirectly gave everyone a lot of confidence. On the playing field, strong strength itself can sometimes have the effect of strengthening one's heart. Everyone in the Whitewater Pavilion obviously began to move more freely. Then not long after, Beishui Pavilion, which had just regained its momentum, suddenly felt as if a basin of cold water had been poured over its head. Four minutes have passed since game time. Shiraswick in Middle School vs. Tiako Junior High, the score was 213. Advertisement. The content of the game on the field shows the absolute strength gap between the two sides. Tiako, who had absolutely no team coordination or teamwork, relied solely on his personal ability, like a speeding train, running over Shiraswick in Middle School. This was particularly prominent in Tiako's defense. All of the Whitewater Hall, except for Kazuma Yukimiya, were completely destroyed. Even under Akashi Emperor I's defense, Yukimiya Kazuma successfully passed an effective pass and control master level pass, but his teammate's attack was still blocked by Atsushi Murasakibara's two-step assist. But fortunately, when Murasakibara was forced to go out to help defend due to his assist, Yukimiya rushed into the inside and completed a high-flying make-up dunk. This was also the only two points of Hakuzui Hall since the start of the game. Even though Yuki 
leukemia at Kazuma didn't have much feelings for generation of miracles, facing the well-organized miracles at this time. He felt the horror of the other party. These guys can no longer be described as geniuses, they are monsters in the true sense. Yukimiya Kazuma looked at Ayamine Deiki opposite. Perhaps sensing his gaze, Ayamine also happened to turn around and look at Yukinomiya Kazuma. The moment their eyes met, indescribable excitement gradually appeared in the other person's eyes. Yukimiya Kazuma. From the start to now, Ayamine has been attacking for four consecutive minutes. Obviously, the time is exceeded, right? Advertisement. Yutiako don't care. Damn it, if we continue, our goal of suppressing Ayamine's score below 25 will fail? According to Kazuma Yukimiya's plan, in the first two quarters, Ayamine's score will be kept below 25, and then in the last two quarters, the spider dance badge will be turned on, and Ayamine's offensive rotation in the last two quarters will be completely strangled. So there is a high probability that the task can be completed. As for why not start the spider dance from the beginning, it's very simple. Compared with the first two quarters when the physical strength is the best, it is obviously more appropriate to open the last two quarters. And, who knows if Ayamine is crushed first, the opponent will open a zone. Even if there is no zone at this time, the wild will definitely appear. Ayamine Deiki has always been slow to take off. But Kazuma Yukimiya never expected that the attack time would time out for Ayamine Deiki in the first quarter. In a junior high school game, each quarter is 10 minutes. With the five members of the Generation of Miracles, logically, with a reasonable allocation of attack time, each player should be able to attack for exactly 2 minutes. Even if there is some variation, it will be more than 2 minutes. Now that it has exceeded the standard so much, it really makes Yukimiya and Ma's scalp numb. After all, based on the current score, Ayamine scored 13 points in one quarter and stably scored over 50 points in four quarters. Even if Ayamine was blocked by the spider dance, the score in two quarters would definitely not be able to beat 25, because with the physical fitness decline, facing Ayamine's formless shot, Yukagong's defensive efficiency will also decline. Advertisement. Chapter 040, Offensive Rotation, Kai's Ryada, Opportunity. Advertisement. Maybe it was Yukinomiya and Shinobu's sincere complaints that played a role, or maybe the other generations of miracles couldn't stand Ayamine Deiki's playful beating, and then they stood aside. In the next round, Ayamine Deiki died down with a look of displeasure, and it was Kai's Ryada who took over to attack. Seeing this, Yukimiya Kazuma's eyes lit up. He knew that the team's momentum could not continue to be suppressed like this. The defense of Ayamine in the second quarter would still need everyone's help. This opportunity must be seized. After all, among the current generation of miracles, Kai's Ryada is the weakest miracle who will be prevented from holding the ball for 24 seconds by Tomoki Chugawa. Even though that happened not long after Kai's sophomore season, he had already started Tiako and was asked by Akashi to score 20 points in regular time according to Miracle's equal requirements. Therefore, we must score points at this stage to relieve the pressure on everyone. Tiako's attack. Kai's Ryada attacks from the top of the key. Huayin Lion defends Kai's. After Kai's continued to fight with his back while holding the ball, Huayin Lion felt that the opponent might be about to take a jump shot. The next second, when Kai's turned over, Huayin Lion also jumped forward to defend. After the previous attack by Ayamine Deiki, Huayin Lion knew very well that it would be even harder to stop this kind of monster when it was in good condition, so Huayin Lion decisively pounced on it with all his strength. Even if you can't block shots, you can still make money as long as you can interfere with it. If the opponent fakes a shot and it's really sudden, then you can only leave it to the teammates behind you. Huayin Lion only gave Kai's limited line of sight interference, but the opponent's shooting height was terrifying, and his shooting action was not affected at all. Just when Huayin Lion secretly sighed at the monster, he observed the entire situation at the same time with a super strong field of vision from the side. The Snow Palace had already come to help with the defense at some point. Snap! He jumped sideways and his fingertips touched the basketball. Kai's Ryada, what? Advertisement. This guy, when did you come here? It was so fast. Boring. The basketball bounced off the front of the basket. Kaiza's first shot was a hit, and the white water hall basket was in chaos. Masaki Takato pushed hard against that sushi Murasaka bara. Although the latter pulled away from the penalty area as if watching a show when Kaiza was attacking, he pushed away everyone in the blink of an eye and rushed inside to grab the rebound. But, got it, but not quite. Snap, Yukimiya, who had just caught the ball, didn't even look at Kaiza. He turned around and rushed inside. The moment Murasaka bara grabbed the rebound and landed, he stretched out his hand a little, the basketball flew out. Daisuke Teriyama got the ball and handed it to Kazuma Yukimiya immediately. Quick attack. The transition between offense and defense has always been Shiras Y Hall's advantage because of Yukimiya Kazuma's passing ability. However, from the beginning of the game to now, Ayamine Deiki's success rate has been too high, and Hakuzui Hall has been unable to initiate a fast break. Ryo Hanan and Kazuma took the lead. Kazuma Yumiya gave the ball to him without hesitation, and while passing the ball, he always paid attention to Akashi's position. Because he knows very well that with the opponent's Emperor Eye's ability, leaving space for the opponent to intercept the pass, the opponent's prediction ability will definitely not miss the opportunity. Therefore, the passing route of the fast break must be in a position that even if Akashi Emperor Eye sees it, his physical ability cannot catch up. Because Kaiza's attack just now was closest to Tiako's backcourt at the top of the three-point arc, his pursuit and defense was very good, and he always maintained a just right distance from Hana Yin Liang. Hua Yin Liang glanced behind him. The offensive pressure was huge. Instead of pushing forward, he passed the ball behind him and led Kai's out of the baseline. Advertisement. Then, Kazuma Yukimiya, with Ayamine Deiki hanging on him, caught the pass. In the field of vision under his eyes, the surrounding situation is clearly visible. The next second, take a leap, toot. White number 6, defensive foul. Blue number 5 made two free throws. The whistle sounded in time, and Kazuma Yukimiya, who had no finishing ability, relied solely on attributes for scoring points and had experience in his previous life, breathed a sigh of relief. It was difficult for other teammates to keep up just now. He had no target to distribute the ball in the air. If he reorganized the attack, this precious fast break opportunity would undoubtedly be wasted, so he could only go up by himself. Fortunately, compared to Ayamine, I had planned and fully accumulated my energy. To be honest, this ball was quite dangerous to compete with Ayamine in the air. Yukimiya Kazuma turned around and walked to the free throw line. 
He paused on the way and remembered the core point of Aemine in the early stages of this game. Then he smiled kindly and praised. Good defense. After hearing what Kazuma Yukimiya said, Aemine Deki had a black line on her face. She always felt that this guy's mouth was so broken. It was like this when I was attacking before. The opponent always said words like good shot, nice, good try and the like. His words were strange and a little irritating, but he had no way to vent them. Even his initial conclusion that the other party was provoking him felt a little shaken. Aemine Deki. Perhaps. Does this guy really think he's playing well? But. Why do you say that on the court? Advertisement. Do you think you have no chance to win, so you have no fighting spirit? But looking at the opponent with a group of teammates who were too weak to be interested in him, and still trying their best to attack and defend, there was no sign of weakness. This guy, was indeed very strange. Well, forget it, as long as you can have fun. It's my turn again. I have to wait until the next section. It's rare for me to be interested. Look for opportunities to steal some possessions. Masaka Takato, who was standing in a row with Aemine Deki, preparing to compete for a free throw rebound, was stunned for a moment when he heard the opponent whispering to himself. Masaka Takato, Yukimiya just now, wasn't he deliberately provoking Aemine? Huh, huh. Yukimiya Kazuma made two free throws, and the score was 4-13. Such a score, which fell on Tiako, was actually a bit unusual. Many spectators at the scene who were not disappointed with Tiako's game were surprised. Wow, Tiako is only leading by single digits since the start of the game. And Beishui Hall has already scored four points. Ah, uh, is there anything strange about four points? It's just four points. Of course it's strange. Since the start of the qualifiers, teams under Tiako have only been able to score single-digit scores, but there are so many teams. I feel that at this pace, Hakuzui Hall can score at least 30 points. Not necessarily, these four points were all scored by Kazuma Yukimiya. Under the defensive generation of miracles, it would be too difficult for him to score 30 points by himself. Advertisement. Chapter 041, Senior Suigong, you are so awesome. Advertisement. Tiako's attack. It is still Kai's Riot's main attack round. Yukimiya Kazuma is positioned, always under the spatial awareness of the field of vision, between Aemine Deki and Kai's, and his concentration is very concentrated. Kai's changed directions continuously, and with Hua Yin Liang's ability, it was naturally impossible to stop him. However, when Kai's Riata breaks into the paint, Yukimiya Kazuma stared at Kai's Riata's movements, and his body that had just slowed down suddenly exploded. He climbed to the top of the run at an extremely fast speed, and reached behind Kai's Riata, taking advantage of the momentum to take off. Bang! The sound of the solace of the shoes colliding violently with the arena floor seemed to strike a chord in everyone's hearts. Masaka Takato on the inside was also ready at the same time. After all, Kai's Riata's current movement clearly told him that he was going to hit the basket here. So when Kai's Riata jumped up, Yumiya Kazuma and Takato Masaka took off simultaneously, one behind the other, forming a flanking defense line. But the next second, Takato Masaka's expression suddenly changed. Too high, whether it was Kai's Riata who was attacking the basket in front of him or Yukimiya Kazuma who was coming from behind to defend him, they were all directly above his height. The two people's bodies climbed all the way up, until finally, his eyes could only reflect the chins of Yukimiya and Kai's. Bang, a muffled sound. I have clearly seen the power of Yukimiya's blocking Aemine dunk before, but after Kai's failed to shoot just now, he immediately chose to hit the basket for a dunk. Advertisement. Kai's character comes to mind. The other party probably had the intention of challenging Aemine. That's right. It's Aemine who's challenging, not Snow Palace. Because Aemine failed to dunk above the Snow Palace, if he could succeed in dunking, in a sense, he would have defeated Aemine. A simple and somewhat logical attempt seemed quite meaningful to Kai's. However, I love risk dunk is triggered. Even if Yukimiya's success rate in blocking Kai's slam dunk was considered low, maybe 20%. Then after I love risking slam dunk is triggered, the success rate of violent superimposed block slam dunk is 50%, which is a terrifying 70%, and the success rate is quite high. The basketball flew from between Yumi Yakazuma and Kai's Riata, all the way to Kane Ryo's hands. The audience suddenly became agitated, and bursts of cheers continued to be vented into the stadium from the surrounding auditoriums. So strong. First Aemine, then Kai's. Is this guy going to block everyone in the generation of miracles today? However, these guys from Tiako are really all fighting in their own way. It's incredible to see this kind of fighting style with your own eyes. Right right the key is that they are so messy and can maintain amazing suppression in every game, even stronger than last year. The score of Beishui Pavilion has quietly come up. On the court. Advertisement. Before Kai's Riata could complain in annoyance, Yumi Yakazuma had already shouted. Quick attack. Hua Yin Liang suddenly had a ball in his hand just now. Although he was a little stunned, his reaction was quite fast. The moment Yukimiya shouted and ran this way, Hua Yin Liang passed the ball from hand to hand and handed the ball to Yukimiya Kazuma. The moment he touched the basketball, Yukimiya Kazuma didn't hesitate at all and passed the ball directly with great force. The basketball flew away like a blazing bullet. The team's speed is second only to Yukimiya Kazuma Kashiga Yuji. Although Yukimiya Senpai is already very familiar with the fast break instigated by Yukimiya Senpai, and when Yukimiya Senpai blocks the shot, he has already quietly started running. But when he felt the sound of breaking wind coming from behind him, he was still startled. Based on his playing experience, he could naturally judge how ridiculous the speed of the ball was. Kajiga Yuji threw his head up and ran wildly, running as fast as he could, his legs flying so fast, but it was not at all like Yukimiya Senpai's style of passing the ball quickly, and he was still a step ahead of him. The running body leaned forward, tried hard to reach out, and touched the ball with his hand, but the huge momentum forced Kajiga Yuji to release his strength first, and then took another step to chase, and then he dangerously hit the ball like a cannonball. Pass next. Kazuma Yukimiya definitely didn't want to pass such a dangerous ball, but Akashi's Emperor Eye was always watching, and the passing route of this ball was quite dangerous. Since there was no way to avoid the route and Akashi's distance, he could only pursue speed. Really, Akashi's Emperor Eye predicted Yukimiya's movements. But even though he reacted, the route Kazuma Yukimiya chose was a certain distance away from him, and the ball speed increased. Although Akashi predicted it, it was impossible for his body to catch up. After Kashiga Yuji stumbled after receiving the ball, he caught up with the ball and made a layup. Huh? Scored two points and the score was 6-13. Seeing that he was hit back again, and the comparison with Aemine was too brutal, even Kai's Riata, who has a good personality, looked a little confused. Oh my god, 
Advertisement. The ball was passed like lightning. I didn't even see how the ball went out. It was such a fast pass. If you ask me, the speed of the ball is too fast. If number 8 of Beishui Hall can catch up, it will be very impressive. Yukimi Akezuma was waiting in the backcourt for Kashiga Yuji to come over and give him a high five. His impression of his teammates' habits gradually deepened. For example, the little braised egg running up happily and excitedly in front of him, the first thing he said when he came over must be, Senior Yukimiya, you are so awesome. Yes, this is the kind of words that can cause misunderstanding. Yukimiya Kazuma stroked Kashiga Yuji's small round, thanks to you for being able to catch it, your consciousness is very good, and the speed has become faster. Hey, how can I have any consciousness? When you see the opponent trying to dunk, there is a great chance of a fast break. Isn't it my favorite thing for seniors to block shots and dunk? Kashiga Yuji and Yukimiya Kazuma gave a high five, and then whispered breathlessly, but the ball passed by senior was really too fast. I can't guarantee that I can catch it next time. Do you still want a next time? The opponent is the generation of miracles, and aren't you the fastest player in the Whitewater Hall? Kazuma Yukimiya praised with a smile. Kashiga Yuji's eyes lit up, really? Fake. Go back and practice speed. Look at how embarrassed you are when you catch a pass. Coach Shinsatsuji suddenly shouted from the sidelines. Spring Tour 2. Advertisement. Chapter 042, Akashi Sijiro's style of play is really terrifying? Advertisement. Thanks to Kai's Ryota, the momentum of Shiraswick in middle school is gradually recovering, which makes Yukimiya Kazuma sincerely praise the opponent every time he attacks, which is completely different from Aemine's mentality of defeating the opponent with politeness. Good lever. Eh. Pretty. Quick attack. Ah, what a pity. Well, the jump shot is beautiful, but it's not as good as your slam dunk. Ah, yes, yes. Kai's Ryota went from a sunny and handsome guy with a smile to a face that gradually became gloomy and speechless, but he still maintained his demeanor when he spoke, and even used a nickname, Koyukonomiya, you are so annoying. Yukimiya Kazuma knew that Kai's Ryota had the habit of adding in front of the names of people he recognized when addressing others. Although Yukimiya felt the respect of the other party, he was still amused when he saw the speechless expression on the other party's face. He patted Kai's on the shoulder and said, come on, try to play for two more minutes. Kai's Ryota, really, because of Zioxu Palace, I will be scolded later. Midorima, who has a rigid personality, would not allow Kai's to take up his time. So playing two more minutes is out of the question. Happy times are always short-lived. Advertisement. But this happiness is only compared to Aemine Deki. Even if Kai's Ryota is the weakest miracle, in the round where he mainly attacks, it is not very pleasant for Shiraswicken, at least this is the feeling for Yukimiya Kazuma's teammates. To the end of Kai's Ryota's attack time. On court score, Shiraswicken Middle School vs Tiako Junior High, 619. In fact, based on the 213 established by Aemine, the point difference continued to widen. It's just that at the Whitewater Hall, when Kai's first came up, he took advantage of several successful defensive transitions to score points, so that he wouldn't be left alone with a pitiful two. And Kai's felt that he would be scolded. I am very sure of that. In the two minutes he was on the offensive, Shiraswicken Wicken defended and counterattacked, scoring four points on the fast break, while Kai's Ryota scored six points on his own, and with the help of Yukimiya Kazuma's defense, the shooting rate was the same as Shiraswicken, Wicken, which was not ideal. Then, after Kai's pulled away in humiliation, the super turret, Midorima Shintero, and the ankle destroyer, Akashi Sijuro, both appeared one after another at the end of the first quarter. There are still 15 seconds left before the end of the first quarter. The score between Shiraswicken and Tiako came to 836. That's right, the score difference suddenly skyrocketed to 28 points, of which Midorima Shintero just stood on the center circle and came up to shoot, which contributed most of it. The gap of 28 points clearly shows the strength gap between the two teams at this moment. Although Tiako at this stage has no team play at all and has not reached the upper limit of their full strength, with Generation of Miracles they are far beyond the junior high level. With his ability, he can still easily defeat Beishui Pavilion. In fact, Yukimiya Kazuma knew that the people of Generation of Miracles were far from being at full strength. Advertisement. After Yukimiya and Mami, everyone was breathing heavily. In the same competition time, there is definitely a huge difference in the amount of energy and physical strength required to compete against the strong and the weak. The referee blows the whistle. Just now Kashiga Yuji committed a tactical foul on Akashi, because the cumulative number of fouls has not been reached. At this time, Tiako served a sideline ball, and it was still Akashi Sijuro's offense. The ball was served by Kai's Ryota and was picked up by Akashi Sijuro. Kashiga Yuji quickly prepared for defense. Hana Yin Liang and Teriyama Daisuke also faintly moved closer to this side. Takato Masaki on the inside was tense all over. Except for Yukimiya Kazuma, everyone on the Whitewater Hall side was suddenly in a panic. There is no way. Akashi Sijuro's style of play is really terrifying. Kashiga Yuji took the lead to greet him. Seeing this, Hana Yin Liang and Teriyama Daisuke quickly took a step sideways. In the bottom of their hearts, they had already foreseen the outcome of Kashiga Yuji. Really, Akashi Sijuro stared with a pair of rather empty eyes, and his strange colored pupils flashed. Hateful. Kashiga Yuji immediately staggered back two steps and sat down on the ground. At this time, Hana Yin Liang, Teriyama Daisuke, and Takato Masaki, regardless of the number of assisting defenders arranged before the game, did not exceed three, and they surrounded and suppressed them one after another. Akashi's breakthrough movement suddenly stopped, and after taking a step back, snap, snap, as the rhythm of the crotch changes, if anyone can link the same field of vision with Akashi, they will find that the world in front of Akashi's eyes suddenly turns into black and white. Advertisement. A useless struggle. Bang, Ryokane and Daisuke Teriyama, who were the first to assist in defense, were knocked to the ground at the same time as Akashi spoke. It was the first time for the audience to see Akashi attacking with such full power. The stadium was completely silent, and everyone was stunned at the scene that happened in front of them. Akashi strolled through the Hakuzuikan defense line, and then faced Masaka Takato's defense on the inside. 170 vs 190, the height contrast is strong, which also makes the visual impact even stronger. Facing Masaka Takato's efforts to block the shot, Akashi Sijuro turned around and passed it cleanly with a cold expression. Masaka Takato, hateful? It was actually a fake shot? At this time, in front of Akashi Sijuro was an undefended enemy formation, and behind him were the Shiraswicken players in a mess. Easy layout. But, even after reaching this point, he still felt quite bad. 
because Yukimi Akazuma had no intention of coming to help and was still standing there, confronting Aemine Deki in the void. This person obviously didn't do anything in particular, but he could stir up his emotions for no reason. It was probably because the opponent's skills were exactly the same as the other guy hidden in his heart, which seemed to be a reflection of his soul, which made him very unhappy. This reminded Akashi Sijiro of the animal he hated the most. That disobedient dog when he was young. Advertisement. Chapter 043, in the second quarter, the rookie ace's battle cry starts. Advertisement. Pa. Pada. Pa. Pada. The sound of the basketball landing was accompanied by the whistle that ended the first quarter. Masaka Takato's pupils shrank, and when he looked back, Akashi Sijiro had already completed a layup, and he was still raising his hands high to block the shot. He was completely deceived by a fake move, like a clown. Team leader. Tao. Thank you for your hard work, senior. On the Tiako side, after Akashi and others left the court, the members of the basketball team were restrained but could not hide their excitement while doing logistical work. On the other hand, on the Shiraswicken side, everyone on the bench stood there with dull eyes. 838. Shiraswicken Middle School played against Tiako Junior High and suffered a huge defeat in the first quarter. Bang bang bang. On the bench, the first person to come to his senses was Shinsuke Irijimoto. He clapped his hands hard and said, Don't worry, everyone, we, we will go on next, next. As a substitute among the substitutes who could not even enter the substitute lineup, first year Shinsuke Irijimoto tried hard to say something, but his clenched fists, eyes moistened unconsciously, and he was also shocked and uncomfortable, and the words came to his lips. I keep getting stuck, and I just can't say anything. Hello, Irijimoto. Towel. The tall figure walking from the stadium patted Shinsuke Irijimoto on the shoulder. The latter was shocked and subconsciously replied loudly, It's the captain. Advertisement. Masaka Takato, huh? Gudong? Gudong? Kajiga Yuji's legs were weak, he held the water bottle in both hands and poured it into his stomach. Normally, it was not good for a player to do this, but under the dual consumption of physical strength and energy, he couldn't care so much. He used to talk a lot, but now he didn't say a word. He just kept thinking when he looked at Yumi Yakazuma. When Yukami Senpai was attacking, the entire audience was fighting against a monster like Akashi. It's really amazing. Thank you for your hard work. Yumi Yakazuma noticed Kajiga Yuji's gaze and said while replenishing water and holding his shoulders. No, senior is. Yukimi Akazuma shook his head in disbelief. As far as the defense against Generation of Miracles in this quarter is concerned, except for Atsushi Murasakibara who may have been robbed of attack time by Aemine and was too lazy to participate in the attack. The ones that are most difficult to guard against and consume most of your energy are probably Midorima and Akashi. If he were to defend himself, facing Midorima, the opponent's shooting range would cover half of the court. The height of the shot and the exaggerated arc would make the opponent have to lead the defense from far away every time he holds the ball until he enters the half-court range. The highly concentrated spirit cannot be relaxed even a little bit. Every time you prepare for a shot, you have to do your best to take off and block the shot. Once you make a mistake in judgment and are deceived by a fake move, everything will be in vain. Facing Akashi, with his understanding of ball control as a pass control master, he can circumvent the power of Emperor Eye to a certain extent just like he does when controlling the ball. However, high concentration and frequent adjustments of movements under the threat of Emperor Eye also require a lot of physical and mental energy, so he had to leave this part to his teammates. Thank you for your hard work. Yukimi Akazuma was definitely not a polite person. Both sides paused for a rest. Coach Tiako did not lay out tactics. After being sidelined by Akashi, he had no right and no need at all. Although at the beginning, he was indeed surprised by the opponent's number 5 Kazuma Yukimiya. Advertisement. Good defense. But the other party seemed to pay special attention to Aemine. Even when he was pulling away, he was pressing every step of the way. Coach Tiako looked at Aemine's statistics. In the first quarter, except for 13 points during the main attack, there was no second defense score and only one foul. This is enough to show Yukimiya's intensity in marking Aemine without the ball. And the help defense is also very strong, at least it has a great effect on Kai's Raida. In terms of offense, we are limited by the opponent's style of play, and the opponent is always faced with the defense of Akashi on the outside and Murasakabara on the inside, so we can't see the full picture. However, judging from the ball control that can withstand Akashi Emperor I, he should be the type that is good at breakthroughs. The whole thing might be stronger than Kai's, but that's just it. After seeing too many changes in Akashi and others, even he had to admit that with Yujimi Yakazuma's physical ability, if the evolution of the style of play could be more selfish, perhaps the deterrence would be greater. As for the other members of the Beishuogun team, there is no need to mention them. The second quarter started quickly. No idea what deal Aemine Deki and Atsushi Murasakabara made. At first, it was Murasakabara's turn to attack according to the rotation, but after the attack on Shiras Y Hall failed, Murasakabara grabbed the rebound and handed the ball to Aemine indifferently. Tiako's offensive in the second quarter was the same as in the first quarter, still started by Aemine Deki. Yumi Yakazuma frowned. He knew that the key to determining whether he could get the badge in this game and whether his strength could transform was now. Then he got very energetic. Come on, Yukinomi Yakazuma. Second round. Along with Aemine Deki's words, Yuki Miyakazuma could feel the momentum gradually rising from the other party. A beast-like aura faintly overflowed from Aemine Deki, Suigong clearly noticed the changes in the other party, he quietly gestured behind him, advertisement. Really. The next second, Aemine's figure flashed out like a panther. Kazuma Yukimiya retreated quickly, but was still overtaken by Aemine at the corner. However, after receiving Yukimiya's signal in advance, Kane Liang and Daisuke Teriyama thought of the instructions Yukimiya gave on the bench and immediately made a left move. One right, intercepted Aemine's rapid advance, and between them, Aemine could also see Masaka Takato who was ready on the inside. Aemine. Aemine's eyes flashed. The body suddenly leaned back sharply. Seeing this scene, Yukimiya Kazuma's eyes lit up. The wait is here. This is it. In Aemine Deki's formless shot, there is one move that has not been used in this game from beginning to end. Yukimiya Kazuma pounces on it, and he pounces more decisively than before. From the first moment he took off to block the shot, Yukimiya Kazuma's goal was locked in advance behind Aemine, almost at waist level. Aemine leaned back farther and farther, but she was shocked to find that Kazuma Yukinomiya had been following her. This guy actually jumped forward. 
Did you predict your own actions? Rub, Yumi Yakazuma. Bumped into, ah, the moment it hit the ground, when it was confirmed that the ball was knocked out of the basket, Yuki Miyakazuma immediately raised his arms and roared. Rookie Ace's battle cry, Green LV2 after completing a successful defense, let out a morale-boosting roar, which can effectively increase the shooting percentage of teammates on the field by 15% and slightly restore the physical strength of teammates on the field. Limited to once per game, each time lasting 5 rounds. Launch, Advertisement. Chapter 044, Aamine Deki 1v1 Yuki Miyakazuma, Advertisement. On the court, the players of the Whitewater Hall listened to Yuki Miyakazuma's roar in their ears. Everyone seemed to be infected. Then, the familiar blood surge came again. On the other side, Aamine Deki was yelled at by Yuki Miyakazuma and immediately came to her senses. Very good, that's it, that's what makes it fun. Yuki Miyakazuma, much more capable than I expected. After Yuki Miya roared, he immediately returned to his normal state when he met Aamine Deki's burning eyes. Call. He defended the next ball from the start and successfully inspired the battle cry. It seems, luck is also on his side. 12 points. I don't know if Aamine will score another 4 minutes in this quarter, but he must limit his scoring to less than 12 points during this period. Shireswick in middle school's offense is still constipated, but there is nothing that can be done against the level of defense of the generation of miracles. Soon, Aamine Deki attacks again. Yuki Miyakazuma worked hard to defend Aamine's dribbling while mobilizing his teammates. By activating the battle cry of the rookie ace, what Yuki Miya wants is not the 15% shooting percentage bonus in the 5 rounds, but the physical recovery of his teammates. Aamine's running ability and the help of his teammates in defense also require a lot of energy. Physical strength. Pa, pa, advertisement. Pa, dribbling at super high speed and shaking continuously, Yuki Miyakazuma's eyes widened. With the ability of the master of pass and control, he tried his best to sense the opponent's dribbling, and his body swayed with the opponent's disguised shaking. It looked shaky and could be broken through at any time, but even if it persisted for a long time, it actually seemed like it was going back and forth with Aamine in a short period of time. However, after all, Master of Pass Control is not a specialized defensive badge. On the defensive end, although with a deep understanding of ball control, he can dismantle the opponent's ball control to a certain extent and provide great help, but whether he can react in time and keep up is another matter entirely. So, pa, 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 Aamine's even more exaggerated and continuous tricks to pull the ball down. Yuki Miyakazuma was shaken and his movements were slowed down for a moment. Aamine kicked off the ground and started to speed up. In an instant, he had escaped from the Snow Palace, attacked the inside line. Ryo Hanan and Daisuke Teriyama came up from both sides to help delay Aamine's attack time. This is a very important part. Aamine takes longer to attack each round, and the number of points scored during his attack rounds will naturally decrease. 3s. Maybe shorter? Aamine passes through another defensive formation. Masaka Takato is ready to protect the basket? Head-to-head -head confrontation. Advertisement. Aamine flew up and crossed a long distance in the air. Masaka Takato raised his long arm, but Aamine used a light lever to dodge it. Even when he finally took the shot, he used an outrageous throw to skim the ball in, along with Yukamiya's defensive block. Got the basket? Huh? A set of movements flows smoothly. Whoa, wow, so strong. Can we enter like this? In the Tokyo Second Gymnasium, today we witnessed the all-out attacks of the generation of miracles that were different from the past. All the spectators repeatedly exclaimed that it was incredible. Aamine showed no expression after landing, but after turning around, he came directly in front of Yuki Miyakazuma, followed by making a waist-deep defensive movement. Yumi Yakazuma. It's Aamine who's here to defend? That's great. Hmm. The sudden unexpected joy made Yuki Miyakazuma couldn't hold back and spoke out what was on his mind. After realizing this, Yuki Miya shut up decisively. When he turned around, Aamine Deki's face turned even darker. No way. No wonder Yuki Miyakazuma was excited. Akashi Emperor I's defensive pressure is really too great. He clearly has a master of passing and controlling, but he is completely unable to use his most powerful passing and controlling skills. He is in a state of tightness that makes him vigilant every minute and every second. I feel uncomfortable all over. Now if I switch to Aamine, although I still lack the finishing ability, I can at least pass the attack in terms of luck control. The game continues. Yuki Miya and Makoto received Kashiga Yuji's serve, and Aamine Deki led the defense directly from the backcourt. Pa, 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 Yukamiya's continuous crotch disguise, super high ball control attributes, and the pass control master who can perfectly control this attribute make his dribbling at this moment terrifyingly fast. Advertisement. Aamine Deki on the opposite side watched Kazuma Yukamiya's movements. The eyes also overflowed with excitement at the same time. So fast? Because of Akashi. In fact, in the first quarter, he wanted to have a 1v1 attack and defense with the opponent? Really? He was not disappointed. Akashi, this guy is very talkative today. The crisp ball control and Aamine Deki's style are completely opposite, but in terms of the smoothness of the connection of movements, they are similar. Breakthrough smoothly, Aamine's eyes condensed, and the beastly aura in his body became more solid. He suddenly pulled back with Yukino Miya, and after forcing the opponent to stop, he came to Yukimiya Kazuma again. However, Yukimiya Kazuma has also successfully advanced to Tiakoa's half at this moment. Compared to the first quarter when he was forced to stick his butt out and arch, he is much more comfortable now. Yukimiya glanced behind Aamine. He already knew Akashi's intentions for switching Aamine to defend him in the second quarter. A pick and roll was called. Masaka Takato came up from the inside. With Kazuma Yukimiya's vision ability, he used this pick and roll perfectly, both in terms of timing and positioning. Turning around, Yukimiya Kazuma wiped the front of Masaka Takato's body, and at the same time hung Aamine on Masaka Takato's body. However, Aamine is not a vegetarian. If he can be dealt with by a pick and roll, then he is no longer Aamine. Almost the moment he hangs on Masaka Takato, he turns around and leaves Masaka Takato behind. Seeing this, Yuki Miyakazuma turned his head and looked at Takato Masaki. This was a fake action in sight. Sure enough, Aamine was a moment slow when he wanted to defend in front of Yuki Miya. He was hesitating whether the opponent would pass the ball to Masaka Takato, but this time, Kazuma Yuki Miya did not pass the ball. Because Akashi came up in the second quarter, there was no Yuki Miya who was mainly defending the point guard. The reason was here. 
He broke away from Yukimiya's marking and used Emperor Ai's prediction ability to block Yukimiya with a larger space for movement. Gong's pass, Akashi Sijiro. We must completely block Yukimiya Kezuma's abilities. Advertisement. Chapter 045, Aemine, I will give you a defeat that will be remembered in your heart. Advertisement. Aemine Daiki's movement was delayed for a moment, but it was enough to have such a gap. Cha, Yuki Gong exerts force on the front of his foot, steps back from the side, and shoots. Aemine was as agile as a panther, following up in an instant, but due to a series of previous actions, Yukimiya's shot had already been made. However, after seeing Kazuma Yukimiya's step back jumper, Aemine raised an eyebrow slightly. Strangeness. Yukimiya Kazuma's attack. Compared to his level of luck control, ordinary is too much. Call out. Aemine's palm came in front of Yukimiya Kazuma's hand, easily disturbing a large area. Boring. Jump shot out of the basket. Yukimiya Kazuma. Hateful. Although a little reluctant, it is actually not surprising. In the relationship between attributes and badges, Swagong has already figured it out. This is the case without the ability to finish. The finishing ability that Yukimiya refers to does not refer to his attributes such as layups, dunks, mid-range shots, and three-pointers, which average over 80%, but to things like a pass and control master, similar to skills, style, and experience. None of these. Advertisement. In terms of pure attributes, the investment is accurate and the deduction is obtained. Facing an average defense, he is naturally powerful. But once encountering a fierce high-level defense with similar or even higher physical abilities, without the corresponding level of technical support, Yukimiya Kazuma's current finishing attributes are like a toothless beast, roaring but difficult to output. Just like the ball just now. In terms of Aemine Daiki's perception, when Yukimiya and Jen finished dribbling, whether it was what they saw with their eyes or the wild intuitive feeling, from the ball joining action to the step back to connect with the shot, compared to Yukimiya's ball control generally speaking, the threat level suddenly dropped by two levels. To this, Aemine Daiki's brows gradually wrinkled. I am disappointed. In the second quarter, when the time was approaching four minutes, Aemine Daiki stood in front of Yukimiya with the ball, and his expression returned to the indifference he had before the start of the game. Too weak. The only thing worthy of praise is dribbling. Even defense, which first attracted my interest, was just relying on my teammates. As Aemine Daiki spoke, the basketball in her hand seemed to be spinning out of control. Yukimiya Kazuma looked completely indifferent to Aemine's ridicule, but the hidden emotions in his eyes were clearly cautious and excited. Aemine's score in the second quarter was 10 points. During the period just now, Yukimiya dribbled the ball with all his strength during the offense and played the full offensive time. During the defense, he relied on his teammates to build multiple lines of defense, successfully holding back Aemine Daiki's score. The strongest one is undoubtedly me, but I didn't expect that I didn't even have an opponent I could beat. Boring. Yukimiya Kazuma was still focused. However, advertisement. Aemine Daiki just stood there indifferently. He took some luck on the spot, and then suddenly threw the ball with one hand. Boom, the ball bounced around the edge of the basket and finally hit the basket. 12 points, plus 13 points in the first quarter, just on the edge of the task. When Aemine Daiki turned around and left, no longer guarding Yukimiya, Yukimiya knew that Aemine Daiki's round was finally over in the second quarter. Hello, Yukimiya, who was sitting there with his hands on his hips and breathed a sigh of relief, looked at Aemine's back and suddenly called him. His tone changed from his previous kindness to Aemine, and he no longer remembered how to use kindness to defeat his opponent. He simply stopped pretending that the planned plan was completed. Aemine, the second half. I will give you a defeat that will be remembered in your heart. Aemine Daiki paused for a moment, stop talking nonsense, you and I are not at the same level at all. The only one who can beat me is myself. Yukimiya Kazuma, oh, let's wait and see. Aemine turned around and took a deep look at him. Okay, let's wait and see. The second half of the second quarter was exactly the same as the first quarter. Kai still felt uncomfortable being defended by Yukimiya, and Midorima fired continuously. The only difference was that Atsushi Murasakabara came out and blasted away wildly in the last two minutes. Facing this giant beast, no one inside the Beishui Pavilion can stop it. The score came to 16 68. A desperate margin. Advertisement. After halftime, the second half of the match between Shiraswicken and Tiako begins. As soon as he came out of the locker room, Tiako, especially Aemine Daiki, immediately noticed Yuji Miyakazuma's completely different state. He saw that his head was covered with a towel, and under the snow-colored hair pressed by the towel, those eyes, confident and ready to go. Call. Yuki Miyakazuma exhaled and jumped up and down before going on stage. After appearing on the stage, I met Aemine Daiki directly. In the comic world of black basketball, Aemine Daiki is undoubtedly the one who has the deepest impression in his heart and has the strongest fan filter. As an opponent in such a field, it's really exciting. In particular, looking at the system, the single defense and physical energy attribute bars were stretched to full, even to the point where the numbers at the end were blurry and unclear. Yuki Miyakazuma couldn't help but smile. Spider dance, consumption type blew the unique talent of feeling airflow and vibration, coupled with the highly concentrated super reaction of the nervous system, can defend the opponent's attack with the dance of spider steps, and the single defense ability has been improved to an epic level. The target you are defending cannot score in front of you. During the duration, your single defense and physical fitness will be raised to the peak for four minutes. Yukimiya, hey, Aemine, huh. Aemine glanced at Shuegong, her interest was obviously dispelled in the second quarter, but after seeing the confident look in the other person's eyes, she suddenly raised her voice, huh, you were beaten so badly, I don't know what you are excited about. Shuegong raised an eyebrow when he heard this, I can't wait to see your dirty face later. Aemine, Aemine, I hope your greatest strength is not just your mouth. You are as helpless as you were in the first half. Yukimiya, I hope you won't make excuses for not waking up, not training well, or getting rusty. When Kai's Ryota passed by the two of them, he quietly glanced at Yukimiya Kazuma and thought that Yukimiya Kazuma seemed to be what Midorima said, with a somewhat bad personality. When you said things like good ball and nice entry on the court before, you were really just mocking people, right? Advertisement. Chapter 046, The Dance of Spider Steps, Have You Seen the Door of Hell Closing? Advertisement. The second half of the game began, and with warm cheers, the eyes of all the spectators were focused on two people, Aemine Daiki and Yukimiya Kazuma. This has been the tone since the beginning of this game. At the beginning of every quarter, it is a duel between these two people. Although Yukimiya Kazuma was at an absolute disadvantage in the situation, everyone couldn't help 
but applaud him when they saw that he was still resolute and tried every means to defend. At this time, on the court, Yukimiya Kazuma felt relaxed and strong all over. The infusion of defensive abilities that were currently far beyond his reach made him feel a completely different new world that he could reach as a player. In addition to the defensive spider dance brought by the spider dance badge, what Yumiya Kazuma cares about more is actually the sudden increase in single defense and physical fitness. This situation is just like when you first got the pass control master. 96 ball control and 93 passing. It is obviously the standard attribute of wearing the pass control master, so the system has upgraded it as a benefit. As for the spider dance, as a one-time badge, although the improved attributes are temporary, the principle must be the same as that of the transmission control master. However, he couldn't see clearly the numbers behind the temporarily improved attribute bar. This situation, if you study it carefully, it is quite meaningful. The system prevents him from seeing the specific peak number. Does this mean that the full point of the attribute value is not 100? Otherwise why is it all blurry? Getting distracted in front of me, the fighting spirit in Aemine Daiki's eyes gradually burned. Tiako had the ball at the beginning of the second half. At this time, he had dribbled closer, but when he looked up, he saw a distracted Yukimiya Kazuma. Advertisement. No, distracted? This is called being at ease. After all, just looking at attributes now, even I don't know how strong my defense is. Come on. Yumiya Kazuma lowered his waist, reached forward with one hand, and waved to Aemine, a friendly reminder before you attack, now I am here. But the gate of hell is closed. In fact, there is no need for Yukimiya Kazuma to tell him, Aemine's wildness can also sense the changes in the other party. Immediately. Extremely fast dribbling attack. However, Yukimiya Kazuma used incredibly fast reactions and weird steps with a very low center of gravity to suddenly intercept Aemine Daiki? Aemine. Facing Yukimiya's defense, Aemine's eyes narrowed slightly, and the dribbling in her hands gradually became wild. Her seemingly unstructured and outrageous moves became more and more exaggerated. Pa, pa, pa. Fancy, changeable, unpredictable. Aemine Daiki showed his unique talent in ultra-high-speed dribbling, like a dancer who opened and closed. Everyone who saw his movements were shocked by his smooth and rough posture, but make life difficult for Sui Gong, who was in a defensive position, easily entered a state of ultra-high concentration, and his whole body was as quiet as a poisonous spider waiting for food. Advertisement. The action of lowering the waist more than before brought about faster defensive movements and beautiful defensive steps, as if they were dancing rhythmically in conjunction with Aemine's dribbling. Concentrated. Keep concentrating. Yumi Yakazuma. It is indeed an epic level improved single defense ability, and I am true to what the badge says. Under the spider dance, Yumi Yakazuma gradually felt the unique airflow and vibration described in the badge, and the overspeed reaction of the nerves also gradually adapted to, and even surpassed Aemine's dazzling fancy movements. The excitement accumulated in my heart was completely hidden under the influence of the badge, leaving only the dilated pupils in my eyes, which were so dark that they seemed to fill up my eye sockets. Aemine. Aren't you coming over yet? I can't wait. Yukimi Akazuma's tone and cold texture are almost the same as the previous Aemine Daiki. Don't be too arrogant, Snow Palace. Aemine's natural talent for emergency stops was completely released at this moment. The front of his body changed into a sudden stop for a backward breakthrough, causing his speed to suddenly drop from the peak to the freezing point. Can I stop it? Stop me, don't say such nonsense again. Continuous fancy ball pulls? Get up? The speed suddenly increased from zero to max. Open your arms horizontally to the right side of Yukimiya Kazuma and accelerate your breakthrough. However, this time, Yukimiya Kazuma didn't take any of his extremely fast and responsive lateral steps. He just maintained a defensive posture, without even turning his head, and suddenly waved his left hand. Snap. A crisp sound caused Aemine Daiki's swift movements to stop abruptly. Advertisement. During the emergency stop, the wind that swept towards Yukinomi Yakazuma gently blew the snow-colored hair in front of his eyes, and the basketball that was supposed to be in Aemine's hand and was on the way to make a breakthrough suddenly appeared in the snow. Gong Hejin's hands? Ah. Uh, real or fake? Aemine Daiki was intercepted while dribbling a breakthrough. This. How did you do it? He doesn't seem to have any special moves. I was clearly struggling with Aemine's dribbling just now. Although the defense was indeed very good, why did he suddenly, just stand there, touch it casually, and snatch it away? Aemine Daiki turned around suddenly, this feeling of anticipation. Emperor I? No, no. What was it just now? Yukimiya Kazuma held the ball with one hand, with barely enough distance between his fingers. He straightened up and saw the confusion in Aemine's eyes. Ah, it's the airflow and vibration you feel in advance. But... He didn't have the habit of explaining his skills to his opponents, and besides, it was only temporary. It's just the inertia of this game that I can't stop talking about. Have you seen the door of hell closing? Advertisement. Chapter 047, Aemine is defeated one after another in attacks. Advertisement. Aemine ignored Yukimiya's reluctant words, but as she turned around and returned to defense, the momentum around her body increased again and again. Faintly, Yukimiya and Jen could see the outline of the Black Panther around her body. It's not an illusion. You can really see it. Yukimiya Kazuma pushed the ball to the top of Tiako's three-point arc. After doing a few simple actions, he found that the badge ability was indeed extremely rigorous. As soon as it came to the offensive end, the ability of the spider dance badge, whether it was the sensory response that Yukimiya summarized as spider sense, or the movement of the step dance, suddenly lost its effectiveness. Looking at Aemine Deki with her arms naturally placed on both sides, fully devoted to defense, with the phantom of the Black Panther flickering behind her, Yukimiya Kazuma suddenly started to honestly do his duty again. When dribbling, he was quite cautious. Pa, pa, Yuki Gong did not call for a pick and roll, but suddenly accelerated and dribbled the ball quickly. Aemine followed up and completely followed Yuki Gong's movements. Follow along, withdraw, cross step. Yukimiya's textbook-like control of luck and the connection of his technical movements are quite beautiful. Aemine Daiki's eyes narrowed and her body followed Yukimiya's movements closely. Suddenly, Aemine kicked off the ground and chased Yukimiya's hip-turning step at high speed. Then, in a special moment captured by Yukigia, she suddenly appeared in front of Yukigia. The two almost collided with each other and were frightened at the same time. One jump. Eye contact. Aemine and Yukinomiya were stunned for a moment. After a few seconds, the final means of Yukimiya's offense in this round came from Yukimiya Kazuma's imitation of Tracy McGrady's pull-up jump shot in his memory. Boring. The attack failed. Advertisement. Aemine. That's it. 
He thought that in this round, the opponent's offense would be the same as his defense, bringing him a different surprise. However, he did not expect that compared with the completely different defensive strength from the beginning, the offense would still be the same. This made Aemine, who had just suffered a setback in attack and was trying to get back through defense, feeling like her power was nowhere to be used. Well, never mind. He probably really isn't good at scoring skills. Tiako's offensive turn. After once again using his super spider sense to block Aemine Deki's formless shot, Aemine asked for the ball on the sideline. Atsushi Murasakibara looked unhappy, but looking at Aemine who was smiling more and more, he went over to help him pass the ball, thinking at the same time that it was just because Aemine promised a whole box of delicious bars. Courtside. It was Satsuki Mamwa who looked surprised. Adie. It's rare to be so happy. Satsuki Mamwa placed an asterisk on the name Yukimiya Kazuma. On the side, Kuroko Tetsuya, who had an incomprehensible expression, looked at Kazuma Yukinomiya in surprise. No one knew better than him how terrifying Aemine Deki's strength was. Even if it was just for defense, he thought in disbelief. Yukigonkun is actually so strong. It's very strong. Yukimiya bastard. The steaming momentum in Aemine Deki's words was overwhelming. Others may not be able to see it, but in Yukimiya's eyes, the momentum condenses into a ball, and the black smoke curls like embers, all falling on Yukimiya Kazuma, causing pressure on him. Auditorium. Advertisement. The audience's eyes widened instantly. Ah. Uh, from now on, in the round where Aemine attacks and Yukimiya defends, the two of them have shown abilities that are far beyond ordinary people. I originally thought that would be the limit. I didn't expect it could go further. Aemine speed? Too fast? What's even more incredible is that Yukimiya Kazuma's defense is as invisible as the bottom of an abyss, even if the opponent's speed suddenly increases again. He can also use the kind of defense that leans forward slightly, like a sumo wrestling preparation, to completely intercept Aemine Deki, whether it is an exaggerated dribbling or an extremely willful shot. There was obviously no significant increase in speed, but it was as if he had understood the opponent's movements in advance. It's really fast enough. But you can't hit me. Aemine snorted coldly. She had already understood that it was useless to talk back to this guy Swamiya. She could only shut him up with practical actions. Fancy reverse jump step. Pull the ball in disguise. Fall. Half turn. In out. Yukimiya Kazuma. Felt it. Aemine's next step in super fast dribbling. Tisk. Yukimiya Kazuma suddenly stretched out his hand. Cha. Advertisement. He successfully touched the ball. However, in the next moment, Aemine Deki's eyes suddenly lit up. The phantom of the Black Panther behind him roared violently, choosing to devour anyone. The sound of fierce friction between the sneakers under his feet and the floor followed. Aemine Deki's movement, perceived by Kazuma Yukimiya, was completely unreasonable and abruptly reversed the trajectory of the ball. As a result, Yukimiya finally only touched it a little with his fingertips, and the ball floated slightly to the far end, and then he was immediately regained control by Aemine. Even. He also took advantage of the situation and made a sideways pass. Yukimiya Kazuma. Too exaggerated? How could he be so wild and so wild? Impossible, the gift of agility? If this is the case, under the prejudgment of the spider sense, if my height and wingspan can only touch it a little, wouldn't it be possible to completely avoid Akashi Emperor Ice Steel? No wonder this guy hangs out with several generations of miracles every day and dares to say, the only one who can defeat me is myself. What a monster? After Yukimiya Kazuma realized this, he immediately stopped insisting on using the spider sense to steal. After all, it was too uncertain to only touch a little. If the opponent sneaks past and beats him up, the entire effort will be in vain. So next, he only relies on his spider sense and step dance to block the opponent's breakthrough route and finishing method. Because of his ability to sense airflow and vibration, coupled with the highly concentrated super strong reflexes of spider nerves, Yumiya Kazuma can keenly sense Aemine's movements and respond to them in advance of his timing. Aemine noticed the adjustment of the opponent's defensive strategy, but what concerned him the most was the opponent's follow-up movements in advance. Some kind of prediction ability similar to Emperor I? What a hassle. If that's the case, then what about this? Aemine's speed exploded in an instant. There was no shaking movement at all, and she just relied on speed to linearly eat raw inside the Whitewater Hall. However, toot, white no six. Offensive foul, Whitewater Hall has the ball. As the whistle blew, Aemine sighed inwardly as he looked at Yukimiya, who had moved ahead of him, blocked his attack path, and then collapsed at the first touch. This guy reacts so quickly. Advertisement. Chapter 048, congratulations, you have won again, the invincible Tiako. Advertisement. All the spectators in the surrounding stands followed the two figures on the field, one green and one white, entangled with each other. As soon as the second half started, a lot of time had passed, but Yukimiya never allowed Aemine to break through, and Aemine Deki has not been able to score yet. This weird situation continued until the third quarter when Aemine's offensive rotation was about to end. From Yukimiya Kazuma's side, Aemine, who was tit for tat with Akashi and didn't know what he was saying, frowned and stared, and the frequency and tone of his mouth should be quite exciting. Kai's Ryota on the side also looked surprised. And indeed it is. Yukimiya thought. Anyone who sees Aemine's current expression of excitement, ferocity, and evil will definitely be surprised. Finally, Aemine, who had run out of attack rotation time, compromised, and Kazuma Yukimiya breathed a sigh of relief, because almost at the same time, the effective time of the first spider dance also ended. Soon, Kai's, Midorima, Akashi. Attacks took turns in the next six minutes of the third quarter. By the end of the third quarter, the score was 24 colon 86. Thanks to Snow Palace's complete blockade of Aemine within four minutes, the point difference increase in the entire third quarter was much smaller than the two quarters in the first half. There is no need to explain the effect of Spider Dance. In the description of the badge, a simple and straightforward sentence, single defense targets cannot score in front of you is enough to explain its power. The fourth quarter comes up. Aemine still did not give up. He did not score a point in the previous quarter and did not shorten his attack time in the fourth quarter. Yukimiya was secretly expecting that Aemine was suppressed by Akashi and did not appear. 
Perhaps, for Akashi, Aemine is also the special one. Otherwise, just follow Akashi's approach in Rakuzen. Akashi should have given up at this point. But even so, it was of no use. As soon as the second spider dance started, the story of the third quarter was basically repeated. Aemine, who got a new round of offensive opportunities, still failed to score a point in the full four minutes of the fourth quarter. Advertisement. Correspondingly, Beishui Hall did not see any hope of bringing the score closer. After Aemine's attack time ended, Yukimiya Kazuma was pulled aside, and the stalemate point difference was widened by other miracles. However, without Aemine's points, the point difference was reduced. Huh. Yukimiya stood in the half-court of the Whitewater Pavilion, exhaled gently, looked at the countdown on the scorer, thinking that this was their last defense of the game. Probably to make up for Mura Sakabara's offensive time, Akashi, who scored more than 20 points early, gave up his own time to Mura Sakabara in the last quarter. Bang, bang, bang. Amidst the dull sound of muscles colliding violently, the monster is coming. Mura Sakabara was surrounded by three people for defense. His huge figure stood out extremely clearly among the three people. From a distance, the scene looked like a scene of hyenas rounding up a lion and being killed. Even, it may not be as strong as a hyena. Stomping heavily on the floor, Mura Sakabara carried three defensive players and rushed into the paint, heading straight for the basket. And on the other side, from the start of Atsushi Mura Sakabara's run-up, Kazuma Yukimiya focused all his attention on the basketball in his hand. When the opponent stood up from the ground, under the influence of the I Love Risk Dunk badge, Kazuma Yukimiya it felt as if the trajectory of the dunk slowed down. He seemed to be able to see even the lines on the basketball. In the last defense, after confirming that he was assisting in defense and that even if Aemine was left empty, the latter would not have any time to attack again, Yukimiya immediately blocked Mura Sakabara with all his strength. Then, just like a microcosm of this game, Yukimiya touched the ball, but was invaded by the huge momentum. Even though I Love Dunking increased the success rate of blocking shots by 50%, it was still dunked by Mura Sakabara. Snapped. Snap. 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 The basketball fell on Mura Sakabara and rolled forward until it finally stopped at the feet of Kazuma Yukimiya. Like the expressions of everyone in the Whitewater Hall, they were frozen on the court. Toot. Advertisement. The final whistle sounded, announcing the defeat of the first game of the semi-final round robin tournament of Shiriswick in middle school. Beishui Hall only relied on Yukagong's successful defense to launch a fast break, and the low probability second pass rate of the pass and control master under the suppression of Emperor I throughout the game, and scored in the early 30s. The other side, Tiako easily took the victory away from them by relying on his unique skills throughout the game. Yukimiya Kazuma stood up with his hands on his hands. When he raised his head, the incandescent light above his head was dazzling. How to say it? Although he was ready to accept defeat from the beginning of the match with Tiako, after all, the gap in strength between them and the generation of miracles was not even a little bit different. So even if you lose, it is the result of following common sense. But, after all, I was still unwilling to give in. Yeshu, form the team. After raising his head and remaining silent for a moment, Yumi Yakazuma quickly regained his composure, wiped the unstoppable sweat from his forehead, and spoke to everyone. However, he did not get a response from everyone. Looking back, behind Yumi Yakazuma, everyone in the Whitewater Hall was a little distracted, and it was obvious that they still could not accept the tragic defeat of Whitewater High School. Yukimi Yakazuma, the self-awareness stated before every game is so clear. Result, they all want to win Tiako, really. After a while, Masaka Takato was the first to come to his senses. He tried to cheer up, clapped his hands and said, Okay, pay attention to your expression. We have achieved the best results this year and entered the top four in Tokyo. There is still a battle waiting for us later. Dear everyone, this summer is far from over yet. Well, I hate it. Hua Yin Liang took a deep breath. When the exhaust air was exhaled, the vibration in his throat made him tense the muscles of his shoulders and neck. Haruai, Zhao Shan, don't affect the rest of the game. Advertisement. Yes. Sorry, senior. Kajika Yuji also patted his cheeks, trying to show his usual smile, okay, okay, seniors, Daisuki, please control your expression, it's time for us to shake hands, don't embarrass yourself in front of Tiako, both sides form teams, salute, thanks for the advice, in the middle circle, when shaking hands with each other, Aemine Daiki stretched out his hand calmly, hey, are you okay, Yukimiya Kazuma shook hands with the other party, the ability of spider dance is very strong, but the price is excessive physical strength. He endured the feeling of weakness coming from his feet and joked, Huh? You can see this too? No. There will also be an emperor I, right? Aemine said speechlessly, I don't have that kind of thing. It's just that your last block was too bad. In your state, you won't lose three games in a row and won't be able to go to the whole country, right? Yukimiya Kazuma. This guy, like myself, I also learned to be yin and yang. I'm just kidding. I'm not afraid to tell you. I've been in trouble just like you. Let's take a nap and be full of energy. When Kazuma Yukimiya turned around, he saw the score on the gymnasium scorer that hadn't been cleared yet, 32,109, and then lowered it again. He said in a loud voice, Congratulations, you have won again, the invincible Tiako. You guys, are you mocking me? How could it be? They all look like monsters. They are so envious of me. You are worthy of saying such things. Aemine was silent for a moment, and suddenly said, Next time, I won't lose again. I have already thought of a way to defend you. It's a pity that I may not be in this state next time. However, maybe then, I will attack you and defeat you head on. Ha, maybe it's easier in the dream. Then, we'll see. Aemine Daiki was stunned for a moment by Yukimiya Kazuma's sudden raised fist, and the corners of her mouth slightly raised slightly. Ha, um, advertisement. Chapter 049, Monster Immersion Flying Bird, Gold. Advertisement. As soon as Diako's people left, Yumi Yakazuma suddenly felt a soft feeling under his feet, and a feeling of weakness spread throughout his body. Kazuma, are you okay? Takato Masaki had quick eyesight and quick hands, and supported Yukimiya. It's okay. 
I used too much force in the competition and I'm a little weak now. Yukimiya Kazuma responded. It's really dangerous. I'm so exhausted that I almost embarrass myself in front of Aemine. Needless to say, this spider dance is quite powerful, but the negative effect of its stamina is really great. But obviously, the results are totally worth it. Attribute mission, defeat Tiako Junior High, win the game, personal score greater than or equal to 30. Achievement reward, self-assigned attributes times 25. Mission failed. Badge mission, in the game against Tiako Junior High, limit Aemine Deki's score to 25 points and below, and prevent her from becoming the highest scorer in Generation of Miracles. Achievement reward, obtain badges related to Aemine Deki's wildness and ability. Automatically loading badge rewards. Badge loading completed. Get the badge, Monster Immersion Bird. Monster Immersion Flying Bird, Gold a highly concentrated monster style immersive experience. When you embrace the monster, your shooting skills will be as fast, elegant, and silky as a flying bird, but at the same time, negative emotions will increase significantly and physical strength will be exhausted. A substantial increase, the degree is affected by the sum of the two attributes of mid-range shot plus three-pointer. Advertisement. Hey, Golden. Yukimiya and Zheng Xin laughed wildly with their hands on their hips. Although it is the same as the Golden Badge of Master of Transmission Control, it has the problem of unclear description of specific values. But look at it. Just looking at the unusual words quick, elegant, and silky already shows how unusual this offensive badge is. Not to mention the qualification of negative emotions. You know, it is usually inferred that if the negative effects are restricted, it means that the positive effects are strong enough and must be restricted. Two expendable defensive badges were exchanged for an offensive golden badge. Yukimiya Kazuma was thinking in his mind. Overall, the benefits were much higher than the investment. However, the two spider dance, thinking about the effect of suppressing Aemine on the field, still made him feel distressed for a long time, but then he thought about it. No matter how strong the single defense ability is, even if he can save the full number of badges for the whole game, it can only lock down one person from the generation of miracles, and the other four will still defeat them just like today. It's better to get someone with offensive ability, and it's golden and permanent. Kazuma. The coach said he has a treat today. Yukimiya Kazuma's eyes lit up when he heard Takato Masaki's words, really, what's your tone? Am I still going to lie to you guys? Hurry to the locker room and wash up. I'll take you to a good restaurant. After leaving the gym, Coach Shin Matsuji fulfilled his promise of a treat. The store is indeed a good store as the coach said, and a team of people really spend a lot of money on it. Advertisement. In the past, everyone would definitely not miss the opportunity to pick up the coach's wool. However, everyone in the Whitewater Hall had a bad appetite today. Everyone looked a little bitter, and the atmosphere was quite dull for a while. Except one person, Yukimiya Kazuma. He consumed too much today. Even though his body has miraculous recovery capabilities, in the end the energy used for recovery is not generated out of thin air. To put it simply, eating must be followed in time. So when Yukimiya Kazuma was training crazy every day and his physical strength reached the bottom, he needed to supplement a lot of food, otherwise the energy conversion would not be enough to restore his depleted physical strength. So in terms of food intake, Yukimiya Kazuma is completely different from before. One more thank you. Yukimiya and Makoto said to the clerk next to them. The clerk's eyes widened and he thought, athlete? But it looks like it's just the physical education department of a junior high school. It's amazing how much food can fit in his stomach. Shin sat Suji on the side, looking at Yukimiya's non-stop movements, his whole head was numb. On the one hand, he thought, no wonder he can make such rapid progress, on the other hand, he also felt a little relieved. After all, a good appetite meant that Yukimiya was not defeated by Tiako today. Compared with others, he was more worried about him being a monster like the generation of miracles. When strength increases too quickly, it often collapses in an instant. A sudden setback can easily destroy the confidence brought about by a short-term surge in strength. The training of the human heart is often much more difficult. Okay, eat quickly. Only after you eat can you have the strength to continue moving forward in the competition. Don't you want to go to the whole country? Learn from this brat Yukimiya. Niamatsuji asked others to eat together. Why don't you wait a while? Let the boy from Suigong go in. Takato Masaki and Hana Yin Liang quickly followed Yukimiya's movements. Teriyama Daisuki, Kashika Yuji, and others looked at each other and followed Yukimiya Senpai's actions. However, before waiting long, he suddenly heard a dull choking coming from the corner of the table. Advertisement. Everyone turned to look. It was discovered that the voice did not come from the starting lineup, or even from the substitutes, but from the first year newcomer, Shinsuke Irijimoto. Hey, Irijimoto, what's wrong with you? It's not you who is facing the generation of miracles. Why are you crying? Shinsuke Irijimoto shook his head, I don't know, I just don't want to give in. I think that my seniors have worked so hard, but the result is, everyone was relatively speechless for a while. Shin Songji pursed his lips. Unexpectedly, the atmosphere finally got better, and Cheng Yeajin appeared halfway. The results that have already happened will not change. If we lose, no matter what the reason is, it is due to lack of strength. All we can do is work hard to win back. If we are not willing to do so, we will enter the country first. There is a lot of time to prepare and train hard. When the time comes, we will challenge again. As long as we are strong enough, we will meet Tiako again sooner or later across the country. Yukimiya Kazuma showed off one last time, then wiped the corners of his mouth, and stood up after saying the above. Thank you for the hospitality, coach. I won't follow you today. I have something to buy nearby later, so I can just go back by myself. It's not that far away anyway. Although Shin Satsuji felt a little surprised, he still nodded. Be safe. Don't worry, let's go, everyone. Shopping? What the heck, monster immersion bird. He didn't want to wait for a moment, so he quickly found an empty space with no one to test its power. Advertisement. Chapter 050. We, Higashi Kata, are the number two in Tokyo? Advertisement. After Yukimiya left, Shin Matsuji took everyone back to the school on the school bus to disperse like he did on previous game days. After everyone goes home, Masaka Takato immediately packed up today's equipment, then changed into sneakers and went to a nearby park court. Irijimoto Shinsuke, a first-year boy, is still in a low mood, but he did not give up on today's shooting training. Hua Yin Liang looked at the Jordan poster beside the bed. She lay on the bed and was in a daze. She was still recalling the content of today's game in her mind, and pictures of her powerlessness against Kai's kept flashing across her mind. Teriyama Daisuke's violent blow in the bathroom caused a lot of excitement in the house. 
Kashiga Yuji was on the phone with a friend, and his voice was full of complaints and disappointment. The friends on the opposite side who had switched to other sports also complained about the perversion of Generation of Miracles. Even coach Shin Satsuji was the same. He walked around the office and couldn't take a moment to relax. He seemed to be feeling uncomfortable all over. Today's disastrous defeat against Tiako, although on the surface, everyone seems to have adjusted quickly, but in fact, this defeat is far more unforgettable than before when there was no performance. But, the seeds have been quietly planted, watered by this unwillingness, waiting to sprout. It is also the second gymnasium in Tokyo. Advertisement. It's the same venue, but today's Beishui Hall's opponent has become Takes Middle School. In yesterday's game, Takes Middle School lost to another top four team, Higashi Tsukuto Middle School. Takes was ace player, like most teams, is a third-year player. After all, like Tiako, Shizone Jimura became the country's number one power forward in his second year, and the generation of miracles who also took over the authority of their seniors in their second year have there are still very few teams of players like this. There is a gap between Wiyos and Dongjutu. They are undoubtedly the weakest team among the top four, let alone compared with Beishwikan. After the game starts, Yuki Miyakezuma didn't face too many challenges, which allowed him to devote all his energy to organizing the offense. The tasks that come up during the game are not very difficult, and scoring is not as difficult as with Tiako. When the attribute gap with the opponent is too large, it can also make up for the difficulty of technical output in reverse. Even without turning on Monster Emer Snow Palace can easily rely on the attribute difference to score points. As for the new badge he had obtained before, Swaygong tested it during meditation training. It was indeed strong, but it also brought strong negative emotions. Once he calmed down, he couldn't believe that that person could be him. The most important is, that negative emotion and attitude towards teammates is not really friendly. So Yukigong felt that there was no need to force it and put more pressure on himself and his teammates. As for the badge experience lost due to infrequent use, he could feed it to it after he got the golden experience badge. During the competition, Snow Palace was fully equipped with monster immersion. Rookie Ace's battle cry, green level 2, first gives a wave of energy back to his teammates, and then master of pass control, gold, continuously assists his teammates and feeds the ball. I love risk slam dunk, purple, makes Yuki Miyakezuma a divine assistant on the defensive end. Advertisement. As long as his physical fitness allows, Yuki Miyakezuma doesn't hesitate to use his abilities and brush up his experience data at the same time. Wouldn't it be beautiful? Shiras Wiccan completely dominated the field with the tandem of Yuki Miyakezuma. After just one quarter, Shiras Wiccan began to lead by a large margin. Yuki Miya looked back and saw that Tiako was actually me. Coach Shin Satsuji on the sidelines looked much better, thinking that this was a normal level of competition in a junior high school. He dared to assert that it was also the top strength in the National Whitewater Gym. A point guard who defends fiercely and ranks first in assists is really a treasure given to Whitewater Hall by God. Pity. Born at the wrong time. There is such a generation of miracles, lying in front of us like a mountain. At 116,47, Hakuzuikan showed amazing stability against Nantiako teams, and the pass and assist from the master of pass control was a killer weapon. Kazuma Yukimiya scored 19 points, 26 assists, 8 rebounds, 3 steals and 6 blocks. In the Tokyo District qualifiers, Kazuma Yukimiya was far ahead in terms of assists. The first victory of the Shiras Y Hall semi-final round robin tournament cheered up the students who came to support the team. In the last game against Tiako, not only the players on the field, but also the student team who came to support them were aggrieved. I finally feel comfortable now. And Yuki Miyakezuma was also comfortable, because he drew another badge of the same series. Of course, it was not the rookie series, but the I Love series. Badge mission, in the game against Wii's middle school, win the game and assist at least three teammates to score in double figures. Achievement reward, obtain badges related to I Love Slam Dunk. Automatically loading badge rewards. Advertisement. Badge loading completed. Get the badge, I love risking jump shots. I love risking jump shots, blue your jump shots are mediocre and always make me have the urge to block shots. Facing jump shots, the success rate of blocking shots increases by 20%, only for shooting jump shots. A good badge. Although we don't know why the same series of badges is one level lower than the purple color of I love slam dunk, but just looking at the text description, I can be sure that this badge is very useful. After this, Shiras Wiccan Middle School had only the last game left in the qualifying round. But in fact, after winning the match against Wii's middle school, they had automatically obtained a place to advance to the national level. Because it is absolutely impossible for Takesawa Middle School to win the final game against Tiako, Takesawa will eventually lose all three games in the top four round robin tournament and lose its seeding spot to advance to the national level. However, just when Sumiya thought that the last game could be played casually, the system suddenly released a task before the game. A tribute mission, defeat Higashikatsudo Middle School, win the game, limit the score of the opposing ace player Akira Tatsuda to less than 10 points, and score 40 plus 10 data. Achievement reward, self-assigned attributes x6. Just when Yukinomi Yakazuma was wondering what was so special about this school in Higashikata, Kajiga Yuji came over with a basketball weekly with an excited look on his face. It's still that damn pass basketball. Senior, Akira Tatsuda said in the interview that he will beat you in the competition and prove that Higashi Chikoto Middle School is the real number two in Tokyo. Advertisement. 